podcast is intended for mature audiences. The views and opinions expressed are those of the panelists and do not reflect in any way those of the podcast partners, sponsors, or affiliates. Enjoy. Hi, this is Michael Buffer, and you're listening to the voice of the people. Let's get ready for Boxing Voice. Every day I'm hustling, 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 hustling. Every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling. Hey, Daddy, this is a dollar beat. Boxingboys.com. No matter what nobody say, man. Spirit, can't nobody fuck with me, man. You know, I can't be fucked with, you know. You know. Dollar D. Beyonce Productions. Whether you pay to see me win mm. or you pay to see me lose, mm. you're going to pay. Mm. Fuck, if your kids still got to eat. I don't have to watch, mm. you know, any footage of a, a fighter. Mm. I mean, because I'm Floyd Mayweather, everybody got to watch me. I knew eventually I was going to have to fight Oscar. Mm. I feel like, um, I feel like he was straight up and down, no really no special effects. Boxingboys.com. How can Canelo have the biggest deal? Your, your deal is for 300 million. And I made I made 350 million just in one fight. And you're fighting on the app. Boxingboys.com. I'm a king, okay? Mm-hmm. I eat a feast. When, every time I eat, I eat a feast. And when I get up from the table, I don't give a fuck who get the leftovers. At the end of the day, follow my green friend. Boxing Boys. Ain't no what up, what up, what up, what up? Good morning. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another Sunday morning edition of the Boxing Voice Radio, where we recap this weekend's action. And man, did uh, we see some on the zone. We got to see Gustavo Lemon's take on. Richardson Hitchens in a IBF eliminator that has uh, many debating on social media as to whether or not Hitchens won that fight. He got a debatable unanimous decision, according to many, and a very wild scorecard of 117-111, which is... uh, you know, just a very wide scorecard for uh, the type of fight that we watched last night. Um, so, yeah, this is what we're here to discuss. We want to know, did you watch the fight? How would you score the fight? Did you have Hitchens winning or did Gustavo Limones do enough in your eyes? Uh, we'll also be talking about Sky Nicholson versus Sarah McFold. If you like, Galau Yafai as well. Diego Pacheco versus Sean McCallum. And Hitchens versus Gustavo Limon. If you want to go further back to Friday night, uh, to Tito Mercado getting a three-round stoppage, uh, you can. Uh, we're talking all this weekend's boxing. It is your weekend recap. I'm solo, dolo, Scarface, no Manolo. We'll see if anybody wakes up later, jumps on, and kicks it with us right now. We're really here just to discuss the uh, very um, entertaining fight, you know, because say what you want, it was a good fight nonetheless. And... um, I think that we're pretty much all excited for what happened last night. Uh, I'm certainly excited to see, you know, Lemon's back, as that is something that, you know, Eddie Hearn said uh, that, you know, Lemon's deserves to come back, and we'll certainly see him on the zone and matchroom. So, uh, yeah, but... Um, As you can see, I'm going to go ahead and screen share this first uh, tweet. And this is from Damian Lillard, who tweeted to Hitchens and uh, or just tweeted out, these judges crazy, man, laugh out loud. And Hitchens quote tweeted to him, the right man won. Numbers don't lie, my guy. Hands up emoji. 
And, uh, you know, I guess he means punch stats. Don't lie. Those must be the numbers he's talking about. Um, it was a tight fight. I'm not mad at a Hitchens win uh, because I can see him winning one, uh, you know, 7-5, 115, 113. Um, if that's how you've seen him winning, I can see that happening. You know, uh, he definitely had his rounds in this fight. Uh, I just think that Lemons didn't get any credit from the judges to be given a 117-111. I don't know what they were seeing, right, what they saw, um, because he he obviously won more rounds than that. You know what I mean? He obviously won more rounds than that. Um, he did a lot of good body work. Uh, I have a scorecard here. And uh, I got a couple of swing rounds, you know, which led me to a draw. Uh, but again, if 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 I'm, you know, if I give one of those swing one of those swing rounds to either man, we end up with the one thirteen one fifteen that the judges had. So uh, very interesting fight, man. Um, I'm glad I said it on air before it actually happened. I told y'all Hitchens was giving me those uh, Chris Colbert vibes when he fought Hector Garcia and he started talking at who is he fought? He ain't fought nobody. He not on my level. And uh, that doesn't always tell the story, man. We've learned that here throughout the years. I, I'm probably one of those dudes that used to think the same. Like, who is he fought? You got to watch... How is he fighting? And what can he do to the person that he will fight? And, uh, you know, Hitchens took a shot at one of our friends who we've had on this show, uh, Brendan, you know, from, what is it? Uh, just a kid from Florida, I think. And, uh, you know, he's vindicated now because... He said in his breakdown um, that Gustavo would give Hitchens issues. Hitchens had seen uh, that that uh, interview or, or 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 you know episode that 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 Brandon did, and you know he was uh, upset. And, and, you know, question the guy and say, how could you look at that, this guy and say he's going to give me trouble? Who has he fought this on my level, et cetera, et cetera, right? So, again, just bringing that up to say, uh, you know, sometimes <laughs> it don't matter who the person fought. What matters is how he fights. Um, and that's probably what took place yesterday. You know, uh, he, he had to make those real-life adjustments in real time because he underestimated them. You know, he talked about, when they asked him, so, you know, what are you going to do? How, how do you beat Matias since you had this issue? He's like, well, you you don't ask them, underestimate him and you you go in there in full shape. So, you know, that had me wondering, like, is he trying to say, that he underestimated Gustavo, which obviously I can see that being the case, um, specifically because of all the things that he said pre-fight, you know, how Gustavo wasn't on his level and who had he fought, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, um, interesting, man. Uh, I'm sure Hitchens didn't expect this fight to play out this way. Even Shakur had something to say. Shakur came out and said had he trained with him, he would have knocked out Gustavo. So, you know, not the uh, cleanest of wins when that is the talk of the town right now. The talk of the town is whether or not uh, he won this fight, whether or not he deserved that win, whether or not uh, Lemons was robbed. 
with a 117 111 scorecard that's pretty atrocious uh they really didn't give any rounds to limones no credit for what anything that he did and a, a fight is scored round by round so there is a way for everything that took place to take place and Hitchens still wins but um in that fight if you look at it Hitchin says numbers don't lie. Well, overall, Gustavo, I'm pretty sure, threw more punches. He was the more active fighter. He gets the ring generalship because he kept Hitchens on the back foot. It wasn't like Hitchens was controlling Gustavo. So ring generalship goes to Gustavo. Um, Gustavo is the one that hurt Hitchens. I mean, you know, I hate to compare it, but Hitchens is trying to become Devin's nemesis. Um, even after this fight, they suggested Hitchens and Regis, which would be perfect if you're trying to get a Devin fight. It's, you know, put on a clinic with the guy that he just beat. Um, but uh, Hitchens, again, got hit more than expected, comparing him to the Devin Linares fight where Devin got hurt visibly and we seen he was hurt and his legs was not there and he needed to grab like Hitchens did in the eighth round. I checked it. Bro, that happened like 2.15 into the eighth round. That means Hitchens was out of that round for more than two minutes. I don't know that Devin's lasted that long. I didn't have the time to go check when uh, Linares clipped him. But after that, Devin did continue to clinch, and that's where people complained. And it kind of played out the same way for Regis, I mean, for Hitchens, where after that eighth round, Limones went on the win on my scorecard 10. I mean, excuse me, 9 as well, round 9, because that was 8 where he physically hurt him. I gave him 9. He lost 10. On my scorecard. Um, so yeah, again, you won the fight. Arguably, that could have been a 10-8 round. Arguably, you never hurt Limones. Limones hurt you. Um, he changed your style. You know, yeah, we know that Hitchens is back foot, but you know, I mean, he clinched more than he should have. And let me show this other tweet. Because they like to, you know, block me for the things that I say. So I will just show Sean Porter's tweet and say that I agree. Because I do. Um, and I talked about this during the live. This saved Hitchens. And as you can see, Porter says, Hitchens is lucky. He's got a ref in the ring that's letting him dip and grab over and over without any warnings. And that is very true. And as you can see, Cynthia Conte from the ring, he's holding way too much. And when I said that, you know, Shakur came out and said, oh, if he would have fought with me, he would have won. Well, someone quote tweeted that and said he did fight like he trained with you. And even Devin Haney tweeted it, retweeted it, meaning Hitchens fought exactly the way that you fought in the De Los Santos fight, except, you know, you didn't get hit as much. Uh, but they were both back foot, you know, both back foot mentality. So here is that tweet. And he says, Hitchens fought like he did train with you. And this is Shakur saying, you know, that Hitchens would have won by knockout had he trained down here with me. He would have stopped this ninja. Uh, so as you can see, man, um, the internet just believes one thing. He got the win, and that's all that matters. But 
Calm as a motherfucker. And I know Hitchens probably ain't even going to talk to me just because I'm telling the truth. But, you know, he talked all that talk about Devin probably needing to rematch someone and why he ain't fighting Tank and this and a third. And he did the Hector Garcia, Chris Colbert thing. He underestimated the man in front of him. And now the man in front of him has made a name off of Hitchens. We... And I'm speaking for the community because I know I'm not the only one. I heard Eddie. He and I feel the same. We want to see Gustavo back. We would love him to be on the zone, PBC, and top rank. I don't care. I would love a fight with him and Matias. Him and Sabril Matias is a great fight. However long it lasts, but it's a great fight. No one's coming there to be Huggy Biz. No one's coming there to be Care Biz. No one's coming in there to hold and dance and do the cha-cha. They coming in there to fight. And uh, I hope they bring him back, you know, like they said that they would. Um, but, yeah. I'm going to open up the phone lines if you guys want to call in, you want to talk, you want to give me your opinion on the fights that took place this weekend, feel free. J. Billy, Twitter, what up? I'm with uh, Alex Vega that says 111, uh, 117 should be a suspension for that ref. J. Billy. All right. You might need to jump out, jump back in. Chad, what up? Hey, Ness. What's up, brother? Good morning. Can you just come right back to me? I'm just pulling through the coffee shop right now. You got it. Wheels, talk to me. <laughs> Wheels, got to unmute. Yo, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Okay, okay. Good morning, good morning. Shout out to the boss of what's it that's subscribing that like button. Good morning. Uh, just touch on the fight. I, I, I do say, man, it was a robbery. Uh, I, I ain't even going to say it was a robbery, but Hitchens lost. I had a 7-5 with a 10-8 round. In the round that he got rocked, he didn't throw a single punch after he got rocked. He held the rest of that round, didn't do nothing, kept getting beat up. Um, but you know, they're never gonna they're never gonna give the guy that's not signed the win, especially when you're coming in, you're supposed to be just a tune up. You're supposed to just be a give my guy a win so he can get to his next fight. But Hitchens, he gotta do some work. He need, he need to stay away from all the champions. He doesn't beat Cruz. He doesn't beat Devin. He doesn't beat Tio. And he damn sure don't beat Matias. That's why he ain't calling his name. He keeps calling Devin's name, but fighting and paying the IBF to rank you and then fighting the IBF title eliminator last night. And you not even calling the champion in the organization. You paying to rank you. So you, that right there just shows you he wants no parts of Matias. Um, the other fights, they was pretty good. Uh, just ready to get past this, see, get to the main fight on April 20th. Uh, Y'all have a good one, and uh, keep, keep, keep it rolling. It's looking like people sending me an interview with Matias, I mean, with, with Hitchens post-fight where he's saying um, – he wants another fight. And that probably will be the Regis fight that they was talking about on a telecast, which is in a bad idea. You know, get another one in and uh, improve from there. But let me go ahead and play this as well. There we go. Who would you want next? If you could line up three opponents in order. I feel like after this fight... um. Just go back to the drawing board. Uh, 
see who's available. Uh, t- I think that still um, maybe maybe one more fight before going for world t- world title. You know, to get some more experience. That was a great learning experience. I just felt like you know since being with my- who would you want? So yeah, basically, you know, he don't want to go straight into that world title shot, and he's got the time. Let's be real; it's not like he's avoiding. Like he just fought. It's April. You don't want him to sit around. Two months until Matias fights June 15th. That's more than two months from today. Then after Matias fights, he goes on his week vacation. Then we can negotiate. Then we settle on a date. Then we train for 10 weeks. Nah. I want Hitchens to get one in too. Let Hitchens get one in, you know, late June. Um, if he can turn around, he took some hits in this fight for sure on the head, temple, and a lot of hip shots. Limones did what he could to slow Hitchens down, but, uh, I'm with Hitchens. I want activity. He's just got maybe 18 fights at this point. Nothing wrong with getting one more in, uh, you know, while, uh, you know, Waiting. I mean, what it do? I mean, on Twitter, gotta hit that unmute player. I'm all acting like a rookie. You can hear me? Yep. So, definitely, um, even Dame Lillard. Everybody knows Dame Lillard for the uh, formerly for the Portland Trailblazers, um, now for the Milwaukee Bucks. Very big boxing enthusiast, you know, uh, Richardson Hitchens tweeted back at him. You know what I'm saying? The numbers, though, I think that was the first one you mentioned. So I say that to say one thing we need to see Hitchens do is handle the criticism. We've seen him kind of handle a puncher. I didn't have no scorecard because I'm on the move, but um, I, 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 the scorecards were way too wide. So even if, you know, he won, he's got to learn two things from that. He's got to learn how to handle all his criticism that's coming his way. And he's definitely got to learn. I mean, I, I, I don't know what I what I saw last night. I don't know, was it Lemos or was it Hitch? You know, and, and sometimes with a guy like Lemos, remember you said, yo, he's training in the dirt and this, yo. He, he's very technical. He's very technical. We thought Hitch was technical. Lemos is very technical, man. Um, I, I wouldn't call it a robbery. I'm not going to sit on the robbery side. And, and this is this is what boxing is because, you know, the first thing we say is, well, it depends on what you're looking for. You know, um, I like that my man that just called in, he actually scored to the 10-8 round at some point. I didn't have no 10-8 rounds, but you see what I'm saying? So um, I don't want to just jump to robbery, but this is what happens with a young fighter. So this is part of the learning curve. And 140 is so deep over at match room. Um, it, it's sink or swim for him, and that's another reason perhaps, you know, people avoid match room, you know, because Eddie ain't afraid to throw you to the wolves every now and again. So, um, great night overall. Shout out to Sky Nicholson, of course. Look, marvelous. They even called her uh, Sky Stevenson. Would you believe that? But, yeah, um, I'm ready for her and Amanda Serrano if Serrano's down to get it in. Um, and that's it, man. I'm on the road, man. Y'all fellas enjoy. Yo, wait, what you mean they call her... Sky, what you said? They call Stevenson. Her... Why? Because of her fight? Because they said she was ducking. They... Yeah, because of her style. They tried to say it was boring. I thought she was dominant. Uh, I ain't hear that. Where they said that at? I, it's on Twitter. I'll send it to you in the pre-pro. All right, all right. Enjoy the weekend, baby. Uh, enjoy AC. King I mean in Essex. Uh, we got James in Atlanta. What are your thoughts? Yo, Ness, you hear me? Loud and clear. Yo, man. Um, first off, before I get into the Hitchens fight, man, what do you what do you think of the McCallum fight, man? Or the McCallum fight and I think uh, McCallum. I think McCallum I think did. That was uh, for a while too. I think he did I better than expected, but I don't think it was anything like this fight. Um, I feel like McCallum did not do enough. Really? You don't think he did enough? Because I thought them scorecards were wide, too, within 
I nah, think that should have been. I don't, I don't think he did enough, man. I, remember, but you think I mean, he only I was two watching rounds? It, I was watching it live, and I'm like, wow, he's he's wilding, acting shocked, like raising his hand, jumping on a turnbuckle. Like, no disrespect to him, I didn't see him win. You don't think you don't think maybe going forward they may need to put a coach like Kenny like Kenny Porter just to put eyes on him or whatnot. Because I don't know I what Ken Porter's in. doing these days, man. He's not even training a couple of prospects he had. I don't Jesus. know, uh, but maybe that's a good idea. Uh, <clears throat> I just think McCallum had issues landing, and 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 the inside fighting was ugly. I don't. The inside the fighting inside... with Lamones and and Hitchens was effective. They both was actually inside fighting. What what they what Pacheco was, and, and and McCallum was doing that that shit was like fucking, bro. They was just like shit, leaning on was, each other. It was mugging. It was it was it wasn't it wasn't television friendly. I well I, I guess I disagree, man. I thought it was a good I thought it was a good game plan that he had until like round six until the tide of the fight completely changed. But he he put on a good showing, and I hope he can get back on TV now on the Hitchens. You know, I've been saying for years that Hitchens is a dark horse of, of the 140 division, but last night he didn't put a good showing for himself. Shout out to Lemos for the work that he did from punching his punching the chest, punching the thigh. I mean, he, he showed that he was a technician. I thought he was just solely a wide puncher, but he really broke Hitchens down and put him in the deep waters. Um, Hitchens, Hitchens, got to rebuild. He got to regroup from this. He got to still maintain confidence, and he still got to believe that he's one of the better uh, better fighters in 140. He can't let just his bad performances take him out, out the game. How I scored it, honestly, I scored it I scored it 7-5 for Lemos. But, you know, it is what it is. The judges scored it. The judges <gasps> saw how, how they thought it. Hey, um, yo, he just hey, yo, did you What's give up? the, tw- who you gave the 12th round to? Like, I'm literally seeing people get a 12th to Hitchens. I'm fucking, like, what the fuck, bro? I didn't. I didn't give it to Hitchens. I, I didn't give it to Hitchens. How are people doing that? Like, though, I don't, I don't, like, what he do in that 12th round that deserves a motherfucking, I not, know, not getting knocked out? Crazy, bro. I mean, he, he just ain't getting knocked out. <laughs> That's all he didn't do. He just didn't get knocked out. He he literally survived uh, being like on wobbly legs from ten through twelve. So I mean, you giving him credit for that? I mean, he had some good moments with some. Bro, short, with that's some crazy. Every every judge gave the twelve to Hitchens. You know they wobbly moans. They did. They did. That, they did. And I hope Eddie that's judge, insane, hope bro. How did that. hell? How every he judge gave him the tenth, bro? I mean, the 12, that... excuse me. Every judge gave him ten, the t- a 10 score for the 12th round. Mm-hmm. That's that's really crazy Bru- that all three judges did that. I, I, I can a... tell you the rounds I gave him. I gave him, three, four, I gave him three, four, seven, eight, and 10. That's that was crazy, it. crazy, bro. Those are the five rounds I gave him, three, four, seven, eight, and 10. Anything other than that, I think people ain't really watched the fight or they... I don't know, man. Maybe these judges may need to sit eye level or be elevated above the ring or something. I don't know, but they could they couldn't have seen the fight properly. Um, other than that, I think I think uh, Regis would be a good fight for him to come back to. Regis is not no Lemos. I think he could probably control uh, Regis a lot better than he could control Lemos. Um, and, uh, Bro, you know, this judge, who is this judge? He is capping, man. Yeah, the 117. You're talking about Tim the 117 Cheatham, scorecard? Tim Cheatham is wild, bro. He gave him 9, 10, 11, 12. That's crazy, bro. No no shot. No shot. Shout out to Limo. Shout out to Argentina Boxing, man. Um, shit, I got some fighters down there that we need to be on the lookout for. Um, I hope Limos can come back on TV. And he may not be ready for Matias yet, but Yo, he's definitely ready. Yo, that's crazy. For Am I the only one that gave Gustavo round nine? What the fuck? Ah oh, man. Yo, judging is so subjective. That's bananas to see that they also gave universally gave him round the nine. Round, wasn't that that was the round that he got rocked in? Nah, that's when the round. That's knocked. the round right after he got rocked in. But that's. 
Bro, ah oh, man, yo, this is what I'm saying. This, this, this why, this why we, this, this is exactly why we having this discussion because they don't even know what they watching. Cause Tim Cheatham, you funny. could tell something was up. Cause me and him was pretty on par. He he gave round huh? one to Hitchens, I did two, and then immediately I gave two and three to to Limones, and so did Cheatham, right? Then he comes back, mm-hmm. gives Hitchens four like me. Five like me, six like me, seven like me. Then so I you give must have had that. eight to Gustavo, nine to Gustavo, ten to Hitchens, eleven, twelve to 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 to, to, to Gustavo, and two out of the three judges gave eleven to Gustavo. Cheatham cheating ass gave ten to uh, eleven to to to, to Hitchens. It's just it's it's sad, man. I don't know. It's it's hard because scoring is subjective, and each individual judge is looking for whatever the fuck they looking for. Like it's obvious, me and Cheatham had it the same one through eight. We 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 stopped seeing eye to eye after the eighth round, which is crazy. It's crazy because he's literally watching what I'm watching for eight rounds, scoring it identical. So I'm not, I don't understand how he had this all of a sudden. Oh, yeah, I see Hitchens sweep the back half. I see him no sweep shot. the back no quarter. Shot. Like, fuck out of here, bro. Fuck no out shot. of here. No shot. no shot, man. But anyways, Ness, man. Hey, shout out to you and shout out to the community, man. I'll tap back in, man. And then Steve Weisfeld, he gave 10, okay, he gave 11. He see, I he didn't give him nine. I'm again. I wish I would have asked everybody. Did they give him nine? Cause again, all these judges gave Hitchens the ninth. That's wild. Can't understand that one. Really, the ninth. I feel like putting that back. I just watched it before doing this show. Let me tell you, you know, on my the zone. I feel like putting the ninth round back on now. I cannot believe all three judges gave him the ninth. Mother flying fuck. Good job. What up? Good job. J. Billy. Yo, yo, yo. Ness. What up? You, me? you know uh, it. Shout out Ness putting in that work. Oh uh, yeah, man, it was a very underwhelming performance from Hitchens, especially especially the way he's been talking lately. You know all the criticism he has for other fighters, but you know he steps in the ring and does that. Uh, I think he got hurt early in the fight. I think I didn't score the fight, and I, I've already been saying I'm not big on uh, calling robberies. Let the professionals do their job, but, you know, that's 117, 111 was pretty wild. I didn't score it myself. I was just, you know, watching the fight, being a spectator. But uh, I think Kitchens did get hurt early in that fight. He regained his composure in the middle of the fight. You know, he started working the jab again, going to the body. But I think it was real demoralizing with him, you know, putting out his best shots and uh, Lamo still coming forward. It didn't look like he was too affected by uh, what Hitchens was throwing. So, yeah, we most definitely want to see uh, Lemos again. And then to the fact, you can tell he was demoralized because, Ness, did you see all the times when he clinched? Okay, two points. When he clinched, did you see how he was looking around in that empty ass stadium? Not not even looking at the empty stadium because what I see him doing is con- – that's another thing. It's like one fighter got hurt. One fighter constantly was looking at the clock. One fighter constantly yep. was tired. One fighter constantly mm-hmm. was going back defensively. One fighter constantly was clinching. Like, bro, you know, I don't know, yeah, man. man that, this shit is weird, man. That, that, I'm not that, saying he lost. Club. I'm not saying he lost, but they didn't even a fucking give him a point. Like, bro, I'll how many you. clinches was that, bro? Like, come See, on. This, 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 so, so this is the thing. Let me get to these other two points that I'm going to get to it, so... I feel like, you know, he kept on looking at the clock because, you know, when you're doing that, you're just, you know, buying time. You're just trying to survive and wait until the fight is over. Two, with the clinches, man, they got to do something about those clinches. When somebody's initiating the clinch like that over and over again, every three seconds, literally, I'm not exaggerating, 
they need to start like deducting points, giving a warning or something like that. Even like the judges, that should be a deduction or that should be something that's held against you. But with Lamos, I feel like it was so close because he hurt Hitchens in spurts, you know, and I don't know if they counted the clinching as Hitchens uh, controlling the fight. That, that's the only way I can see it because he was literally initiating the clinch every three seconds and the ref had to break him. So uh, he really wasn't fighting out of the clinch. I can count on one hand how many times he fought out the clinch, but it, it, he wasn't he wasn't effective, you know. And they they need to start like deducting points, using that against the fighter, because Lemos could have been putting in way more work and Hitchens on both ends instead of clinching. Hitchens could have been putting in more work. Lemos could have been putting in more work if he wasn't. His own clinch, trainers so. was begging him to put in work. For, I don't even know yeah, how many man. rounds in. They like, bro, you gotta throw more. You gotta throw more. You you can see, you can hear Zab Judah like, yo, uh, uh, uh. He was telling him, do a combination to the body. He was, he was showing him shovel uppercuts. Like, bro, they was telling him to throw. I think he just got exactly. tired or, or, or the body work more really seconds. affected him. Just, just a few more seconds before I go, man. Shout out, shout out uh, Steven Navarro. It's, it's Steven Navarro, right? The uh, the amateur that just made his debut last yeah. night on that Dazon car. Yeah, man. Shout out Steven Navarro, man. That that kid is something to look out for. It was super flyway. I mean, that's that's one of the small divisions, but I watched him against Jordan Fuentes, his last amateur fight, and I knew he was already pro ready. So he just showed out last night. Uh, just shout out to the young guys, man. Keep on putting in that work, man. Keep on putting in that work, man. So I'm gonna keep I'm gonna tap back in to my All right. Discord available, Twitter spaces available. We trying good job yet again. Good job, good job on Discord. Sometimes it takes some time for the new guys to figure it out. Join us on Discord or Twitter spaces. We going out to chat. Hey, Ness. <clears throat> you? Good morning. Um, yeah, man. Hitchens had a bad night. A really bad night. And um, I wish I'd gone on record this week. I, I did try to call a couple times. I wasn't able to get in my opinion on uh, Hitchens. But um, I'll start by saying that I do like him. And I don't agree with a lot of some of the criticism that people throw at him. I do think he's a good fighter. Um, if you want my opinion on the, the problem right now, uh, Hearn's putting him in there tough with uh, come forward pressure type fighters. And the problem I see for Hitchens is he just, he has to have space to do his best work. Like if you crowd him, if you, if you get too close, he, he doesn't, he just doesn't like it. Like he's got, so he retreats, you know, he moves back. He's not running. He's moving, creating space. The problem I saw last night was he spent like half the fucking fight on the back foot like that. He doesn't fight off the back foot. He just transitions. He just moves. And then when he was able to make that space, he just wasn't, he wasn't throwing his hands. I understood his corner's frustration. Like he, he would have the, the ideal space and he, he wasn't first. He would just wait. Sometimes he might get one or two off, but he would give Lemos enough time to, to attack again and then repeat, rinse, wash, repeat, whatever. Like the problem uh, with Hitchens last night, man, I was like yelling at the TV, like, Hey Hitchens, can you push your opponent back? Can you fucking push your opponent back? Like he's so willing. That's what to, his to trainer just... acts for numerous oh. occasions. Oh, it's fucking frustrating. Like, look, he, this is my opinion. Uh, he either has to, He's got to add something. He either has to dig in and hold the fucking ground he's got, you know, and dig in and fight. Kind of like what he did in the later rounds. He kind of rallied a little bit and started fighting inside and started. You could see he was digging a little more. He was not doing that in the early rounds, you know, and and as far as uh, his back foot, he like. Marco, for anybody that uh, doesn't follow Marco on Instagram, go to Marco's Instagram, and Marco posted a great uh, video of Sweet Pea Whitaker. And obviously, Whitaker's like elite-level back foot. But the point is this. You watch Whitaker. 
Whitaker move back, create enough space, and then bam, 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 like do the work. As soon as he had the space he needed, he would work. And and that's how he fought on his back foot. Like Hitchens is going to have to do that if he wants to spend the fucking fight on the back foot. And, and I think people that are criticizing him as a runner are, are off. If you want to see running from Hitchens, look at round 12 last night. Okay. His arms were down and he was avoiding, you know, like it was pretty, pretty obvious the difference from him uh, doing his usual back, uh, back foot work versus avoiding. And actually last night, that 12th round, I mean, that was a new look for uh, like, I haven't seen him looking that exhausted in that he looked um, I think James Benitez said something really good. He said, like, he just looked, like, demoralized, you know? Like, um, I don't know if it was Benitez that said that, but I agree. Like, he, he didn't look good. And the commentary was hilarious. Like, the commentary, who is it, Mora and Mannix last night? Oh, fuck, man. Mora, I, I couldn't Mannix, listen. and uh, what was the other guy's name? Not Joe Tessito. I fucked that up last night. It's another name. Uh Oh, I thought it was Clarissa was like the you know, third she person. Was there they too. had a third she guy. She was there too. Yeah, there was another guy. But uh, I mean, oh, what, what sorry, did you ahead, think of Clarissa? She's getting a lot of hatred as well online. Um, I mean, in the comment want... section on the zone, they like is like two hundred and sixty-seven thumbs up on. Uh, we don't want to have Clarissa on a commentating something like that. It was like whoa. I guess I, I started watching the card about halfway through the Sky Nicholson fight and to the end. And I'm going to be honest, I, I don't understand the hate. I must have missed something because to me, she was just being really quiet and contributing um, stuff that I thought Mora and Mannix were missing. So, for example, in the, in the Pacheco fight, she uh, pointed out early that Pacheco was not doing good work inside, that there was a problem on the inside for Pacheco. She pointed that out. And then by the end of the fight, Mannix kind of took that narrative and ran with it. Um, I thought she, she, I, I like her, um, how you say, like her experienced uh, point of view, you know, like a fighter's point of view. Like, I'm not sure, like, what are people hating so much about her? Like, what did, what did, uh, I mean, sort of like. I mean, they saying that she was being biased. She was basically rooting for Hitchens. Yeah, um, I, I I would say about that that I didn't really hear enough from her to complain. Like, it was Mannix and Mora all fucking night, and they were the obnoxious ones. Like, oh, my God, obnoxious? their opinions. What the and, fuck? What the hell were they saying? Oh, bro, I'm saying their, their point of view, like, yeah. the things that they observe and translate – uh, to the audience, like I don't agree with half of the shit that comes out their example? mouth. I I'd have to go back and look. All right, all I, right. I just no know worries. I was irritated. You know, I was irritated the with bell, their commentary last night. Let me night. keep these calls moving. If you guys want to call in, Discord, Twitter Spaces link is pinned here on the live chat right here at YouTube.com forward slash the boxing voice come on over to our live smash that thumbs up the quicker we get to our needed goal the quicker we open up the live chat for all uh right now let me get to these super chats first one of the day two pounder leonard sterling hitchens he gave him round one round four round six seven nine and 12. Lemons 2, 3, 8, and 11. Swing rounds 5 and 10. Um, Lake County, $5. Hard for me to give Hitchens more than four rounds. It was a good scrap, minus all the clinches. He held nearly 40 times by the end of the third round. They should run it back. Jesse Aguilar, $2. Huggy Bear Hitchens. Um, and he puts a... Rolling on the floor emoji. Julio Guzman, well said, Ness. Hitchens is Colbert 2.0. Whoa, I didn't say that. I said I was getting Colbert vibes when he was talking about his opponent pre-fight. Come on, guys. Don't, don't get me fired with these guys. We got Daryl Alexander, $2. If Haney is food, tell them cowards to eat then. 100 emoji. Um, Yeah, no, man. This is, you know, again, they're probably not going to fuck with me just because I'm telling the truth. But, like, this is karma. You know, we see this a lot where we're like, oh, is he looking too far ahead? And, you know, he was worried about Haney f way too much. And I know I'm the Haney voice, so he's going to like, oh, you just bigging up your man. 
But it's like, bro, you do, you're not even worried about the dude that you're fighting eliminators for. Like, you talk about Haney more than you talk about Matias. Um, and Haney's tough fight is with a first ballot Hall of Famer. Hitchens tough fight is with a uh what he called a bum. You feel me? Like he called Gustavo a bum and that he only fought bums. Daryl Alexander, welcome to the prospect level. Derek Lincoln, Tim Cheatham always cheating people on his scorecards. Hint, his last name, laughing out loud. But if you go back and watch fights he score, he does this all the time. Yeah, they need to stop picking him. Lake County back with another five. Hitchens corner from round seven and later told him he needed to do more to win. Hitchens showed guts, but he didn't win. Hitchens won rounds four, six, seven, ten. Maybe one more. Yeah, that one more probably is round one. Um, James in Atlanta, be honest, Devin may have lost to Lemons last night. We would have to see it, man. We would have to see it. Mm. RRT Boxing with Mr. A. To me, the eighth and ninth are the easiest to score. Lemons, hashtag Hardin. That's what I thought, bro, but I'm looking at everybody not giving him the ninth, bro. Like, the eighth is easy. Like, I think the debate in number eight is like, do you give the motherfucker a 10-8? You know? And I don't do that. I'm just throwing that out there. I've never given about anybody a 10-8 round if they don't get the knockdown. But, like, my man, he was getting hit that whole round, and all he was doing is clinching and, and, and attempting to clinch. So, you know... I don't know, bro. I don't know. Then 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 again, then they turn around and they give them the knife on most scorecards. Uh I, I, you know. I wish we had a real good judge that always got good cards that don't have controversy and then we could have him, you know, teach us. But even still, it would be what he is uh, you know, what he deems, you know. What he's looking for, essentially, right? But these are the questions we need to ask. Like, yo, you're such a judge. You, you don't have controversial scorecards, yo. What it is that you're looking for when you're watching, because how is it that so many other people get this shit wrong? And, uh, you know, we're having these conversations. Again, I'm not saying Limon's won. I'm saying those scorecards was crazy and very inconsistent, like, Again, you know, how did everybody give Hitchens round nine? That's RRT Boxing win. Mr. A, five more dollars. To Shield's defense, she said, I'm trying to mute myself, but I don't know how. Hashtag Hardeen. Yeah, but um, I think that that is also a problem. They hired you to do a job, and you are saying you're so biased, you need to mute yourself, like, Nah, you got to be professional and call it down the line. Like, what is Limon's doing? You know, she would get so excited when Hitchens would land. And she's like, yeah, that's what you got to do. And it's like, oh, you know, um, you got to get equally excited for Limon's as well. But look, first time on the mic, it is what it is. She still gave us some more excitement, right, in the means of her and uh, Bum Gardner going at it. Yet again, hopefully that fight happens. You know, um, she's calling for it at at 54 when when she knows that that fight only became a reason because she mentioned 147 to Cyborg. So that's when, you know, Bum Garner jumped in and said, oh, well, you know, fight me at 47 then. So, you know, um, we'll see, man, do, does that happen? Uh, outside of that, yeah, she just probably need more rounds on the commentating side of things. You know, it takes some time to, you know, do that. Um, but, yeah, we got RRT. We got that. We got Lake County, two more dollars. Shields wasn't biased for Africa. She was frustrated. Uh, probably the same thing then, no? Um, Julio Guzman, two dollars. Homer announcers ruined it for hardcores. 
James Atlanta back at us, another $2. Devin would have had us post the clinch counter again. Oh, man. Uh, okay, I mean, that's that's how you deflect, you know. Uh, Devin didn't fight. He wasn't in a fight with Limon's. He ain't been in an eliminator fight for a long time, but de deflect, push it off. Um, we got Lake County says, nah, Ness, one through three, Limon's for me. He set the tone early. Yeah, I did not give Limon's round one at all. Uh, round one is a Hitchens round for me, easy. I got Chad in Canada, $2. Another stat, Hitchens, 0% effective. Mm. Um, Goody, trying you again, third time. On Discord. Good job, good job on Discord. Go on once. Yep, yep. What you got there? What's that, an old school... Uh Mustang, like an 80, 80 something. We can't hear you, champ. We're going to move on. Big Bay Quinn. Keep trying, though. Goody job. Big Bay. We hear you. What's happening? Buenos dias. All right. So, Alicia Baumgartner is a better announcer than Clarissa Shields. Clarissa was doing okay until a fighter who she was clearly rooting for started to fight. I ain't have a problem with the other commentators, but they should have said Gustavo Lemos was a construction worker. They should have left that out. Because that don't look good for Hitchens after he was trashing Gustavo's resume and trashing Haney's resume. Because Richard Hitchens, Richardson Hitchens escaped with a controversial win after getting his ass whipped by a construction worker. He needs to stop comparing himself to Haney, Tank, Shakur, T.O. Stop doing that. You, 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 we, I'm not saying you're not in a bracket, but relax. Just relax. Stop saying that, especially after last night. That, was, that did not look good. And I'm not mad with the scorecards because the fight reminded me of Ngannou versus Fury, where Fury was, was getting hurt more, but he was doing enough each round of boxing uh, 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 Ngannou. So I felt like uh, uh, Gustavo Lemos had the had the power advantage where he would be able to land the shots that would hurt Richardson, but he would get out box. So I wasn't mad when I was watching the fight, but I knew me and my homie was watching the fight, and we was like Gustavo, like we was we was excited. Now we like, yo, I'm about to be a Gustavo fan, bro. Like I'm about to be a Gustavo fan. But all I gotta say, Richardson, he just need to relax comparing himself against the 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 the, the the four kings of this time. He's not there right now. Nobody's saying you 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 can't be there, but just relax and focus on the food on your table before counting other people chips. Before focus on what everybody else eating. Because you're not eating like them right now. And you obviously need to 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 focus on what you got. Because boy, he was getting his ass whooped. It was funny. I'm like, yo, he's getting his ass rocked all night long, but he was doing great each round to outbox him. So I'm not mad at the scorecards. That 117-111 was a little crazy, but I'm like, I could see how, because he did enough each round, you feel me, to, to outbox Gustavo. Gustavo! Big Bay. Appreciate you on the check. And if you're watching this on YouTube, you know what time it is. Smash the thumbs up and subscribe right now. We are at 206,136. So we need about another 900 people or so to get to that next goal of 207,000. We got Chad in Canada that says, I mean, was right. Hitchens needs to listen to critics. Um, let's see if he doesn't act like most fighters and get upset at the critics. Um, we got McNally, what up? Okay, I meant Tyler then. Hello, Miss Kier. Loud and clear. Oh man, uh, 
I didn't like the whole card last night. I feel like it was big favoritism to who's supposed to win, whoever was supposed to win going to each fight. But uh, especially that Liam Paro fight, uh, that that not Paro, that Liam Paro, but what's that dude's name? It was a tall dude uh, with Sean in Pacheco? it. Sean. Yeah, Pacheco. Sean was roughing Pacheco up majorly on the inside, forcing Pacheco to clinch. Heavy and early, yeah, but, but the, roughing but him the up, ref- roughing him up though. But was he landing punches or was he just roughing him up on the inside? No, no. I feel like at the start he was landing punches on the inside and roughing him up a little bit of both. But he kept holding and holding, and the ref kept wanting Sean for the holding. It's like the ref only noticed when when Sean holding and didn't say anything, and then get to the next fight, they completely ignore Hitchens holding. It's like, but but I feel like Sean had to switch up. And uh, last fight though, I was talking about. I feel like Sean had to had to just finally concede defeat at a certain point. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he had to change his game plan up a little bit with the inside fighting because the ref was just warning him and warning him and warning him so much. We kind of just we kept the fight at the distance for you know Pacheco. But then uh, when Hitches came in, as soon as I heard Hitches says, "Fuck Devin Haney." I said, oh, this bitch about to lose. Oh, my God. I, I just I just had a feeling in my heart. The moment you talk shit and worry about another nigga, that's the moment, that's gonna, moment you're going to have a downfall. Every time, every single time, that's how I feel about life. And when he stepped in there, I feel like he lost. I feel like he genuinely lost. He If he if the ref would have warned him like he warned Sean about that holding and forced Hitchens to do something else, he would have been cooked. Hitches would have been cooked all night. And then they gave, and then, I, I can't believe they gave the last, Hitches ran the last round. And you said they gave him the night. <laughs> that was a robbery if I ever seen one. And then the scorecards was way too wide. I can see if they gave him a split decision. But a unanimous is wow. That, and they, I, well, I think they was trying to credit Hitchens with the jab, even though they weren't showing jab stats all night. So <laughs> they only been showing power punches, but you know what I'm saying? I think they try to credit Hitchens with the jab, but I can't remember the dude's name. Uh, what the construction worker name? Gustavo Lemos. <laughs> Gustavo Lemos, he showed him why. You know what I'm saying? He showed him that blue collar work last night. <laughs> The kitchen's running that thing just because I've been boxing since I was probably six, seven. I don't know when he started boxing. But this man showed him that blue collar work last night, and he definitely deserved a nod. I, I, don't, I don't know what the judges saw that I didn't see. Like, I don't know what the judges saw that I didn't see. But, yeah, that's all I got to say, Miss. Appreciate you for letting me on. Appreciate you for calling, champ. Ain't no us without Cha. Thank you for joining us. Uh, We're going to keep these phone lines moving. Um, let's see who is next. Looking like we got Mr. Perfect. Man. You. See, you talk all that shit and get your ass beat. Stop worrying about Devin Haney, bro. Like, and then... What got me fucked up and mad? You, I, that was the IBF eliminator, right? Yes, sir. Why the fuck is you? Why the fuck is you talking about? Oh, I want the fighter from two weeks now, nigga. Oh, you scared of Matias? You been saying I been knew you were scared of Matias. I mean, it ain't really scared though. Like you know, nah. it, is Devin and Ryan not a bigger but, fight than Matias? And it's still for a belt. But you're you're not up for that belt. I mean, you and know, got, they, I mean, they on the zone. Devin, they on the zone. He got more of a shot than than people not on the zone. I think that T.O. fight can get made for sure. T.O. on top do. rank. I know, but that can, that's fight. You know, Devin free agent, Eddie Hearn to let that rock. But for you to say, you that's the IBF eliminator ness. Like, come on, bro. You you didn't say nothing about Matias. You didn't say, oh, I'm not NBA. I want that uh, Paro and whoever the winner of the Paro and Matias. You saying two weeks. We know you scared of the power, bro. I know you scared of the power. You think Devin don't got no power. 
I mean, he took win. the power pretty well, though. To say he's afraid, he 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 didn't go down. He didn't go but down. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You trying to compare that little nigga power to Matias? Look, I mean, homie looked like he cracking to me. Harder than Matias? I ain't said that, but I would. I said for oh, sure okay. I would love to see that fight with Matias. Let Matias rock him like that. It's over with. He let Matias rock him like that. It's over with. I just want a little dog. We, we know you're not on Devin level, Shakur level. Just stop talking about the big people, bro, and get fights in. And if you beat Matias, you can prove to everybody. So stop running from Matias. Just like in the last interview. Matias got to fight, him. man. How y'all keep saying this man running? Matias got to fight in two this months. I go. Matias, Matias got to fight, right? Yeah. He just had a fight, right? Yeah. But T is about to fight, right? Yeah. Just like Devin about to fight, right? Yeah. Just like Tio about to fight, right? Yeah. And they gonna meet up, right? Yeah. Okay. Down the so, line, you, you know what I'm saying? Like his next we don't fight know if should be gonna, IBF. Nah, his That's next fight, think. his next fight should be like Regis or Montana Love, because the IBF <laughs> is busy. <laughs> I mean, let me ask you: Is the IBF not? Busy until June fifteenth, and then after that, how long does you give Matias to take a vacation and, and go right back in negotiations, and then go right back in the camp? So what month is Matias and, and, and Hitchens supposed to fight? So how many months you want Hitchens to stay out the ring to get into the the, the toughest fight of his career? The man want to stay active. I I don't get what's funny. You just said Montana love nigga that just got whooped by. I'm only telling you the Probably. names they put on the screen, bro. They put next for Hitchens is uh, Matias Love Regis. That's all I'm doing. It better be Matias. Because why is he fighting two niggas coming off losses? I don't understand. Because he, he got 18 won. fights and and, 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 and and maybe only two world champs under his resume, right? How many world champs has the man fought in well, 18 fights? Tell him to shut his mouth, next. I mean, Tell him to shut the, I'm not defending his. Up, I'm bro. not defending his talk, and I'm just letting you know. Zepeda was not a former champ. Zepeda was a title challenger. So the only champ he beat is our Jenny's Mendez. And he just got all his mouth. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, just stop, man. Yeah, but that's what Probably young fighters do. He 18 and no. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he beat a dude that a world champ struggled with, so he was feeling himself after the Zepeda win. Yeah, I know. Hey, you feel yourself into an ass whooping, I'm telling you. So keep talking. Just, go, just, just stay away from the top niggas, bro, until you prove yourself in a fight, bro. That's all I'm saying. And I think that going to beat Matias. So you go, please go fight Matias and prove yourself, bro, since you're talking about other shit. I just want this. I just want you to go up so there. So you thought he lost? Yes. Oh wow! But he was running that twelve round and kept the distance and kept the jab, so he won that twelve round, which probably made him win the fight. So. All right, champ. Um. Okay. Well, I mean, you know, you thought he lost, so that's totally different. I can see why you feel that way. Uh. We got. Brandon. What up? Hello, hello. Good morning. Good morning. Um, so I, I was watching the car last night. Um, to be honest, I was kind of disappointed with it. Thought it could have been better. I actually fell asleep before the the main event started, so kind of maybe it's a sign that it was kind of boring last night. But um, obviously, match rooms kind of boring. Con my favorite so far is Conlin boxing and Golden Boy boxing. Those to me are the best cars. I don't know. What what do you think is your best uh, or your best type of boxing between all of them? There's there's Conlin, there's uh, Golden Boy, there's Matchroom, and there's there's another one that I forgot. I like Conlin. I think they're the best. Conlin, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Eddie Hearn obviously loves Conlin too because Conlin, it's it's always a hype car. It's always with with so much hype and energy, and everybody's excited for it. And the, the fighters are just top notch. Like the boxers are top notch. And Colin's obviously amazing. Um, Golden Boy is also hype as well. Um, maybe it was just that one card yet last night that made it boring, but I don't know. 
match. I've only seen one match room so far. I'm not really a fan of, of match room, but they're all they're all pretty hype. Um, and I can't wait until is there a boxing today? I actually got to look. This this boxing boxing is making my is making my weekends better, making my weekends so fun and entertaining. Just seeing boxing because I love boxing. Um, I haven't boxed in a minute. I've been playing basketball, but boxing is 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 like the highlight of my weekend. I love boxing, but I want I really want to get back into boxing too. And except that I hurt my fingernail, so it's like I got to get that fixed first. And then, uh, but yeah, no, boxing is pretty cool. It was a good card last night. Very entertaining. Didn't really see how Hitchens got got the win over Lemos, but you know I'm glad that Hitchens got the win. I sort of predicted that in the first place. They were they were packing some punches in the beginning, um, and they, they were really trying. They were really um, hitting hitting pretty hard, I would say. Um, but you know, again, some of it was kind of boring. Uh, and then I didn't really like listening. What do you mean? Some, some was kind of boring. Some of it was kind of boring. Um, you know, I didn't feel like maybe I don't know if it was the crowd kind of uh, you know died off a little bit and they weren't as hyped, but they weren't as hyped as they could have been, and it, the you know, I fell asleep during it, so I didn't really see the 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 the, the main the main event. Uh, wish I could have wish I could have stayed up to watch that part. Um, but no, for the most part, it was pretty cool. I liked watching it, and uh, and that's all I gotta say. Yeah, that's all I gotta say. You got it, champ. Um, that's my call, John Boy. You can hear me? Yes, sir. All right, uh, Richard Hitchison, it was a bad, bad performance last night. I don't know what he was doing. I get, I think he uh, underestimated him because he was calling. He likes to call, use that bum word a lot, call everybody else a bum and uh, tell them what they need to be doing. But he didn't, He wasn't listening to his own coaches. They was telling him to throw more combinations. And he, he just told them, I did throw more combinations. I'm like, what the fuck? Listen. But that performance was horrible. We need to stay away from uh, uh, Devin Haney. Definitely Matias. I don't know how he expect uh, to beat Matias if you're going to let somebody walk in your kitchen like that. That is crazy. He probably gets stopped by Matias probably by round six because he got he got hurt early. Was what, what round did he get hurt early? Was that round two or, or was that round three? Yeah, I think, I think it was round two where he got hit with a right hand and he tried to, he had a clinch. But round yeah, eight like, is the round where he got visibly, you know. No, no, no. Yeah, when he got visible, but I'm saying he got he got hit with a, like uh multiple good shots early. I thought he was hurt early. Like if if Matias catch him with that shot, nah, he 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 not gonna stop. Uh but but I, I don't know. him and Shakur, they in the same boat right now, talking all that shit. And then putting on bad performances, and then coming at the fans talking about, "Oh, y'all gonna call it a robbery?" Well, motherfucker, it was a robbery. You didn't, you didn't win. I didn't think he win one uh around past eight. I thought he lost nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Like, shit, shit was garbage. You know what I'm saying? Like, he he need, he need to go back in the gym, focus. Fuck going to uh Shakur in Houston. Go in there with shit. Fuck it, sign the DHP because. You want to be him so much, sign to him because that shit was ass. And maybe he could teach you some tips of your defense because you're supposed to be uh, Mr. Crisco and you you getting hit from a cab driver, as you call him. But, you know what I'm saying, that's my call, Ness. Thanks for letting me up, and I uh, salute to you. Nah, man, I hear you. This the bad shit, right? Because in, in one hand, we want you to talk shit. But now all of y'all getting Y'all taking shots at him for talking shit. So the the shit talking is only good if you keep performing on that high level because had he called this dude a bum and treated him like one, nobody be mad, nobody be calling in talking about that. But he since he called him what he called him, he opened the door for the for the shots to come the other way where, oh, you you losing to uh, what they called him earlier, uh, a, a construction worker. Uh, shout out to James in Atlanta with the $10. Why are you protecting Alicia? Alicia needs to fight the quote at whatever weight the quote wants. Alicia's profile is not 
big as Cyborg, same as Boots, not as big as Tank. But for Buds, if I hit him at 147, look, I get you. But uh, the difference here is, uh, you know, Tank never said he'll fight at 147. Um, that's what Clarissa did. And that's the only reason that Alicia even spoke. Clarissa has been at 54, and Alicia never spoke. 147, then her eyebrow went up like, okay, wait a minute. We could meet there. Fight me instead of Cyborg. You know what I'm saying? Nothing wrong with that. I don't know why y'all keep hating on that. RRT Boxing with Mr. A. Five dollars. After last night, Diego versus number 11, McCumbly, slow him down a bit. Wow. Selling another undefeated guy. Hashtag Hardeen. Three faces in clouds of Hardeen smoke. Um, McCumbly should be for Morel, but if they ain't, uh, it looks like Belanga's ready. Right? It looks like Belanga's ready for Diego. I retweeted it, and I hope I don't get taken like I am agreeing with him because retweets are not endorsements. Retweets is I got a platform. I want you to see what Belanga is saying. So I'm retweeting it. Not I'm retweeting it because I agree with what Belanga is saying. But we'll see how Pacheco take it. But you see how I got a preference. Everything I do with, we'll see how they take it because these dudes be wowing. Okay? But Edgar tweeted out, uh, Pacheco is super ass. So maybe he's ready. Maybe he's ready to take the Pacheco fight. That's the biggest fight Matchroom could give him in-house. Now, can Matchroom try to get him a Daniel Jacobs? Yeah, Daniel Jacobs don't got to deal with Matchroom. Can, man, can they try to do a deal with someone else? Possibly. But in-house, that's the biggest fight they can make. And they homegrown Pacheco. So, you know, they paying big bucks for, for Berlanga. The best they could do is give Berlanga the Pacheco fight and give Pacheco the Berlanga fight. Uh, and it's good for me because that's Mexico versus Puerto Rico. I mean, yeah, Mexico versus Puerto Rico, which means that, you know, uh, it should be able to sell. We'll see. We got uh, Ken. What up? But yeah, let me show that tweet and show y'all my man's head movement. You feel me? Don't be sleeping on the on the guy Edgar Berlanga. Huh? I'm waiting for him to drop that song too, man. I want that song. Ken, you gotta unmute. You see the head movement. Don't fucking hate on the Puerto Rican. He coming. He come. Watch he drop down like like my man uh Lubin. What's up, Ness? How you doing? What's good? Hey, first time calling in, but I love uh what you do and appreciate everything. Appreciate you, uh, man. Thank you. I really loved that uh that card last night. I thought it was great. Uh I thought the Pacheco fight was kind of, you know. It was kind of boring, kind of dirty, or but otherwise everything was good. I loved how Lemos came out with that peekaboo style. He was shoulder movement. He was changing levels. I thought he took those first three rounds, um, but he kind of faded. He he switched from all his movement to that regular high guard, and I thought that Hitchens was catching him then. And in the later rounds, he didn't push the, the pace. He knew he was coming into a foreign land. He needed to push it. And, you know, people say that Lemos won that 12th round, but while he was applying pressure, he was kind of just standing in front of Hitchens, letting him tee, you know? And I think that if he kept his pace up through that fight, he would have won that fight hands down. But because he uh, took those rounds off, I think that's why that was the difference in the score. All right, all right, man. Uh, so, so to be clear, who you had winning? Because you saying you know you Gustavo took some rounds off. Yeah, yeah. I I think uh I don't disagree with the card of one fifteen one thirteen, um for Hitchens. Uh, I think that that Hitchens took a couple rounds off too. I mean, after he got caught in that second, he was just hugging in the third. But Lemos, you know, after he blew his wide in the third, he took off the fourth, you know, and, and same thing happened, you know, he caught him in the eighth, 
Uh, Hitchens took off the knife, but then he was ga- uh, Lemos was gassed in the tent. You know, I think yeah. You know, so I don't disagree with the card, but uh, Lemos really left something on the table there. Mm. Appreciate you, man. I am going through these the zone comments on YouTube for the highlights, and uh, wow, I haven't read. One comment for Hitchens. Not one. This says he won. Not one. I'm going to just screen share like the first hundred or so. Like a quick scroll just so it's not like, oh, Ness out here hating on this dude. No, I'm not making this shit up. You know, you know, I like having my highlights playing in the background. And I'm like, let me see what they saying here. Look at what they saying. First one, bad decision, terrible, absolutely disgusting, 117, 111 card. Next one, robbery. And, 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 and mind you, I'm not going to get to all the details, but know that each of these have several thumbs up, meaning someone endorsed it. Next one, robbery. Next one, that has to be something we could do about these judges who go around robbing people. Next one, Hitchens out here giving out free hugs. Next one, don't like calling things robbery, but you can't win a fight by running and holding for half of it. I wouldn't have mind a point off for that holding. Exactly something that Porter brought up. There was no point deductions, no stern warning for the excessive holding. Next one, robbery. And I'm not going to keep reading the entire sentence. Just you see robbery. You see the next one says robbery. You see the next one says 115, 113, lemos or draw. The next one, robbery. The next one says get Clarissa's off the commentary, something we talked about that was on the DAZN Instagram comments. Very, very, there's a lot of people that don't want to hear her back. Uh, The next one, robbery. The next one, he better keep Devin's name out of his mouth. The next one about the price of DAZN. The next one, Hitchens ain't ready for Sabril. The next one, comparing it to Brona Maidana all over again. And I'll just stop there just so you see that I wasn't lying and trying to paint a picture. This is the picture. Um, I do also want to show you this, which is Eddie and his thoughts. Show great heart. Diego Pacheco in a big test. Start that over. An incredible night here in Las Vegas. We just saw a brilliant fight between Hitchens and Lemos. Controversial? I don't think so. I thought Richie just squeezed out a brilliant fight. Showed great heart. Diego Pacheco. He said, Richie (laughs) just squeezed out a brilliant fight. He said, controversial? I don't think so. But he put out what he knows is out in the universe already. We got Fats. What up? Yo. Loud and clear. Damn, birds chirping Yo, in the background. Up? Yeah, man. Early early bird get the worm around here, man. But uh <laughs> what I was ready to say. We all know when it come to Canelo and, and Bumgarner, and that's that's you know, he kinda move he moved the goalposts a lot, you know what I mean? He'd be like, Yeah, that's true, but this different, you know what I mean? So we we all know we we all know uh bu- uh, bum gone. I ain't trying to fight no damn Clarissa Shields. Man. Not she at 54. Chasing, she never asked for the fight at 54. Uh, well, she ain't the A side. She don't get to dictate and what that's the hell cool. the terms is. And that's cool. And that's cool. We all on the same page. But all she did was say, oh, you willing to fight that MMA girl at 47? Would you fight me? That's it. Yeah, we're we, gonna fight we, you at 54. We making this, this ain't MMA. We trying to make MMA. this some 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 divide and conquer shit. Like, bro, she either wanna mm-hmm. fight the girl or she don't. She either want her first and only pay per view or she don't. Cause you, right, you name another shit. girl. You name another girl that, right. that we you, care about you, that we about to pay for. Man, come on, bro. Man, we ain't and, nobody and, like you. And saying. this shit pissed me nobody off. Paying for no, this shit pissed me ahead. off because. Look how big the fight is getting. Meanwhile, she hated on me. She blocked me. But this this the only thing fuckers talk. We'll never talk about Clarissa doing nothing except fighting bum Gardner. 
When that do anybody? True, you making it? You making it? Stop it! Stop it! Stop All right, it. fast. You when the last time like... you called? No, 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 no. Cool. I'm making it seem like nothing. When the last time you called in? And if you could tell me, you get free calls as many counter punches as you want for the rest of the year. Sure. When have you called in to talk about a Clarissa Shields fight or a potential fight? Not name a uh, bum gardener. I don't talk about none exactly. of their fights, to be honest. No, man, that, but I, yeah, but, I, but I really do. But I do, right? I talked about her yeah, fighting yeah, Shadesha you do. Green, you do. I'm, her, her fight in Marshall, her fight in <laughs> Bump Garden, and that's all I'm saying. Out of all the she people probably, she could she fight, feel, this is the pay-per-view. She probably feel like you 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 being biased, though, now. How you I'm being saying? biased? I'm, probably, trying, I'm trying to give you your biggest pay-per-view. Like, you ain't got no pay-per-view. This is your biggest and only you was, pay-per-view. You was calling her. Think about it. You was calling her scared. You was trying to say she had Shadeja Green to beat her up. Man, you, you was saying all that shit. Like, you know I don't I mean? remember so, ever saying Shadeja would beat her up. Uh, that I'm riding with my girl from my city the way you ride with your dude from your city the way we supposed to support our friends. Like, I was in the gym with Shadeja for like four years. I made this shit clear. Like, I've been bigging her up for the last seven yeah. years. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to let her get on the main stage and be like, I'm picking against her. Like, like, I mean, do yeah, I mean, I, don't you? get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. You know, I ain't saying you wrong. I'm just saying that's how that's how she probably feel. You know these, you know these celebrities, man. You know, you know, you know how they is, yo. Some of them, some of them say they don't care, but they really do. And you know, you know how it is. But if if the bell ring, I'm gonna send you that five dollars because I'm gonna probably go. I ain't over. even started. But I, I'm starting now. Oh, oh, right, oh, right, cool. But um, yo, I ain't even get to check the the fight out last night. But but uh, uh, from what I'm seeing, from what I'm seeing, they saying that Richardson Hitchens ain't. Ain't do his thing, man. Now, now he been talking all that shit. You know, you talking cold cash shit. He the he the goods and all. Oh, listen, you come out here and do this, you know. So is is he a C level fighter or no? Nah? You get what I mean? Like, well, you know, people got start asking them questions, man. He talking about my boy Benitez saying, you know, Lamos did his job. You give him his credit. Yeah, we giving him his credit, but Hitchens was supposed to, you know, show out. You get what I'm saying? Like, I mean, you know, it, it's more about how Hitchens look versus Lamos giving him a good fight. I mean, you you talking cold cash shit like you like that, and this what you do, you know. And, and I don't really understand Shakur Stevenson, bro. You know, bro, one of them guys. Like, you know how you got some people who hang around. They got a certain friend group, but they cool as long as their friends doing worse than them, or as long as their friends not as good as them. They cool with being cool with them. But as soon as as soon as you show that you're a little better than them or you show that you know, you, you feel like you can beat them, it's a problem. Like, bro, like yesterday was about Richard Hitchens. Why is, why is Shakur Stevenson talking about y'all want to see a real fight? Come watch me fight July 6th. Like, ain't that your boy? Like, ain't like, nah, like that's I told crazy. you they not like, boys no more. I keep telling you that. Oh, for real? That, yeah. Well, well, that's crazy. Like, I, I, I don't know what happened between them. Like, uh, oh, because he said that his fight was boring? I don't know if it was that. I thought it was because he said uh, he got to be careful with De Los Santos and the power. Yeah, you get you see what I'm saying though. Like even right there, they can't there, take like, criticism. Again. That's what it is. A lot of these fighters cannot take criticism. Yeah, but it's like, but then he say that's like, then he say in the same breath, oh, if he would have did camp with me, he would have stopped this guy. Really, bro? Come on, bro. Like. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, he making it about him. Like, yo, it's not about you, bro. They're supposed to be your man. Like, if, if you saying that, you know, you will help him out and camp and all this, but if he would have did it with you, he would have got the stop, bitch. But then y'all not cool. But then y'all is cool. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's just best, man. You're not supposed to have friends like, like dude. Like, it's, it's all about him. It's never really about, you know, all right, by y'all. Then he said the other day he admitted he still fights. So he don't even support his colleagues. Like he don't even he don't even buy their fights. Like shit, crazy, bro. Like I I just don't understand it. But Hitchens guy get better, man. Hitchens Hitchens guy get better. I don't want to say because he talked trash, you know that uh, you know that he shouldn't have did it. I mean, you know you know do what you do, but you gotta be able to back it up, man. I appreciate the call. All right. Um. Shout out to uh, Clarissa, though, because that's how you build the fight, too. She came for the juggler, called her a drug cheat, live on TV. 
Ain't no friends in love and war, I'll tell you that. Quan, what up? What up, what up? Chilling. Sure, man. That fight, man, that, that fight, it was a good fight last night. Um, Just breaking it down. Uh, I liked Hitchens' jab. It, it, it was good the whole fight, but he needed to use more. And there was times in the fight where I felt like he could have capitalized because it's like Lemos, he had cracked Lemos, and then Lemos would be up there in the high guard. He wouldn't do nothing. And I'd be like, man, if you don't pounce on him right now, and he, he just didn't take the, the opportunities. I, that that hugging, clinching, that, that shit was nasty work. So it's like, I don't never want to hear nobody talk about Haney again. Because in my opinion, that was worse than what Haney did. Haney got clipped in, what was it, the eighth round in that fight? And then he had to hug probably what, for the, that ninth, the, the ninth round. But what, what fight you talking about with? You talking about with Lomo? With, with Linares. Yeah, with Linares. No, with Linares. I, I don't remember yeah. what round that was, but that that's what I brought up. That I felt like it was similar situations. But it was but but it was really not because what happened to Haney, it was at the end of the round. Like it was a six. I six, think it was uh, the seventh. I feel like it was the seventh round because I feel like Haney had like six straight rounds of kicking the shit out of Linares being untouched, and then he went for the knockout. <laughs> And got caught with that hook. Yeah. So I I don't want I don't want to hear the criticism right there. But as far as like what but, this is, is gonna do again, they gonna they gonna label me a hater for telling the truth. But that, the truth of the matter is, is truth, truth of the matter is uh Linares is a three or four division champ. I I'm not CYP, I didn't research it before I said it. Uh he's He's a three or four division champ, and he's known throughout the boxing world for power. Uh, again, Limon's made a name off Hitchens. He did. He did. I I, I want to see uh, Limon back. Uh, but as far as what he going to do next, it was a little bit of deflection. Like, he, he ain't trying to see Matias. I, I think that's going to be worse. I'm not even going to I mean, I, I, again, I'm going to keep interrupting everybody that says that. I just don't believe it was deflection. Um, there's, there's two months and some change in between. Uh, he's only got 18 fights. True. So, it's like, why sit? But he was a 2016 Olympian. That, that shit is so confusing to me. Like, he should have been took off. But yeah, I but the he thing... Had, nah, he, he was with... Mayweather yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, that's so the I, slowdown. I that's the slowdown right there was the link with Mayweather. But, uh, you know, uh, with 18 fights, I don't see any issues with him trying to get another one in with a with a, with a Montana love that they mentioned or, or a yeah, uh, that's Regis Progray. I would go Regis... Just because he's a former champ, um, mm -hmm. but Montana Love probably would give him a tougher fight because he's uh, allegedly slick, right? Yeah. I, but he is ranked in the WBC too, so I, him going to Haney, I really can't be like mad because I mean he's paying for that too. Yeah, but, but he's not high think, enough to be like, he, like he had three or something. Yeah, right? but but Sandor is there, so so he's gonna completely not take a title shot, and and oh, hope yeah. to fight Devin next year. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, I see. Because because he's I number see, two, Sandor's number one, and the mandatory. So now Devin fights Sandor this year. That means he don't gotta defend that WBC again till next year, the same date. Mm. So Hitchens just sits and waits. I mean, he got an, he got a better opportunity of getting the in house, and and by that I mean you know being already with the zone, and Haney mm -hmm. having that business working relationship with Eddie, you know. But I also feel like Devin's leaving after this fight, and he's got to go make that mandatory, um, um, on top rank. It's just make more sense unless he feels like you know how some people be like. Oh, I'm gonna get robbed. So he want to go like Fury. You want to go into the Sandor fight with your own promoter versus not being with a big promoter and having everything against you. But his father and him do well negotiating shit. I don't know that they're gonna bring Eddie along for this one, but um, yeah, this is uh, this is the tweet here from Shakur indicating. That he doesn't that he doesn't pay for boxing pay-per-views because someone said broke 
ninjas steal pay-per-views. And Shakur came and said, not true with the crying emoji, meaning I got money and I steal. That's weird, man. I don't, I don't get that. But. I mean, ain't that the same thing that happened with Earl? Wasn't he caught saying he had a fire stick? True. That's true. But the fire stick, like you can use it for so many things. Like yeah. Movies nah, shit, so. I, I, I just recently bought one. I was definitely, you know, one of them dudes that thought y'all was sinners for having a fire stick. But I had to give in because I watch a lot of movies. And, yeah. uh, you know, fuck. You're going to have to save somewhere. I'm buying $80 pay-per-views. I got to save somewhere. Okay. My, my last thing, because the biggest thing I seen from Hitchens was the jab, but let's compare the jabs. Handy jab versus Hitchens jab. I think handy jab is way better. Like, I mean, it's hard to do that. It's hard to do that. Plus, is is unfair because uh, Haney ain't fight Gustavo. We don't know how Haney would do with that level of pressure. Gustavo was but, non-stop, man. And... And, and 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 the thing that we got to give him at least credit for is like is he going to feel Haney's power? Cuz But Haney if you if you look at the opponent, every opponent that Haney faced, they face be touched up. It's bruised up. I got to nah, go look at sure, Lemo's face. For sure. Listen, so, Haney's an accurate he's puncher. Power. Haney's an accurate puncher and this is how things work, you see? With Tom, certain wins age well or bad. And right now Haney is showing the separation. Remember, there was a point where we thought all these dudes was on the same level. And by these dudes, we meant Tio, Ryan, Devin, Shakur, Tank. Hitchens had been trying to put himself in that conversation. Hitchens just showed he need a few more fights. Ryan already showed he not on that level. Shakur showed he is. Some people arguing that he ain't. You know what I mean? Devin starting to rise to the top. Tank already at the top because regardless of opposition, we see in it physically in the ring what he's able to do uh, offensively and defensively. That 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 Isak win now ages way better. You know he's got good yeah, defense. Back, back. Tank does, but let me get to some other callers. Quan, yeah, you the my man. Call. Um, I got. Smash in the seven four oh five dollars. Last week Roley got point taken real quick for holding, and that fight ended soon after the ref took that point. Yeah, because holding is is essential to killing the action. That's why I never gave Kelbrook the credit that the rest of the world gave him versus Porter. That shit was insane. There should have been a point taken away. I'm not saying there should have been a point taken away on the Hitchens fight, but I am saying you could have took a point away. He clinched excessively. You could have, you could have, you could have gave him a warning and then followed up with another warning and then another third warning and then finally took a point because there was that many clinches. Um, Chad in Canada, Ray Ford had this same issue and built on it. We'll see. Can he do it? Two dollars from Canada. We got Mike Hawk, $5. Richardson Clinchins cannot handle power. Terrible decision. Robbery, clear as day. Called them Clinchins. Damn. Mike Hawk back with another five. Limones versus Pitbull. Cruz is the fight to make. Uh, not to make. It's a good fight to see, just like, you know, uh, Limones versus Matias is a good fight to see. The fight to make would be Matias versus a champion. You know, Cruz versus a champion. Cruz versus Haney, Cruz versus Matias, vice versa. Haney versus Cruz, Haney versus Matias. Uh, Lake County, $5. And I quote, I see, but I don't want to penalize the fighter. I heard the referee say that later in the fight to somebody at ringside. Was it about all the clinches? I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't there. I can't even make that a assessment. But uh, Damien, do you think the 10-pound rehydration clause had an effect? $2 cash app. Um, he didn't mention it, so I will not. Damien, $2. Do 
These ninjas think every close fight is a robbery. Damien, two more dollars. Pacheco and Hitchens was lackluster last night. Damien, two more dollars. Haney clinched Cambosos 117 times. Damn. James Benitez, counterpunch. Yo, Ness, you hear me? Perfect. Yo, man, hey, the community needs to stop bullshitting, man. Like, yo, he, he only reason why he clinched because he was actually in there with a the dangerous fighter, unlike Devin Haney, who was doing a clinch fest with Cambosis 1 and 2 and Lomachenko. Lomachenko, yeah, Lomachenko's dangerous, but come on, man. Was Cambosis known as a puncher, a big-time puncher for Cambosos, all that clinching that Haney was listen. doing? Cambosos, well, let's be real. Cambosos wasn't it, known as a puncher, but ironically enough, Cambosos had a win over Lee Selby, and Cambosos, unfortunately for you and your, uh, you know, talking point, happened to be a mm -hmm. unified champion. So if Haney Damn. hugged, he hugged the unified champion. Hitchens had to hold, uh, you know, a construction worker is what the telecast called him. A government worker, a government worker, man. Don't belittle that, man. He was a government construction worker, so they ain't just like nobody off the street, man. He he actually works for high levels and shit like that. But he, besides, you know, uh, what Joe Smith or something like that? He was a tree chopper or some shit like that, or a tree climber. Yeah, and they, certainly. We know like that a they historically, union. he was in a un he was like a union type worker. Yeah, for sure. So we know those guys actually carry um they actually they actually carry a high level power. You know what I'm saying? Traditionally. So we can't discredit that. I mean, whatever, man. Y'all niggas just funny. Wait, today, wait, man. wait. Are you saying that blue collar workers are strong because they live in, you know, like what? Because they ma doing manual my labor? What the fuck? Yeah, and that's like, okay. come on, man. No, I like, just want to make sure like, I heard you right. Make sure that's, that's like, what you're that's kicking like, over there. Like, that is what I'm kicking. That's like me saying you ain't got no strength. You used to be in the truck. You used to be a truck driver, man. You know what I'm saying? So let's keep it real, man. Like, you can't underestimate those guys. Either way it goes, the level of competition that Haney been clinching on and giving us bad performances compared to compared to Hitchens last night, there's no comparison, man. There's I mean, no you just showing that you Haney, you just showing that you I'm just want to troll because no, uh, I'm not Haney even clinched troll. A, I'm a, a Hitchens uh, fan. Haney clinched a, a, a first ballot Hall of Fame in Loma and he clinched a three time champion in Lenin. That he argu that he that he arguably lost to. And there's be there more. I mean, but that's what we're discussing right fight. now. We're discussing someone arguably or debatably winning a unanimous decision. Mm -hmm. So are you gonna give you gonna give are people gonna give Hitches a hard time? He never fights Lemus again. Like uh, Haney never fought um, Lomachenko again. Um, or are we just I don't gonna know. wait and see how know. they do their next performance? I don't know because Hitchens is still do. Hitchens is still in contract uh, with the same network where he just had that fight, where Devin, it was over. So if, you know, they really wanted that rematch, all they had to do was offer the right money to keep him on the network or to at least get that rematch, which wasn't in contract. Uh, Top Rank chose not to do that for business reasons, and Loma chose to take time off. Hitchens and Limones are on the same network. Uh, Hitchens okay. could certainly get a rematch if that's what he desired and if that's what the network desires, right? Because he could want oh. the rematch... And then they Hopefully like, nah, the we, we, we don't it. want that. But the network might say, yeah, if he wants it, they might push for that because it was a, you know, appealing fight from, you know, some standpoints. It was, it was, it was entertaining what the people say Hitches can provide. So he gave an entertaining performance. He showed they has a solid inside game. You know, does Hitchens need to work on some things? Sure, but if there is a part two, he'll give a better performance. And if and if Hitchens does fight Haney's old work as a Regis Pro grade. I guarantee he's going to stop him. He ain't going to just put him on the ground. He's going to actually stop breaches. So, mark my word, you can quote me on this, Ness, and I'm going to stand on that. And I, mean, I see two would, would, uh, Just up. to be a What's devil, up? just to be a devil mm -hmm. advocate. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead, because I know you believe that, too. It would be, it would be, it would, if, if mm -hmm. Hitchens stopped Regis, it would be three bad performances, uh, you know, back to back to back to back. Get the fuck out of here. Right. <laughs> Zorilla, here. Zorilla, Zorilla, uh -huh. Haney, and then you're saying Rich and somehow stop some champ. Oh, you talking about the other? You talking about the other way? So, yeah, yeah, cause, so um, keep in mind, keep in mind that people mm -hmm. out here saying Canelo's on the back half and he's slotting and yada yada to the yada. You know, he ain't get a knockout and yada yada. So. 
I'm just putting it out there what the that, universe you would normally shit. say. You funny shit. So who the fuck he needs to fight then? Because they're going to give him no, shit. No, you know I want the Regis fight. I want the Regis fight because he's trying to be a nemesis, and that's what you do. You talk shit about a dude, so we want to see you fight him. You fight dudes that that dude fall, so we want to see you fight him. He doing all the right things. And and this is also good. Listen, listen. Looking vulnerable mm-hmm. gets you talk more about more than, than looking too good. Let's be real. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I agree, man. I agree, man. But I mean, we just might man. take the fight now. If he would have looked like he looked the last two fights where he pitched in a perfect fight, outboxing, we just like, bro, I don't want to fight another Haney. Now he looked like he could get knocked out. So we just like, yeah, I'll knock that dude out. And that's all Regis, hypothetical, Regis. but you know, that's me assuming that, that Regis is looking at the same fight that we saw and thinking, I'm more experienced than Limos. I'm a two time champ. Limos ain't even using a jab. You know, I mean, not it's a every lot. champ is the same. We all know not every champ is the same. I and hear you, we man. all know. Yo, we send, all me know that them, hit- send me one of them Rich and Hitch- Richards and Hitchens t shirts you're wearing. <laughs> Got you, man. Hey, shout out to you. Shout out to the community, man. I'm out. All Peace. Right. It's the superstar. Yo. What up? Yo, what's new, man? It's your boy, Two-Tone Superstar. Please say the superstar. Uh, man, f- first and foremost, uh, Lemos ain't got enough clout for the uh, the, the clinch and shit. They're not going to take no point away. He ain't got enough clout. He, uh, that's F-side. He F-side. Not A side, B side, C side, D side, E side, F side, respectfully. Um, also, all the Haney haters, um, my man Haney for Regis Pro Gray Loma, Richardson Hitchens went life and death with Lemos. <laughs> Voided. Now, Ness, y'all in boxing, I'm I'm a casual, but y'all in boxing, y'all hardcores. And the slick fighters, all y'all use this 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 word, this word, and it's called levels. Y'all love to use that word, levels. Y'all love to use it. But Ness, every time a fighter that says levels come up against somebody that they haven't researched or somebody that just throw punches, they look severely average. Like pit this last night shows me. That Pitbull cooks a lot of these niggas that say that they levels above. Like, like Pitbull would have knocked Richards and Hitchens out last night, bro. With the with the, with the levels talk. Shakur Stevenson, oh, I'm levels above Edwin. The nigga was on his track, tra- track. Gervonta Tank Davis fought somebody who wasn't hand-picked, short replacement, and, and the man magically broke his hand in the fight. What's up with the level fighters? Then I, I rewatched Floyd Mayweather versus Madonna one and two. Y'all not Floyd, bro. Floyd is a dog. When Floyd's in them type of fights with a with a with a pressure, it, with, with Flo, Floyd shows that his level is severely above y'all young niggas. Y'all young niggas just want to fight at distance and look pretty. But when you go up in there against a Mexican with Mexican style and a nigga with a chin, y'all niggas look uh, funny and the like. Respectfully, y'all look funny in the light. And the zone, the the commentator team is fucking trash, bro. It's fucking disgusting. Clarissa, trash. Um, uh, Maddox, trash. More <gasps> trash. More. Trash, bro. The zone shit is trash, bro. As a casual, wait, it's man, not wait. I'm I'm trying to let you get your whole call unfiltered, just in case you know <laughs> you needed to repost. But like, what did Maddox do? It's trash, bro. But Amy, no he it's trash. It's, it's trash. I feel like bro. his scorecard was pretty decent. I feel like his talking points was on. Like, what did he do that was trash? Nah, man. Nah, man. He, he went and got talking points from Clarissa. She what? not paying attention. She on her phone on the gram, uh, looking what Alicia wearing. It's it was just musty. Like, go back, like. Go back to Lampley, Max Kellerman, Roy Jones, and, and Ness. You need to be added to that team, bro. You need to be added to the to the new 
Nah, HBO comedy. I ain't on front. Bro. I ain't on front. Um, I know that I don't belong, and I know when I heard nah, Clarissa, I knew I didn't belong because there was a point where where, where Clarissa was like, mm, "Ooh, ah," uh, and I'm like, "Yo, that's me. That's me." Like. I'm giving out sounds. <laughs> Sometimes I'm giving sounds like, oh shit, damn. But I'm not telling you what just happened. Like, so uh I, I'm I know I'm not ready. That's not my thing, man. My 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 forte is uh, you know, this. I'm here to 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 hear the thoughts um, of of, of, they of need others. a nigga like you, bro. This is what they need. They I'm need ready. they need they need the good commentators, then they need somebody like you that's gonna keep it a hundred percent real, bro. Somebody that's going to keep yeah, it on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to be the first guy, but I could certainly be the guy to be like, oh, wait a minute, man. Um, <laughs> there's no way you're supposed to get that man round nine. Like, fuck exactly. that. You know, exactly. and round 12. And round 12. Like, Bradley would have had a fit. Bradley would have went yes. ape shit for round 12 on, on ESPN that they gave that to, to Hitchens. That's There's no way he won that last round. All this championship round talk, all this man, like, come on, man, that that, that round, it, it showed, it showed that uh, he did not win that round, that round. Yeah. Even the copy yeah. box is literally he landed one more punch, I believe, than Limon's in that round, and and, yeah. and you got to consider that he's on the back foot throwing jabs. See, we not see. We needed this shit on TV. With niggas ain't getting that type of commentary right there. The niggas is moist. Also, did did did, did three hundred people leave when Diego Pacheco wow. uh, fight was over? I don't know Damn. because I didn't notice it. That like I I feel like it was just as empty when Pacheco fought. Like I had been watching it. Uh, I started watching it like immediately after Sky Nicholson. Like she's in the in the ring getting her commentary. Yeah. So right from there is when I'm I'm witnessing the the audience, and I'm like, all I'm saying on my live is like, oh wow, they didn't sell three thousand because he made it clear that was a three thousand arena. You know what I'm saying? He he interviewed with Danny. Danny said, wow, well, you know, he loved the the Fountain Blue and them being the first ones there. And why was the reason? He was like, well, when you know you're gonna sell three thousand, you better you better off being in a three thousand arena. So that you're not in a bigger arena, making it look empty, and I'm like, damn, right. that shit still looked like it was hella floor seats. Like it was the, the the second and the third floors was 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 full, but the floor seats they was available. They might have they might have overpriced them floor seats, man. Yeah, so Richardson he he's definitely not a draw on the business end, and leave my man David the Mexican monster. Casamigos, Terramana, Benavidez alone, man. My man, my man just had to go to Vegas. He ain't been there in a long time. He had to hit the pepper meal, get a couple shots. But leave but, that but, man but, alone. But, but, but Tom, how many fights you been to? Like, like uh, as a spectator too. Like go, getting fly, going there, being in the arena. Yeah, a lot, couple, couple. I've been there, couple. Have you ever gotten drunk? It's like faded. No, I've never been faded, faded in a fight. I, I don't no. understand how these dudes is doing it. And it's always fighters, let me tell you. I, I'm assuming they pregame and tell me that it, they pregaming because like I've been to all the fights. You could barely get two drinks. I promise you that. You can't buy more than two shots at any major fight. Like, and and they selling you modelos and bullshit if they do got a liquor bar. Now, now, Phoenix, now, Phoenix, you get the whole bar. No, you getting fucked up. Man, Phoenix, I've been to yeah, Phoenix. Remember yeah. how many shows we did in Phoenix, bro? All I'm saying is, how is these dudes getting that shit faced at a boxing match off beer? Nah, David was with Oscar, bro. David pregame with Oscar De La Hoya before that. Him and Oscar was getting trashed, bro. They was getting faded, bro. He I was, seen the picture. I seen a picture with Oscar, and uh, I didn't want to believe that they partied real quick before before the fight. Like it just don't make sense. Yeah, but, David was uh, out of there. Man. I don't know. But, man. I mean, yeah, TV, David, yeah. David, David definitely has some Casamigos at the very least. Um, but if you want to call in, Discord and Twitter Spaces is available. And don't forget that uh, if you want more than one call, you got to send that $5 cash app. But Marco, buenos dias. 
What's up? How was the comedy club? Busy. Finally, this this uh this inflation's been killing us, but picked up a little bit. Nice, nice. You you be getting like real names in it, like real comics come do sets through there, or or is it all like up and comers? No, no, no. It's real. Um. No, it's just the top guys, but we, you know, we get huge names that just drop by, like, but they do some, it's on some, like, unannounced type shit, you know, because it's working material. Isn't that but, yeah, dude, no, Michael Rack, Rackaport, like, from New York? Rappaport, he is, yeah, I know him. You got him yeah. in there ever? He seems like yeah. a stand-up type of guy. No, he does do stand-up. He, st- he didn't start too long ago, but, now nah, any, I've, I've been doing this 16 years, and any stand-up comic you think of, especially it's funny. on the East Coast, uh, I know them personally. Kind of like all the fighters you know, I know all the comedy. One of like my that. one of my previous co-hosts had always had uh, stand-up dreams, and now he's doing it, but he's so irresponsible with his phone, I won't even give you his number. Uh, but one day, well, if he texts me, I'll, 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 I'll hope that I remember to, rem- to tell him about you because uh, that would be a dream come true for him, you know, uh, to be able to do stand-up in New York. Uh, he's in boxing, you know. He's actually good too. He's actually good. He's a fighter? But... No, a writer. Oh, okay. A writer. Okay. Boxing writer. I got JXV two dollars. Okay, he says clutching, but I'm I'm pretty sure he meant clinching and holding is the new sweet science. Shaking my head, yawning emoji. So, I just jumped in. Who? What'd you think of the fight? Don't ask me. You watched it. No, but what'd you think? I'll tell you what I thought. Go ahead. That's what we want to know. They've heard my thoughts for the past two I haven't, hours. Though. I haven't. Let me show you this sound bite right here. It could be two things. <laughs> that could be. Yeah, Rocky, I know Luis J. Gomez really well. I've known him for that years. That could be the rewind which is what you would need to do. Or that could just be the, you know, record scratch. Okay, which, which so, is, so you're saying you don't, think it, you don't think it should have won? No, I'm saying I already said how I felt. You need to say how you felt. I got a scorecard. I'm, I'm going to say how I feel. I don't know why we're playing this weird cryptic game here. I just want to know who you thought everybody won. everybody already record. knows how I felt. I even got a scorecard. I don't, card. though. I don't. What's I your scorecard? Title huh? says, how did you score it. Don't say that on YouTube. I mean, on Twitter because right. it don't fit. Um, I think I, I had uh, I have Hitchens losing, right? But then at the end, <gasps> I think he was he was he was hitting the dude with a, some one twos. He was putting some 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 leather on him, but the announcers were kind of not. So wait, I Hitchens. gotta I gotta I gotta I gotta stop because you picked the you picked the winner and the loser, and I bet you the next answer to this question is no. Did okay. you score it? Nah, I never score fights. Exactly. It's up here. I do it exactly. off the dome. I'm like Biggie when he wrote hip hop. It's just off the dome. Off the up dome. Here. Up there. But you got your card up there. Are you saying that? Yes. So round one, who'd you give it to? Oh, nah, 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 not like that. Nah, nah, nah. Whoa. Um, I got. So how do you pick a winner, my friend? Because a fight like this. Because a fight like this, it could have gone either way. And this is a boxer, um, y'all. Former boxer. Like, a fight like this, it could have gone either want, way. As a dude that had to be subjected to those scorecards and to someone else's opinion yeah. of you in the ring, how can you not yourself have because a scorecard for controversial fights? Here's what I do. And I didn't have that time to do this. When it's a fight like this, I'll have to rewatch it, then I score it. Usually it's just off the dome watching, okay, you get a feeling. But then when the fight's over and it's something like this, which was pretty close, now I got to rewatch it. Then I'll bust out the scorecard and go like and do it like that. But obviously I didn't do that yet. So I it. scored it twice. I watched it live and scored it and only scored it that one time. Like all I did was go back this morning and rewatch it and refer to my scorecard. Like, okay, that round's over. Damn, what did I do then? Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. St- I still see it that way. You know what I mean? I didn't cha- make any changes to my okay. scorecard. And who would you get? I had it a draw. A draw. Uh, th- and, and that's fair. That's I had fair it a because- draw, but only because there are some swing rounds, right? I feel like some people gave Hitchens six and some people gave Lamone six. Like, if I... Mm-hmm. If I just stand firm on one round, it should not be a draw. And yep. 
I don't get anyway. It was just a lot of bad scoring because how did you score the 12th round? Can you at least remember that? Who you yeah, thought yeah, you yeah. seen win that round? I think Hitchens won that round. Hitchens Lord. Was di- uh, Jesus. Uh, give- uh, this is what I'm saying. Scoring is so subjective. You see, you, maybe, but maybe. Everybody, okay, so listening, everybody listening knows I threw you that alley you in hopes that we were like the best dynamic duel in basketball and you were going to slam dunk and say there's no way Hitchens won that round. I got to watch but it this again. Is exactly I this why, but this is what I'm saying. This is why this sport is so fucked up because well, listen, listen. two people can I, watch one thing and see a different fucking thing. I got to watch it again. I got to watch. Maybe I don't. I just remember that Shit Hitchens sport, was, man. I hate was on some like, of that. Scoring Hitchens sucks. was on some like running and holding shit, right? A lot. But then he would bust out and start hitting homeboy with some one twos and and would put, you know, he showed some heart because he looked a, a, a he looked a lot of points throughout the yeah, fight. He like showed he was dog. Done. He showed dog for sure. You know, there was he a did, lot of but, times. But, but he also didn't. He was holding. You know what I'm saying? So at first you didn't know which way he was going to go with it. With the dog, was it the dog or was it the poodle? But then the dog. Came he was out. looking at the clock a lot. So many things that he did that that, that Gustavo's didn't. He got hurt. Gustavo's never was hurt. If he was consistent. Any power, this fight would have been done. Any power, you want him to have more power than that? Do you know how many? You didn't watch this fight enough. He did not have power. Oh wow! See, nah. this is the lack of like. Nah. Neither. Of them I don't know power. what the lack of. I'm gonna strike will tell that. You that. Strike that. I'm gonna What's say the records. My man, how can you say someone who hurt a man at least three times in that fight has no Pernod power? Pernod Whitaker knocked out uh, Hurtado. Pernod Whitaker had no power. You don't have to have power to knock somebody out all the time. Sometimes uh, it's the timing of the punch. All right. I mean, 60-something percent knockout ratio hurt hurt the caliber of fighter of Hitchens who was, uh, you know, being thrusted into the top uh, by I'm, most media. I'm telling media. you, he was, he was hitting him with greatly timed uh, punches, punch placement. Look, he wasn't the weakest puncher. Greatly I'm not saying Tom. He was... I mean, he was winging, bro. He was on some pit bull cruise shit. Nah, he was timing him a lot too. He was timing. I'm telling you, the the, the body work. Um. Anyway, I I thought I thought it was a fun fight though. You know, for 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 a fight where you knew nobody's going down. I mean, Hitchens was hurt a couple times, so you you thought maybe he might go down, but I don't after know, man. While, I think you underestimating Hitchens' uh chin durability, you know, training, stamina, conditioning, and you underestimating Lemos' power. I think that Lemos, uh, Lemos. two things could be true. I think Lemos has yeah. power, and Hitchens just showed he got a good chin because he got hit multiple times. He was hurt. He, did. he had to clinch. He didn't no, go no, he down. Was. He, was. he didn't go down. No, look, no, he was. Look at, look at, look at Roley when he got hurt. He didn't look like – look – Sometimes Hitchens would get hurt, he would clinch, then he would fight off the clinch. That's what I'm saying. He showed dog to me throughout. None of that pool shit you talking but, but about. The, but the difference is when you saw the way Pitbull's punches bounced off Roley's face, that was power. When you saw the way Hitchens uh Lamone's punch uh what's his face's punches bounced off Hitchens' face, you just saw that it wasn't uh, uh, there wasn't the same. Yeah, level because of power. Roley and Hitchens ain't the same. Hitchens take a shot better than Roley. Roley the has punch shown didn't us. look as hard. I hear you, you know, man. The, you know, we agree to disagree. It's all goody. Yeah, but but it was it was a fun fight. Uh, I'll say that it was definitely a fun fight. Um, this dude was was was, you know, had a lot of a lot of heart, a lot of determination, and Hitchens too. Great you know, Hitchens, stamina, man. Great stamina. Hitchens won me over because I thought he was going to be on some, like I said, on some holding and running shit. I mean, and he was. Then, what do you mean? You didn't think he, he held? He was, but then he would also bust out with some offense at the end. Yeah, especially yeah, the last yeah. Couple at rounds. times, at times. But he held a lot, bro. He held a he lot. He did. And the he ref, looked at the, the clock also, a lot. It was crazy. And the ref didn't give one warning for holding. None. Whereas. No points, uh, what nothing. It? What was the fight where uh, there was Roley, a point? It was Roley, Roley right. Roley got a point taken away for holding. This guy didn't even get a warning. Nah, man, you know it. Look, uh, I got Mike Hawk, $5, celebrating his 10th Super Chat. Uh, he says, Huggins' own corner said he was down in the fight. Whole point of them trying to push him to be more aggressive for the people who doubt a robbery. Yeah, multiple occasions you could hear his corner, Lenny, telling him to throw more punches, and you could see Zoel Judah telling him to throw more punches. James in Atlanta, $2. Can Boso split decision Selby? 
Lemos stop Selby. Yeah, that's for Marcos who says there's no power. Um, we got Hulk. I'd say I, I, not no power, but not if he had some real powers. I'm saying if I would have been done. <laughs> no, not no power, um, just yeah. real power. He hit a little bit. He wasn't like totally weak, but it wasn't like power power. Bro, <laughs> we want to see Lemos back because he got power. You wildin'. What up, Hulk? Yo, what's up, Ness? TBV number one. Uh, Marco, what up? Is it Mar Marco, right? Yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay. That's it. Ain't too much. What's up? Um, hey man, for me, Ness, the last night proved that um, we need the, we as the fans and and some of these fighters for real need to stop going off of that shit where we say, "Oh, Tank could beat Devin," or "Tank could beat." Uh, 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 this one or that one or Devin could beat this one and let him off the hook. No, we need to see these fights because, in my opinion, Hitchens is lost. But the point I'm making is, with all the stuff he talked, you know, it was like it was going to be a walk in the park. But the same example I'm making with, um, like Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford when they finally fought, had they not fought, had, did they not fight? We would be still hollering about what Earl could beat uh, Terrence or Earl would do this. But we still going through that with um, uh, uh, Tank Davis and a couple of other fighters. The point I'm making is last night is an example of we can't go by what these fighters keep saying. They can do this. They can do this. They knock this dude out. And so we don't need to see the fight because, no, we need to see the fight because the different styles make up the different fights. So we need to see the fights. I thought Hitchison lost. All right, man, wish him all the best. But we need to see the fights. The dude ain't good against a pressure fighter. And, uh, and to me, Pit Bull is going to be uh, making some waves around here. But I think Devin Haney, who came up, messing with Floyd. And Floyd always practiced fighting against pressure fighters. That's what Floyd practiced with. And he did it with Haney. So I think Haney would be all right. But we still need to see these fights. I thought Hitchison lost. But uh, the point I'm just making is, yeah, we don't need to keep saying, oh, Tank can beat this guy or Devin can beat this guy. No, we need to see these dudes fight. Because uh, when you when they get in the ring, it's a whole different ball game, bro. But uh, that's my call. All right, Hawk. Appreciate you. Uh, we got Burrow City E on a check-in. What up? Don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. It's going to help with the visibility of the show, putting the episode in the eyes of boxing fans that don't know we talk in boxing every day. Burrow City E. Burrow City E. Trying you again. Yo, you hear me? Loud and clear. Yeah, I'm about to drink some water. Bro, this shit you got to stop, bro. I ain't going to lie, this boxer should have turned you off so bad sometime, bro. I should have make you don't even want to watch it sometime. Because it's like, you know, niggas be walking into the ring. If they don't get the KO, they don't got the shot at going to them scorecards ring. Lemoyne ain't had the shot at going to them scorecards ring. Like, that shit was disgusting, bro. Like, Hitchens was round there for the first six fucking rounds, five rounds. He was throwing that jab with nothing on it. It was just literally just a scoring points jab. I'm watching Lamont hit this man with power and putting something, putting a little uh, a little sting on all his punches. He just like he showed me he got a solid chin, but what he did like he showed me he got a tad bit of dog in him too. I'm not even going out there like I ain't saw no dog, but he showed me his bite down man like. He is not one of them niggas that's just going to bite down, stand his ground, and say, nah, fuck that. I ain't going nowhere. You know what I mean? I ain't giving up no more ground. Like, the man clearly lost the 12th, Marcos. I don't know what you were looking at, my boy. You know what I mean? I can tell you be smoking on that right. pressure. I don't, I don't fully remember. Yeah, I, I know you've been smoking on that pressure probably during the fight. You probably not for 45 seconds and came back and saw hit you swinging a little bit. Of, <laughs> I don't know what it was, but the man clearly lost that goddamn 12. Me, like, like niggas was talking shit to me on the back call, and I got the five if I go over this. But I, since I, it seems like you ain't no big blind. 
I disagree with you that his jab wasn't good. I thought Hitchens was popping. That was the only thing he threw hard was his jab. No, he started throwing it hard after about probably about five rounds. I was in the back car. I'm like, man, look, I cannot give. Because the, the way Lamont jumped on him from round one to round four before he started to take little breathers, like, I mean, myself, I the kind of jab that that he was Hitches was hitting him with that kind of jab. I just don't, I just don't know what to have regard, bro. I'm not a scoring jab type guy, bro. I don't like scoring jab. If you gonna put that stick out there, you need to take that ramrod the nigga face with it. No diddy, you know what I mean? You need to touch this man up and let him feel your power. You got to put some snap on him, shit. And you could tell he started to do that. He started to do that. But this nigga Lamar was just determined, but that man, that man came to win, and he did win. They robbed that man, bro. One, one of those rounds. <gasps> how you do not give Lamar a 10-8 round with that that round that first time he hurt Hitch, and Hitch was getting beat from pillar to post. This man was this man didn't swing for like two minutes and 30 seconds two minutes 40 seconds he was just grabbing holding on for life getting ragged all around the ring and they did not give this man a 10-8 round how how like i, I don't understand I don't why that. you have to knock a nigga down to get a 10-8 round if i'm beating the shit out of this nigga and he and, and, and i know but what i'm saying like, that's how these judges treat it like if i'm beating the shit out of these things unless i got the five if i run I over if I'm be at any yeah, point. You, the bell rang no 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 he wasn't out. He wasn't out, out on his feet. He wasn't out on his feet, but he was taking unresponsive punishment. He was not responding to anything. Like, he was getting hit left, right. I'm seeing uppercuts. Straight. I, at one point in time, Lemoyne walked straight to the man with a high guard. No foot faint, no head faint. I'm talking about no jab. He just walked straight in and hit the nigga with a one with a um with, with a power shot with a right hand power shot. I said, "What the, well, the fuck?" The problem was hey. the problem was a dude like Lamone. All you have to do is smother his distance. If you go close to him, get in the pocket, he's not effective. He's effective when somebody's running from you and and, and he somebody's can running right from. I don't know. I don't agree. And the problem is, and I, I got another five if I run over against you, saying anybody, you know what I mean? I don't agree with that because he had a lot of success on the inside. Uh, with the six yes, and seven, not as much. He he do he he does hooks to the to the body. Right. Do you see how weak mid the body in the hips, mid section or the hips and the side right. of the body? Uh, then he comes up forward? top, and that's all hey, on the inside that he's weaker. doing it. Next, hey next, I got it's another five if I run point. over. Listen, the the, the nigga. Uh, Hitch's problem was, and it was pissing me off with this corner because you got three niggas talking at one time. Somebody got to shut the fuck up so he can receive um, instruction. Like, yo, Al Judah, he probably they good for most. Yeah, listen, the nigga probably good for uh, when you in the gym. But during a fight, you got to calm the fuck down, bro, and be able to articulate yourself and give me instruction. The instruction should have been for this man. Hey, listen, Hitch. Every time you, first of all, quit being second and quit trying to be last. My nigga, you going to be first, you're going to be last. When you turn him and you let your hands go, quit. Trying to pull back, his feet are too fast. He's not letting you get back out of range with the pullback. So when that happens, you have to grab his arms and smother him after you land. After you do your work, you stop him from doing his. Like you got, you got to be smart about this shit. If you can't get him when you turn and you can't get away with your foot speed, well, then that's fine. That means you got to smother. That's your only defense, or he's going to hit yeah. you on your way out. This man, like, this nigga was repeatedly turning this man, hitting this man, and then he and he had tried to pull back and step back, but Lamont wouldn't let him get away. He was sticking to him like glue. Like, uh, uh, nigga, you go. You trying to go out the back though? Take this with you. Huh? You going out the side though? Take this trash here with you. Yeah, you know I mean, and. Right, the man flat out lost that fight so clearly. I, you, I felt like it should have been with the ten eight round. That was an eight four fight. That was an eight four fight. I don't give a fuck what no man say. That was an eight four fight. I ain't got nothing against Hitch, but the fact that you run your mouth 
Him and Shakur, they run their mouth like they so elite, like they just top of the class. Then you get in the ring, you got Shakur turning his whole back and running. Then you got this nigga Hitch getting beat up. But I'm talking about, I, I don't even know who the fuck Lemoyne is. I, and that ain't no knock against him. That's not saying he not good. But what I'm saying is, at this level, you got to start showing separation. Who will KO Hitch? Matias will murder Hitch. Tiafimo Lopez will knock out Hitch. Devin I'm will you. beat Hitch. I'm like, bro, I'm level. telling you, it's over, baby. Gary Antoine Russell will maul this man and stop this man. Like, bro, I, I'm not even sure he could just come back and beat a Jose Ramirez, a healthy, active Jose Ramirez. And I don't know if he beat I, I don't know Hitch's if he could outbox Regis. Hitch's response to the pressure was what surprised me, the way he responded to that pressure by running from it, not going in it, smothering it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the, the, you got to smother that shit, fighter. bro. You got to lock them arms up, bro. And, like... Hitch was pissing me off because you could tell when he did let his hands go, he was the faster fighter. He could get from point A to point B quicker, but it's something it's something that sometimes speed don't account for, and that's hard. You got to well, have guts. Well, you got well, to have guts and glory, baby. Well, yeah, well, bro, you got to have well, guts and glory. Yeah, and, and I'm talking about, bro, my respect, I don't know who Lemoyne is, but wherever you had Hitch's rank, in the top ten at one forty, you put you, you put Lamorne right there. You bump you bump Hitch down the spot, and you put Lamorne right there. You you slide him in right there. I'm talking about if I'm any any of these boys who want to make a little build up fight and make a good highlight reel, I promise you, Tio will knock Lamorne the fuck out. Tio will knock Lamorne the fuck out. Matias will knock Lamorne the fuck out. Hitcher just ain't yeah. on that level. He ain't what we thought he was. He ain't what we thought he was, and that's okay. Like that. Yeah, he's like, like Hitch gonna have to go back to the lab, do some soul searching, stay off social media, stop, stop taking all these jabs at Devin. You was best friends with Shakur. Now you you finally done figure out he a scab ass nigga taking shots at your old boy. You would have been with me in the gym. You got the knockout. Bitch ass nigga, you ain't get the knockout last fight. You been just run, you turned your back and ran in the ring, and if he trained with you, you would have got the knockout. He would have got the knockout. Get the fuck out of here, man. You know what I mean, I go lie, bro. I had to go off on his this morning, and and, and uh, that weird ass dude should call, man. Like this shit just look bad, bro. This shit just look bad, man. Uh, Hector Lemoyne got robbed. I feel sorry for the man. He didn't even get his 10 eight round when the man literally you going went again? You going again? That was twice. No, I'm trying. No, I'm good, man. I ain't go again, man. I'm gonna wait out here. Some. So I owe you ten. Yes, sir. Coming in hot, man. That's my call, man. The man, Trace Toledo. Yo. You. What up, though? What up, though? What up? What up? Okay. What up? What up? Bingo, we got action. I, the Discord wasn't working. We had to figure out this X shit, okay? But, uh, hey, man, with this, <clears throat> like, <clears throat> damn, excuse me. like I said with this Hitchens, man, I said it. Yesterday, people were saying that, oh, he going to beat the shit out the Lamos guy and all this. I'm like, I don't know, man. I got to see it first. It's like when we talking about moving him up with Devin, that's why I'm like, the Regis would be perfect for him. But, hey, to me, when I'm looking at the fight, it gave me a uh, Brian Castaño versus Charlo, the first fight. It gave me them type of vibes, you feel me? Lamos, you feel me? Come forward, fighter. He's swinging and banging. My man Hitch, he is. He was trying to, I don't know what the fuck he was trying to do for real. I do agree with Bro City Edo. It's a, it's a proper way to tie up, you feel me? He got to get a hold of them wrists. I'm actually watching this shit right now, you feel me? And the man not really tying the wrist up. He going around the body, going under. That's how you still get hooked off to the ribs. But with him. And then another thing I wanted to say, I don't necessarily like the way he looked at 140. I, me and Unc was talking. Unc say that uh he would consider Hitch moving up possibly. What you think about that to 147? Because we thought that he looked bad at the weigh-in. Nah. Uh, and then when, uh -huh. Why, bro? That's power like, be even less. Like, remember the Limon's one fight ago, like, or one, like, I don't know the right phrase is, 
fight before last was at 35, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? See, but when I'm looking when I'm looking at this shit though, he looked he looked paused, but he looked thicker than 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 Hitch. Like he I don't know. Like he looks more. Uh, he looks filled. smaller than Hitch to me by far. He looks shorter. He looks shorter, but he don't. But my man look wider though. Yeah, like he, if you look at a the, wide back and off of the back. Mean. Yeah, he got a wide. Oh God, he got a wide ass back, bro. Like Hitch, like this. I don't know, bro. He, I don't know. He look. He look drained. He looked slow. He looked uh, some. He looked off. Some just look off with him. I like Burrow City Edo said. If he got in there with a Regis, I went for. I think Regis a doing man. I think a motherfucking Matias a doing man. I do think Gary Antoine Russell. A doing man, but you know, hey, I like hey, I he got the win, like they say, a win is a win. Now you just got to build from here, man. So what I'm asking is, what you what you would like to see him next? Like who who you like to see for him next? And then with all these undefeated fighters for Hitchens for Hitch at 140 with all these undefeated. Ooh, he called for the rematch. Rematch. That's what we got to see next. Rematch. Rematch. Hey, I did say he gave me Brian Castaño Charlo vibes. Charlo had to, he gave the rematch to Castaño. I'm just hey. And then he, well, he got him out of there to say, was how right? confident he was. The thing the is, the action. thing is that Regis is a bigger name. Unless they sign Limo, Limos, unless they sign Limo, sign Limons, um, I think they're gonna choose Regis over Limons. Even over sense. Montana, because Montana's allegedly no longer. I would, that's with, who I was thinking. I ain't gonna hold you. That's who I was thinking. Throw him in there with Montana. You know, yeah, but Ohio he, he's Stop. also Stop. he's Stop. also not with uh, Matchroom any longer. So, you know, I, again, I just think in house the way that everybody else thinks. It all makes sense. April thirteenth, the real big baby, Jared Anderson, future heavyweight champion of the world. Man, y'all know what the fuck going on. Be cool. All right. I don't know about that, but hopefully. Ha, Marco, you a hater. You know better than that. Rocky we knock it shit loose. <laughs> it's on you. It's funny. Some people are having issues with Discord, but not everybody. Rocky, you there? Yo, yo. See? We hear you. What up? What up, Ness? What up, Marcos? What up? what up? Okay. Okay, Jim. Eight rounds to four. Gustavo Lemos, man. I only gave <gasps> Hitchison a... Uh, I gave him four, five, six, and round ten. That's it, man. Um, if you look at the criteria for judging, clean punches, that was Lemos. Effective aggressiveness, that was Gustavo. Ring generalship, that you gotta give that to him because he fought the, you know, the fight at the distance that he wanted. He controlled that fight. And then defense, you when you score defense, they say not to score clinches. You're looking for slips and other forms of defense. And the only thing that my man was doing was clinching. So if you look at the criteria for judging, you got to give this fight to Lemos. Where is this criteria um, outlined? Because I don't think there is a criteria, unfortunately. Oh, no, there is. Absolutely there is. Uh, Where? Look it up. Look it up. Professional judging, they got four criteria. I mean, that's... Yeah, but each that's the guidelines. Body has they, to have its own crap. Everything's all fucking mismatch in boxing. Nothing's under one umbrella. Each sanctioning body must have its own criteria. Like, how do we know? Well, you know what, Marcos? I'm not an expert on it, but this is what I've been hearing since the HBO days. You know, I got it from Harold Letterman. That's where I got it from, where he would yeah, always and go all, through and, and, and give you right, all the criteria. What you're saying is right, but there's no actual criteria. That's one of the problems in boxing. Yeah, I don't know well, what the fuck Marcos is talking about. The world knows that there's an, a criteria. The world knows, but there's nothing specifically that you got to follow. Of Otherwise, course, man. The Queensberry, be it's, called, it's called the, 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 the Queensberry Rules of Boxing. Look it up. That's not the criteria. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's what I always do. But of course it is. About? What are you what? talking about? The Queensberry Rules are what you're, are the rules the fighters are allowed, what they're allowed to do, not what the judges, how they score it. That's totally different. It still tells you effective aggression, all that is in there. Nah. Clean punching, uh, effective I'm aggression, uh, ring generalship, and defense. I mean, that's what I always Marco's heard. Marco's the only one no, I agree never with heard you. of this. I agree with you. I'm just saying that there's no actual rules written down that people have to follow. But I agree with you. Those should be the rules. Got you. We'll have to, we'll, we'll have to research on that one. But uh, anyway, uh, Hitchens, man, th the problem with him is he's too intelligent. 
and he don't like the trade when it's a 50-50. He likes to have a tactical uh, advantage for him to let his hands go. And against a pressure fighter, that's not always going to be there. You just got to let him go sometimes. And uh, he did that in the 10th. I think that it was just – it was tough on him. But I would like to see a rematch. And, uh, yeah, man, that's that's pretty much all I got, fellas. I appreciate y'all, man. All right. Appreciate you. Yeah, rematch for sure. See, Definitely I don't know what this man is talking about, but it says – the Marquise of Queensberry rules are also known as the Queensberry rules are the code the of generally accepted rules in the sport of boxing. Drafted. Yep. Drafted. Oh, I already know all this. No, You're reading this no, for yourself. You can't say you know something and ask where is it written down. If no, the word drafted judging, means it's for written judging. down. Do you understand the difference between rules of which people have to abide by when they participate in, in fisticuffs as opposed to Rules for people who judge it. That's totally different things. All right, man. All right. It gives you everything there. Boxing match, the definition. Wins by knockout, the definition. Wins by technical right. knockout. Wins by decision. Standing eight count violations. Other rules. Other right. rules. So that's, that's rules of the fight, not rules of judging a fight. Also in there are m multiple things. They are prohibited from, which are judging of the fight, prohibited from hitting in the back of the head, the back of the back, the that's back not, of the neck. That's not criteria for judging a fight. Of still. course. That is, of course. If that's you don't, stuff you can't if you do. Don't, exactly. So then you can't score for that. You can't score for none of that. Obviously, you can't score for illegal things. Yeah, that's obvious. All right, and you must know what's legal and not legal. Right, but that's not saying what you can score for. That's so subjective, and that's the problem with boxing. All right. Well, next caller, Tim Bosky. Zimboski. Yo. Yo. There he is. Ooh, 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 ooh. What's good, Marcos? Ring walk. Sorry. <laughs> Not even there. Sorry. Damn the man. I'm fucking mess. What's good, man? Yeah, another another up another tip top turvy uh fat card yesterday again, man. A lot of controversy, you know what I'm saying? I'm hearing a couple callers calling. This is why I'm confused about the American, the American, the American fan base, man. Well, majority of them. After one, you know, one crispy performance, they like to throw guys underneath the bus. Richard Hitchens, he looked, he didn't look impressive, but he showed me that he's got a chin. He showed me that he does have some dog in him, because I was questioning that before. He showed me that he did get tested. People want to call Gustavo Lemos a construction worker. What the fuck? Like, what are we? Are we? Are you crazy? This is what I'm saying. People want to talk all this rubbish, and they've never seen the man fight before. It's ridiculous. And another thing, man, Gustavo Lemos. You could arguably say that he was not the bigger man, but the more put together, more structured guy in there. He's been at 147 before. You understand? He's been at 147 before. I think only I think only once in his career, but he's been at 147 before, and he started at 130, and he was a bigger puncher in there. In the first, and I gave and I gave the fight to Gustavo Lemos, but I'm not I'm 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 not I'm fine with people saying that it was a draw or we had mixed mix we had mixed vibes a draw Hitchison's won you know what I'm saying but I gave the fight to Gustavo Lemos the pressure that that he was mounting on Richard Hitchens made him think in there Richard Hitchens he doesn't really have the fastest feet but he's got good hand eye coordination I wish he, he doesn't really have any power on his shot. I wish that maybe his maybe his power would translate up to 147. I'm not too sure, but he doesn't really have any power 140. But he's got good hand eye coordination. He's got he's got decent anticipation also. Gustavo Lemos impressed me. He came to fight. You know what I'm saying? He was hungry. I was a bit disappointed for him. We definitely need to see him back. 100% we need to see him back. Whether it's against the winner out of maybe um, Baranch, maybe yeah, Baranchek, Navarrete. Maybe when I say the winner, they can whoever wins that belt. Maybe can defend the belt against him or something along them lines. Um, as for, wrong division, as for the wrong man. division, hardcore. What do you mean? 
Navarrete is at 35. Said, Lemos is at 40. Yeah. So that doesn't. What does that mean? Who said he can't move? He's moves up. He moves up and down in his whole in his whole career. Who said he can't move back down to you? Are, you you are hardcore. You, what are you telling me they can't? What you never seen a fight move back down? You never seen that before. So you want Lemos to move back down after having the best fight of his career at forty and being highly ranked at forty. Yeah, but I'm saying to you, what have they got from at what? Like, who's going to want to step I mean, in there I, over I heard, that side? I heard Eddie Hearn said that he's bringing him back. I mean, no, no, of course, of course, but I, I just, I'm not sure who, who they want to, they, they could, they could give him to Dalton, you know what I'm saying? Come on, man, don't play these games with me, Ness, man. I'm, <laughs> I'm saying you could give him to Dalton, you could give him to multiple other guys, you know what I'm saying? I don't just, understand just, just, what just, game I'm playing other than, than giving you the correct information. No, I'm saying to you that that's what I would like to see him do. I know he's at 140. Yeah, but you, you forget is you forgetting the lemos moved up after missing weight. So you you asking a dude to go that. Oh, that was my only our only interjection was you saying lemos could fight Navarrete, which is also top. Oh rank. no 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 but no but no but it's a title shot. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he'll take that chance and move back down. But, but I'm I'm that's what I'm saying. I'm just giving again, out some ideas. It's I'm top out some rank ideas. and it's WBO. This was an IBF eliminator and it's the zone. Like you know what I mean? You just Dreaming, but that's the bell. Let me get to some other callers. Player, head player. Uh, ring side. And I certainly find a, a, a very long criteria here on how to judge a boxing fight on the A, B, C boxing. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? There is zero criteria that everybody follows. Oh my fucking god! No matter what facts you find, this man, he's like an old stubborn. Yeah, there isn't. There isn't. Some people go with with pump in power the, in over the south, over rocking feet. on his chair, chewing on a fucking piece of straw. That's there what is. You, look you like. cannot find any criteria that is universally. You can't find. I don't know what you're talking my about. Bro, it doesn't exist. How how can you say that? Like, bro, do you not know what the what the Association of Boxing Commissions is? Sure. That's the biggest. That mean, that's that that's mean the that biggest. That's appointed. the one that suspended Alicia. That's who held that her suspension. That doesn't mean that, that, that judges who are appointed by certain sanctioning bodies have to follow that because they don't. Everybody judges different. Wow. This dude Nobody is... has to follow certain dude, rules. Dude, there's only one ABC. What are you talking about? Doesn't matter. They don't have to follow man, that criteria. Whatever, man. Whatever. They So what they follow? If they what did, they follow? we wouldn't what have all different scorecards. What do they follow? They don't. Because I'm Everybody giving you own... I'm giving you facts, right? You're, you're just saying it's not true. Even though I'm Googling what? and presenting what websites within me? the sport. Bro, what the facts? ABC is boxing. That's the and, Universal Boxing Commission. And what and what and what exactly did you find with the ABC? The rules of boxing. The rules General of what rules boxing? of judging. A the boxing rules of judging match by the ABC. Oh, Marco, let it, go, let it go. 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 No, no, because key thing in this is listening. Like, send it to me. Let me see what you're talking you about. You should have led with that when I told you I found it instead of saying it's not Look, real. If like, there was whatever, man. That get the fuck followed, out of it. Ringside, Clearly, please unmute. It would have been different. <laughs> yo, yo. This dude's weird. We good? Yep. Oh, word, man. Hey, man, I don't think people be, be scoring the fight round by round, man. I think people go off of, like, just how they feel of the overall fight. Because exactly. Round by round, bro, Which is one of the judges me? right here. Let me show. You just said it, how they feel, right? And it says yep. right here. I'm going to find it. <laughs> I just read it, though. <laughs> I promise you, it just said the judges should not be swayed by popularity. None of that shit. Or the crowd. None of that. This is like, this ABC is... thing? That's what it says? Yeah. ABC yeah, is the bro. fucking real rules of boxing. Send it to me. I fucking sent it. Get your ass out of here. <laughs> yeah, man. I thought Hitch just run that, run the fight clear. I thought the first round he had, he lost the second, and then from three to to seven, I thought he banked those rounds. Look, right three there, to seven. judges should not, in bold black, not pay attention to personalities, nor should they give undeserved points to a champion. Not that bullshit that all these fucking casuals got in their mind. You got to take the belt from the champ. Right here it says, when a fight Fact. starts... 
Both fighters are equal. There is no champion in the ring. A championship is earned, not given. All decisions must be based upon a points the fighter has earned during each round. And by this the, the way, ABC. Fact. ABC, the, way, the one that Marco said thing, don't exist. The, the one that he says don't has me. to be used. The Universal thing, Commission the in boxing. didn't send me yet, even if it's true, I fucking text they don't it use you. it. So what's, who cares? They, they don't, don't use it. it. You don't use it. No. So, are you let, kidding? Let this call a cook. Let this call a cook. Let this call a cook. Cause you've yeah, been nah, that's all I was saying, man. I, th I thought he, I thought he won from three to seven. He got caught in that eighth round, and they got shaky. But I thought his corner, man. I thought they was telling him the wrong shit a little bit. They was telling him to engage, like the swing, the combinations. When he's, you can't, he can't go punch for punch with a dude who punches harder than him. That's that's just not smart. So I thought he was boxing smart. He got clipped when he started the gauge, you know, a little more. So I thought he should have just stayed boxing smart, use his jab. Tie him up when he needed to. I'm sorry, it out. I found it right here in the rules where Marco says doesn't exist. Factors to be considered. There are four basic factors that should be considered when scoring a boxing contest. If these factors are observed objectively, the scoring of a bout will, for the most part, be consistent. The factors are as follow. Clean punching, effective aggressiveness, ring generalship, ring control, defense. But Marco yeah, said that don't exist. Do you realize that nobody, not everybody follows that, so it doesn't matter Man. at all. Not everybody follows that. Listen, Marcos, you can't become a judge and not follow the ABC. That's like going they to get your follow. driver's That's license. So Listen to me. Cards. Listen to me. That's like going to get <laughs> your driver's about? license without taking the motor vehicles oh exam. God. You're telling me that all judges follow this criteria. <laughs> all right, all right, Marcos, cool. They don't. Cool, cool. But yeah, nah, that, that's, that's my call, man. You win. Man. I you win. appreciate that. No, 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 you're not right, listening. I love say, it, I love say, it. Let's say this is right. No, let me get it out. Let's say get this it is out. right, okay? Get it out. Let's say this is correct. Mm -hmm. Let's say that the, the, not all judges follow it and nobody, there's no repercussion for it and fighters get robbed all the time. So who, what's the difference? You get what I'm saying? I'm... They don't follow it. That, that's a problem. Look at this. Some Look at this. Don't. This is easy for round eight. The following is a good rule of thumb. This is for all of y'all. I'm going to put this link in my live chat and, and, and I've bookmark this. I've never seen one this. commission go to somebody and be like, yo, judge, you didn't follow these, these ABC rules. Bro, we're, we're overturning stop your scorecard. Saying, stop saying. Well, you're allowed to say you've never seen because you've never seen it. No, Listen, it's true. No, you're have you, allowed. Have you ever you're, seen you're a allowed, scorecard overturned yes. once? Yes, I've seen, seen, I've seen three overturned. judges get suspended indefinitely. Get out of here. No, you haven't. Oh, my God. Nobody follows anything. Come All right. on. All right, bro. All right, bro. This is, all, this is every man for himself in boxing. All right, bro. Look, I just want you to know if we're having one-way conversations where no matter what facts I nah. present, no, no, you're no, going to no. brush them you. off with get out of here. No, 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 no. no. I'm, I'm with you. answer anymore because you Listen to me. I'm, I'm with you. I was, I was unaware of these rules, but the fact is that they still don't follow them. They um, don't. That is your correct. opinion that they don't follow them. That's everybody's opinion who watches boxing because we have all these bullshit decisions. What are you talking about? I mean, again, scoring is subjective. It shouldn't be, though, if you follow these rules. That's my point. And it can still be. Because of these rules, because of these rules, uh, it can still be. Look, they define the rules, right? Clean punching. Simply put, fights are won by clean punches landing. Not all punches are created equal. The effect of a punch is very important. Hard punches are certainly considered as the number of the punches. There are... Excuse me, there is no mathematical formula that equates the hard punches with the lighter punches, but judges must be fair to take both into account. See right there where it's telling you it's subjective because guess what? Limon's landed the quote-unquote harder punches. Hitchens quote-unquote landed the cleaner shots. But it says, take into consideration the effect of the punch is very important. And what did I say? Throughout the entire fight, Hitchens never hurt Limones. Limones hurt Hitchens on multiple occasions. Through the entire fight, Limones never looked at the clock. Through the entire fight, Hitchens was looking at that clock, hoping to get out them rounds, round after round. There's a lot of things Limones did that Hitchens did not do, but we can move on to effective aggression because there's a lot more to, to, to read in that clean, clean punching that I would choose not to. But I'm going to simultaneously screen share now.
just in case there's a hater. Effective aggressiveness. This is the boxer that is taking the fight to his opponent, period. So again, it's telling you Gustavo won, but because judging is subjective, the three judges didn't, didn't score for Gustavo. They said, well, he is taking the fight to him, but let me see what else he's doing. Oh, maybe he's not landing the cleaner punches. You see why it's called subjective, but I'll continue to read. Usually, one boxer will force the action. Now, this is editor's brackets, which means I'm talking, not reading. Who the fuck forced the action? Gustavo. Cool, I'm going back to reading. In parentheses, they have being aggressive and getting positive aggressiveness. Excuse me, getting positive results from this aggression. Gustavo Limon pushed the action. Body shot, body shot, body shot. Head shot. My opponent now is on the back foot running away. I lump, jump in. Right hand. I hurt him. Effective aggression. Results from the aggression. I'll continue with the reading. And I quote, this is the boxer that should be awarded points for this aggressiveness. But note that if this aggressive boxer is being beat to the punch, counterpunch in parentheses. Now, how much of that was Hitchens doing? Yes, he did it here and there. But he did what to stop the action? Kell Brook style. Clinching! That is not effective aggression. That is actually the opposite of effective aggression. It's not aggressive. That's giving you a hug. That's showing you love. Let's just be real, bro. If people did follow this properly and, and actually cared about the words that they're reading, we won't have a problem. Let's go to ring general. I didn't, this like is the thinking boxer. Allegedly, the thinking boxer. The boxer who, while punching or using clever footwork or moves, can keep his opponent off balance. That did not happen. Was Hitchens moving and landing punches in the 12th? Yeah. Did he keep his opponent off balance? No. Let's continue to read. This is the boxer that has controlled the action. Comma, let's stop. Did Hitchens control the action? No, only when he clinched them to stop the action. Let's continue to read. The boxer who, by using feints or slips, makes his opponent not only miss, but then is able to put himself in an offensive position. Yes, that happened between Hitchens on some occasions. Continue to read. This is a fighter that puts himself in position to score and not be scored upon. Running and simply avoiding action should not be rewarded. So, if I'm backfooting, I'm running. If I'm simply avoiding action by clinching, I should not be rewarded. Defense, and I quote, this is a display of boxing skill. Basically, punching while not being punched. Something that Hitchens tried to tweet. He said, this is hit and not be hit. Homie, we watched you get hit. We watched you almost get knocked out. You had to clinch not to be, you know, to stop from being knocked out. Let's keep reading. This is the, this is the display of boxing skills, basically punching while not being punched. The clever boxer can make all the classic moves, slip a punch, counter, fight off the ropes, and manage to keep his opponent off balance. Remember, with an asterisk next to it, good defense is not holding or clinching to avoid contact. So again, if you do follow these rules, you knew who won, especially specific rounds. So all sanctioning bodies must follow the, this ABC commission guidelines? Is that how it works? I'm pretty sure. But we can start interviewing guys like Mauricio, who we got scheduled pretty because soon. Because if, 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 if that's not the case, then none of this even matters. Of course, if, bro, if, if it's the universal. 
I'm going to punch you because the, for a dude that became a boxer, it's pretty weird that you don't have any clue no, no, no. I'm who not the fuck to, the I'm ABC is. I'm not even trying to argue is. with you, so, so slow your roll. I'm literally just asking. Like, I'm, I'm just I'm saying, how don't you know who the ABC is? This is like, it's like the BB or C. We only got no, no, one ABC and we only got one BB or C. Like, that's just how it is. I know who they are, but I'm saying if, if they're not, if they're not uh, uh, what's the word, it's forced basically to follow of these course. guidelines. Of course, listen, listen, listen. Alicia Bumgarner was suspended by the ABC, regardless okay. what sanctioning, sanctioning, which is a belt, right? regardless what sanctioning cleared her, she had to get cleared from A the ABC. B so let me ask you C. this, because in, most st in all states, that state's athletic commission is the governing body, is, is the all B and, and all And ABC is who they got to accede to. You know, that's who supersedes them. So, okay, so the Athletic Commission Look, is really gonna, the head I'm of gonna, everything. I'm going to go to their homepage. Because this is confusing. Like, initially, how you mentioned the Queensberry rules, you know, the Queensberry rules have nothing to do with this. Everything's so different in, in this sport. So, F fucking confusing. In the meantime, and let me get to these super chats. Thirty-fifth annual ABC conference in Las Vegas. Damn. Thirty-fifth annual. Wow. All right. So let's see if they got an about information. Effective committees. Unified rules. I'm telling you, this is like, bro. This is the ABC is the Commission of Combative Sports. It's not just boxing. That's what I'm trying to tell you. This, this is right. Weird. But I want I want all of us, all the viewers, and us to get a full understanding for. The, you know, the chain of command in boxing, who's the highest? Who has to listen to who? Because I don't think anybody knows. Yeah, they don't have an about, but this is a pretty... They have a lot of fucking tabs on this page here. And again... Boxing the, the referees and judges training out, uh, outlined, see? I'm telling you, they're, they're the governor. General rules of judging. Let me see. Regulations. I just don't see an about us. Let me see if I go to contact. Yeah, you see? They are the, 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 the central commission for all commissions. When you go to contact, they list every state commission in alphabetical order. They're, okay, they but are we, the we still don't know the chain of command, do we? You're fucking, you're fucking like uh, refusing to comprehend. This I'm is not, the I'm universal commission. Listen, you, you're not so listening. This is the universal. That means they're on top, right? Who? ABC's universal. Yeah, they have everything under them. Look, I went to contact, and instead of contact ABC, you got each individual commission. So, so, that, le so that leads you to believe that ABC is above all the athletic state commissions as well. Of course. Okay. Look, they have everything. District of Columbia, Florida Athletic, every well, single one. Well, then the one. ABC Georgia. should be the ones doing something about these judges not following Holy all the shit, same rules. they did. That's what I told you. You called me a liar. I told you I seen three right. judges get suspended indefinitely. You said, no, you didn't. You're fucking weird, well, dude. You don't I listen. I didn't really mean you didn't. It was more like it out of here because I never heard that. Uh, again, go watch Islandri Laura, a very popular fighter versus Paul Williams, another very popular fighter. So how fighter. is Julie Letterman still judging after all the shit that she's done all over all these years? I mean, you say Letterman, I say Alida A. Bird. Uh, both. How come they're both judging? Then if, if this ABC because is, is it really has to be down. it has to be egregious, you know? It has to be blatant, you know? There's um, there's a lot of blatant. You're telling you, me there's a lot of blatant. What is it? Not blatant Bird? Judging. Adelaide Bird, I guess, could have been under review if someone would have... Again, you also need someone to push the agenda. So I believe she could have been under review for giving Canelo a draw versus uh, Mayweather. I believe that she should have went under review and been forced like they do, but you don't listen to everything boxing. I'm listening. And it's, I'm asking questions no, no, no. so we can I'm get just this saying, straight I'm because saying, it's... I'm saying from this a general a standpoint, you don't know everything about boxing as much as like us who live it every day. But uh, you made me lose my train of thought because of that, you fucker. Anyway, Damien, two dollars, man. Regis don't have fast feet, slow as hell. 
And that's in comparison to Hitchens fighting him. Another two more dollars. He says, if it's a criteria, why the judges not penalized? They do. I just told you three. They got suspended indefinitely, which means they can never score again. But they're judges that get suspended all the time. But you're not saying that this system is working and all the judges are following these criteria. I know you're not saying that. No, I'm saying that it's certainly a flawed system. Okay, well, that's uh, all I was because saying. And nobody follows one specific No, no, rule. no, no. You said that there is nothing that exists on how to score, and, and okay, you called it right, the Wild Wild West, so you were completely was, wrong. was the judging system, so you didn't know what the hell you were talking about either. So let's not go there. Bro, I knew it existed. And again, if you look up what I showed you in the Queensberry, it's not uh, specific to just judging. It's the general rules of boxing. You, again... Dismiss what? that. Oh, my God. There's nothing God. in Queensberry about judging. Nothing. This ABC, that's a different thing. You, you got did me you, there. Did you even read it? The ABC thing? Of course. No, the other one. I didn't send it to you, but the Marcus of Queensberry rules. I didn't read what you said. So then how are you just general... keep saying this shit? Because the bro, Queensberry just, rules just, aren't about judging. But They're bro, about boxing. If you haven't They're about read, the fighters. If you haven't read it. Then send it to me. I'll read it, and then I'll, I'll, I'll get back to you. I'm not going to send you anything, my friend. I'm going to just move <laughs> on because you, you're just in a weird place. Lake mm. County, $2. Please teach Hawk how to say Limon's name. Laughing out loud. I think you're talking about Borough City E. He was the one killing it, calling him Lemoise. Uh, Box for money, $5. Borough City E just cooked. Thanks to Ness for letting... I'm getting that off. Excuse me. I guess he meant letting him get that off, and you put no H. Uh, Michael, $2. Where's Jerry? CYP got some comp this year. Looking emoji. Uh, those two guys don't call to talk about fights. They're more of the theatrics. They're, so they're here like Monday through Friday, usually skip the days we do previews during the week, too. You know, also, I just realized we got to see if that ABC stuff is if they force people to follow it or if it's suggested, because that makes a difference, too. Sometimes things are suggested, but they're not forced but to Marco, follow Marco, all you got to do, do is know? let go of the shovel, man. Nah, no, it's interesting for everybody to know. This isn't about being wrong or right. I'm just trying to figure it out, because yeah, I don't I know. know. I'll admit I don't know. I can't hear you with the shovel in your hand. Lake County, $2. Ha! At Limon's, Limois, the most Lamar, Limon, Lima. <laughs> Those are all plays on Limon's after Barrel City E's call. FP Trucking, two dollars. Benavidez drunk at the Pacheco fight. I mean, what's wrong with the motherfucker enjoying us? Am I not smoking my weed right now while doing my job? Y'all some hating ass fucking. Uh, you know, you want to be next to the priest ass motherfuckers. Like, let him enjoy himself. Was he not training nonstop motherfucking three, four months early? He been in camp since January for a fight Uh, in, what, June 22nd now? Just got pushed back another motherfucking two more weeks? Like, uh, damn, Marcos, you was a fighter. You never had one sip? At all, as you would, the minute you got your professional boxing license to the minute you retired, did you ever drink any form of alcoholic beverage? Yeah. Why? Oh, I mean, because my man Benavidez is being shamed for having a little sippy oh. sip. Yeah, well, that's how it is. You know what I'm saying? Boxers are somehow not allowed to have a little sippy sip. James Benitez, and I'm at the party. I mean, fight, which is a party at the end of the day. James Benitez, $2. 140 starting to starting to getting too hot. Watch Dev money dip. Oh wow, we woke up on the hate side of the bed. Flashy boy, five dollars. Ness wasn't that an IBF eliminator? Why isn't Matias next? Why are we not following the rules? And isn't Matias with Matchroom? Yeah, it was an eliminator, and is not next because there's time to squeeze in another one since Matias is, um, you know, busy. There's no rush. We could squeeze in another one. Why stay inactive? Why not keep working? We only 18 and 0. How many fights Matias got? I forgot to look him up. I thought I did. Let me see. Matias, did I not pull up your resume? 21 fights. 
So more experience. Plus he suffered a loss, so he learned from that experience. So, you know, we can't be hating on Hitchens but want to get one more. Plus that's another paycheck, another camp, another step closer to the dream in terms of, uh, you know, honing in on the craft. Reese, mob, $2. Marcos with a K. Right rules and judging criteria are different. Uh, okay, Mark, he's saying Marcos is right. Rules and judging criteria are different. Yep. I gave them both, though. The Philly special, welcome to the prospect level. I gave him the Marcus Queensberry rules of boxing, and I gave him the ABC rules of judging a professional boxing match, not to be confused with amateur. Um, so, yeah, I was specific in the answers. 702 boxing, $2. Start taking points away for holding. Check emoji. Done. Thumb up emoji. Nah, for real. The thing is that they don't. And I've been consistent. I don't like holding. I don't like shoving. I don't like pushing. Uh, you can hear my live fight chat or my live reaction, which would be uh, my post-fight reaction for Lamont Peterson versus Amir Khan. Yo, I was all this shit so... Is like, some judges, some, some refs will let you hold, some yep. won't. It's all over the place. Because it's up to the ref. You see, that is up to the third man in charge in the ring, which is discretion. the referee's discretion. Uh, mm -hmm. More referees. Let me tell you what happens, right? This is the biggest issue with good judging and good officiating in the ring from referees. I am the promoter. I am putting on Hitchens versus Limos in Las Vegas, you are the referee. Do you want to be at that big event? Of course you do. So you must remain in a good graces with me. Because when the commission of Las Vegas gives me a pool of names to choose from, me as the promoter with my A-side fighter, the A-side, the B-side, and his promoter, get to pick what judges, no different than a jury for a trial. So if Marcos yeah. is there and I see that you score like Adelaide Bird, I'm going to say he's the male version of Adelaide Bird. We don't want Marcos. They just, there's no, there's no set recourse for mistakes. You know, maybe every now and then it happens, but it's like people make mistakes. No, nothing happens. It's never overturned. Yes, yes. It, that's, again, that's I, like, like we said a few minutes ago, it has to be egregious. When is outlandish? A lot then, of it's egregious. Again, a lot of when it's outlandish, then they are sure to do something. You're saying that they do something off on every outlandish judging or referee? Pretty much. Come on. What? Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, pretty That's much. Fun. I mean, Marcos, again, bro, you watch boxing and you fall. I get it. You no, 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 not, don't try and play that. I, I'm I not could, playing it. Just hit me not. out. Just hit me out. You aren't doing it from the standpoint that I'm doing it. Like, even your content we create is different. Like, That's I true. teach about the business. I ask questions about the business. You That's are true. talking about the style matchups. Like, I got no, callers calling about... in, telling, like, yo, go check out his breakdown because that's what you're talking about. Like, about the sport, that's what I know. No, I agree with you, but there's no way you could say that every single egregious uh, I never, bad judging I never or bad said that. Is, you're changing handled. my words. You just added every single because you want to fit your argument. I no, never, I'm I never that used the those words, every single. The majority I said, of them not. I said... It's got to be egregious. It's got to okay, be outlandish. So, so, How many egregious and outlandish things do we get? Let's be clear. Do you think the majority of the outlandish ones are handled? The majority of not. the outlandish? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I disagree with that completely. Cool. Completely. And, and you know, we've disagreed on many things today. Supermax, $5. Mauricio literally came on this show in 2020 and said, if there's no set criteria for judging, so the WBC was creating their own. Stay on, Amarco. On this show, he did that? Allegedly. Damn, Ness. What's going on? I mean, there's nothing going on when there's the ABC telling you the rules. So why is Mauricio saying that on this show? Because Mauricio wants to be the end-all, be-all. I mean, that's true, too. It's just true. 
He yeah, no, he is true. enforcing rules. Mauricio, uh, I believe it's for the Sonny Edwards fight, and if I'm wrong about the name of the fight, please just correct me instead of shitting on the ultimate point that I'm making. I'm not talking to you directly, but just the audience. But uh, pretty sure there was a tough fight where there's something wrong What happened. Mauricio stepped right in the ring and overturned it versus the typical manager having to petition. And, and Mauricio then hearing out the petition, then calling upon the committee to decide. Then the committee decided, and now they want to review the fight. No, he overturned it. And there's been many instances like that in New Jersey or New York, wherever Larry Hazard is the the, ju the overseeing commissioner, he's overturned things. But uh, let me get to the callers. Marco, uh, Mal Malcolm, 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 what up? Most recently, too, now with the implementation of uh, over the years of uh, 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 replay, we've gotten slight overturns. Not as much as we should. Replay should be implemented more. Mark, uh, Malcolm, what up? Yeah, yo, uh, could you just go to one other caller and just come back to me real quick? Never. All right. Copy cool. What up? Copy cool. What it do? Copy cool. What it do? Let me send these rules to uh, Blind Man uh, Super Max. Go ahead, champ. We hear you. This guy was going on. Yeah, man. Um, it was again yesterday. Was was just shows that you know he's still great. He's still learning. Um, I don't think he, I think uh, Lemos pulled it off seven five. Um, I, I would have been happy with a draw. Uh, cause you know, I, for me, this is how I saw the fight. You know, one to three, I gave it to Lemos. The middle rounds, um, were Hitchinson. Um. And then I think that Lemos closed the show. Um, again, the 12th round was a back and forth round. For the most part, you know, uh, uh, Hitchison uh, got on the bike. Lemos was put in pressure. So, I mean, that, I think that was the deciding round for me. Um, so that's why I say I could have been out. I, I would have been okay with a draw. But I think that, you know, Lemos edged it out solely because, you know, he hurt. I felt like he hurt Hitchison in almost every damn round. He had Hitchison on skates. You know, I mean, Hitchison looked good for four, I want to say four through six. He looked great when he let his punches go. He looked at will. He looked like Lemos. There was a point in time where Lemos looked like he was tired, like he was exhausted, like he couldn't deal with, with Hitchison's punches. But then for some reason, he'll get caught. And then you see him getting on that back burn, that back foot. And it was just like, all right, what are we doing here? But that just goes to show there's a lot. There's still a lot to learn for Hitchison. It's, he's still not ready for the upper echelons. You know he needs to stay away from the from from Matisse, uh, from Matias. He needs to stay away from Haney. He needs to stay away from them big dogs. Stop calling them out. Keep on growing. Keep on learning. Um, I don't think he's ready for that. I know. I know he had a he's a silver medalist or whatever Olympian. I, I just don't think he's ready for that. If he, he you couldn't you couldn't dominate a one trick pony. And you're gonna sit here and try to fight guys like that. Like a, I I'm I'm almost. I'm almost there to to say that I put progress in there with him, and I think progress beats him. You know what I'm saying? And and it's just it, you know, <gasps> <I'm>, <laughs> you know, I, I just say that because progress is a one trick pony. You know what I'm saying? He comes forward, he throws punches. So it's like, what are we doing here? We we hyping up this guy. I mean, who's more uh, one trick than Gustavo? I think Gustavo. I think R R Regis has more tools than Gustavo. Oh no, no, definitely, definitely. That, that, that you're, you're, you're absolutely right on that. I definitely say that he has more than Gustavo, but I'm just saying, like, if Hitchison is having a problem with a guy like Lemos, like, are we really gonna send him in there to fight these guys? You know, like, uh, uh, um, like, uh, like uh, the champions that he's calling out. You know, Teofimo, uh, Sabrius. Like, are we gonna really put him in there? I mean, that's, I know that's what he wants, this, but this is where he he's wants, at, he's though. Slaughtered. But this is where he's, he's gonna at. Get slaughtered. Yeah, he's but. Gonna, not necessarily, not necessarily. Like, yeah, sometimes, you know, you 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 rise to that occasion on the bigger name fight. Limon's was an unknown. I said this, bro. I said this fucking kid was giving me 
Chris Colbert vibes with the whole, he ain't fought nobody, he fought bums, he not on my level. It's the same shit they said about Hector Garcia. Yeah. Colbert said the same shit about Garcia, and you mm-hmm. see how that worked out. You know, um, yeah, I mean, like, even even leading on to the fight, how people were saying, oh, it's a third world country. We feel like, you know, no, this I, gonna- I, I definitely said that because I follow Limon's. I got my notifications on him, his yeah. trainer, his promoter. And no, he's out of he's out of a third world country for sure. His gym looks worse than a Dominican Republic gym. Like if you follow <laughs> if you follow Carlos Adamas, Michelle Rivera and uh, <laughs> even this girl, La Machina. She already got a yeah. loss. You see how bad the Dominican Republic gyms look. Man, that yeah, shit look yeah. worse than that, bro. Yeah. His they gym look, like look worse than that shit. His gym look <laughs> just as bad. Like, yo, Matias' gym looks bad. It's just it's so big, it's hard to call it bad, right? Like, it got high ceilings, but that shit don't yeah. look... I mean, look, man, y'all got to follow Gustavo. Follow him, and, and, and you tell me what you see. Into the fight... Then into the fight, I did my homework. I was like, I'm not going to, let me, I don't want to jump the gun. I never heard of this dude. Let me jump on it. Let me make sure that he's, you know what I'm saying? Let me see what he's going to get into. And I, but just by seeing what he was doing, I was like, ah, you know, he should, he just should box around him, you know? Because uh, we've seen him do that. And, but I said that he's going to have a problem. He's going to, if, if Lemos lands a shot, he's going to have a problem. Let's see, again, Hitchison is untested, right? He really hasn't, that, 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 that I've seen fights, you know? And, that was and, the bell. Let me get to, uh, I got a guest here. I just want to get him on, you know. Um, Brendan, are you there? And uh, can you turn the camera on whenever you're ready? I did want to get him on the show. I'm not sure he's uh, fully ready as he is muted and not visible at the moment. But Brendan from True School Sports, uh, he kind of was called out by Richardson Hitchens uh, during fight week uh, for saying that, Gustavo would give Hitchens problems, which he was vindicated with the with the fight. Yeah. And I wanna I wanna I wanna have him on the show to get his victory lap because you know these fighters oh, correct. these fighters, you know, What's they up, see Nat? you. What's up, champ? These fighters, they see you on the fight week and they take these shots at you and they act like you don't know shit about the sport. And you know, they get mad at you for seeing something that you see, and then it, it comes true. And you're already blocked. They don't want to talk to you. So many things come from it. But, Brendan, you were one of the few to believe that Limones will cause, uh, you know, Hitchens trouble. And I wanted to get you on to get your thoughts on the overall fight and how you eventually scored it. Um. Yeah, man, I thought I thought it was real close. Um. I, I actually thought that could have been a draw i mean i, I wasn't going around by around but i thought lemos was doing a great job pushing him back and landing some sh- punching in between the shots of what um hitchens was throwing uh and now as far what, as, what as was far it as, initially yeah. like what was it initially that you saw in the footage because i honestly um dismissed lemos uh, I watched the Selby fight and he looked good, but you know, I, I I looked at him as a guy moving up, and then I'm sure you just heard my whole third third world country spiel. He just didn't look yeah. like a guy that was gonna go in there with that level of conditioning that he gave us last night. What was it that you seen? What fight did you use uh, that gave you the impression that he would cause Hitchens the trouble that he eventually caused him? Um, I I had seen. Uh, Lemos fight twice against Lee Selby and uh, the, uh, Jonathan Ennis. I don't know if you know Jonathan Ennis, the tough Argentine, the, the journeyman. He fought Mark Reyes, upset him. Um, the fact that he beat up Jonathan Ennis the way he beat him up, it, it told me one thing. It told me that he had a real pop. And a lot of Argentinian fighters, they have a very awkward rhythm. They have heavy hands. So I just thought that, you know, Richard Hitchens would probably win. But I knew that Lemos was going to have a chance to break his rhythm a little bit and he'd be relentless coming forward and he would push him back and hurt him. Um, and that's what happened. <laughs> one caller ago, I, I believe it was Scott Biku said uh, Lemos was a one-trick pony. Do you mm-hmm. label him a one-trick pony or do you feel like you see, uh, you know, more than just a come-forward fighter? 
Um, I, I would say he's a, a one trick pony, but he, he's very good at his trick. You know, that, that is a thing in boxing. People like to act like being a one dimensional fighter is always a bad thing. And not necessarily. Some guys are very good in their one dimension and he was very good in his one dimension. Hitchens, I don't think has ever really been tested like that. You know, when I interviewed him after the fight yesterday, he even said himself, he's like, look, this guy was, was relentless like nobody I have ever fought. So th wasn't th that, that kind of tells you. Wasn't that interesting that he went from <laughs> this guy's fault, cab drivers, nobody's, he's a bum, to this guy was relentless. He's a hell of a fighter. Yeah. You know? um, and that's the beauty of this sport, you know. It, it, it can teach you some things. Uh, mm -hmm. What do you want? Do you, d Does... Gustavo deserved the rematch. A rematch? I mean, yeah, in a perfect world, he could get a rematch because it was a great fight. Um, I, I, it was fun to watch, but you know, they're not going to do no rematch. You know you know, Keith Connolly is going to go progress Hitchens', Hitchens career. Well, a bigger is it is it is it um, a bigger fight? Is Regis and Montana love the options that are available? Because it doesn't sound like they're going to go immediately into the Matias fight, uh, Team Hitchens. So that's one option the zone had on the telecast was Sabril. And obviously that was an eliminator. But then yeah. the other two options was the not signed non match room Montana Love. And the one they made it they made uh, you know Mannix made it his case to say Regis has one fight left. So those were the options given. Do you think uh, any of those are better than the rematch? No, I think the rematch is the more entertaining fight. But the way they're going to justify it is, you know, Regis is a former champion, so they'll go that way. Or if, they, if he fights Montana Love, then they'll, then they'll, they'll use the whole, like, beef angle. Like, like th these guys had problems. These guys have a history. So now, that's how they'll spell it. Seeing what we saw... Uh, can Regis capitalize on this performance against Hitchens? Because, you know, again, when that caller said, oh, he's a one-trick pony, I would be afraid to pick Regis. He said, I would, I don't know how he prefaced it, but ultimately he said, I would pick Regis over um, Hitchens. But then yeah. I said, well, well, I don't think Regis is a one-trick pony. I think maybe Regis has more tools than Lamone's. So will yeah. Regis give Hitchens more trouble than Lemons did, or is just the style of Lemons is constant pressure? Where Regis, he kind of takes, he's not giving you constant pressure. Yeah, he he, he takes his time. I I feel like that's a, actually a a better fight for uh, Hitchens because Regis doesn't have to throw the volume. He doesn't throw the volume. He's a southpaw. You even saw last night, like when when um Lemos would switch to southpaw. I think it was like in the third or fourth round. Hitchens had a lot of success just just dropping that right hand in there to the body, to the head. So I feel like it'd be a a, a great stylistic matchup for for Richard Hitchens. Um, he he doesn't like guys that just keep that stay on top of him, you know. So Regis isn't that kind of guy. He likes to kind of take his time, pick his shots. Um, we know in the Devin fight, his footwork wasn't up to par either, and hasn't he's not really a guy that's known for his footwork either. So I, I like that fight for Richard Hitchens. Based off uh, what I seen Eddie say post fight, you were there yeah. live. You and Danny were there live, so maybe you got an in depth conversation with Eddie. But he seemed to be content with Gustavo, and it sounds like he wanted to bring him back on the zone and match room. Um, can you see a situation where the network or the promoter insists on the rematch? Was yeah. it that good um, of a fight? Yeah, no, I think they would have to sign him and they'd probably make it maybe like get him a couple wins or just try to build him up, build him up a little bit more so, so that the rematch is more, you know, enticing to Hitchens and Keith Conley and everybody on that side. Okay, so you're saying basically they're going to have to butter up Hitchens since they're taking the media rematch. He's not doing it. <laughs> yeah, pretty much because. I mean, he said it himself. He's like, look, uh, he, he 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 played it off where, like, he was like, oh, well, Tia Fimo and these guys, they never fought nobody like Gustavo Lemo. So yeah, he's, I he's, heard he's, that. he's acknowledging that he, it's a hard. He says something like, I want to see other top contenders <laughs> take. Yo, it's crazy because you went from calling my man 
a nobody to now he's a tough guy. You want to see other people get in that as tough as him, man. He even went listen. He went as far as to say, um, I told him I, when I interviewed him, and he was yelling at me. He was like, uh, I said, yeah, man, it'd be a good win for you. He's like, no, no, it wouldn't be a good win for me. Like he, he he's downplaying his own like future win. <laughs> Yeah, because he didn't see what you saw, man. He didn't see what you saw, which is hilarious uh, because, yeah, it came full circle, man. I'm certainly uh, want to see Lemos again. Like, he, Lemos did his thing. Uh, it's crazy that Hitchens couldn't catch him because he's very wide, man. He's so wide with it, but it works for him, bro. He starts downstairs, and eventually he comes up. He's hit, he was hitting Hitchens everywhere, arms, elbows, hips. He got warned a few times for some fucking low low hip shots. He didn't yeah, hit him yeah. in the, he didn't hit him in the nuts, but he certainly he slowed him down on some Canelo shit. I don't know. I I want to see that kid back. He deserves it, and oh, his team. Back. I love how his team stood their ground for the glove selection. And they, yeah. yo, they ended up fighting with fucking gloves that said Hitchens. He fucking <laughs> beat him with his own gloves. That was insane. Shout out to his team fighting hard. Like, nah, we want those. Oh, yeah. that was great. Nah, it was a good fight, man. It was a good fight. I would like that to see was... it again, though. I ain't going to front. I, I think that... Um, and I, I guess I only feel this way because he, I, I feel like, didn't he just say that Devin needs to rematch Loma? So yeah, it's like, yeah. you know, and then a lot of people feel like Shakur should rematch De Los Santos. And and we just came up in the era where Floyd had a tight fight, which I never thought was tight. I never thought Marcos Maidana was tight. Like, Give him the first five rounds in any of the two fights. Floyd still took off in both fights after seven. It don't matter. So I guess seven five is tight to some people, but to me, seven five can't be tight if I dominate seven straight. Um, but yeah, man, uh, Floyd did the rematch with Madonna is where I was going with that. So these guys should probably consider these rematches. You know, um, I guess I sound hypocritical because. I did not see Haney and Loma as tight as other people. I did see it eight four, fucking uh nine three ish. So For who? Who else? The fucking winner. You don't okay. even score fights, so you better not be making faces of about my I score fights. Where, where's your out. scorecard? You ain't score this fight. First thing I, I asked is, did he one. score? He said, I scored score it up here. I I'm said, oh, you again. scored it up here, so who you I gave the first round to? He I, said, I, 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 I don't know that. Uh, that. <laughs> he didn't score it either. So I got to watch it again. Yo, that's crazy. Y'all terrible. I knew it was After the first round, I said, oh, shit, it's going to be tight. And I, I immediately whipped out the scorecard. Gave the first round to re, uh, Richardson Hitchens. Second, third, immediately is Gustavo. He took off. Just Hitchens the, won the, the energy fourth. energy of the fight. The energy was Gustavo because he was obviously, you know, the yeah. energy was totally him coming forward and Hitchens trying to survive. The, and, and, and we pulled up the rules, Brendan. According to the rules, Gustavo is the ring general sh because he was bringing effective aggression and his oh, aggression was resulting in being effective. Like, yo, well, he was, was landing those thing. fucking rights. Those are suggested rules. Bro, how many though. times did you hear? He he goes suggested. How was the ABC suggested? Get your ass out of here, Marco. Because the Yo. sanctioning bodies are the ones that are the be all and end all. They don't have to follow ABC rules. No, they're not, bro. They're sanctioning bodies. They're state athletic commissions. Athletic commissions, the only one. And even them, they don't go to a you judge. Just, who's a, for, now, now is the athletic commissions the only one. A few seconds no, the athletic ago, commission's one who has you to said that the, the sanctioning bodies don't follow anyone. The athletic commission's one who legally is allowed to sanction the fight. That's the only thing that really matters. Everything else is up in the air. You got it, champ. You got. I've been having this argument with him all day. He wants to somehow sell to the audience that there's no rules for judging. No, Brandon. there is. They just they're suggested rules. No, you said there there's rules. no. He went as I mean, far those as are, those bro. are the criteria of boxing. That's how they're supposed to score the, the fights. They they oftentimes don't. But exactly. Brandon, th don't talk to this nobody, guy. This this no man recourse. literally said there is nowhere written down on how to score a fight. I said, bro, you must be crazy, bro. ABC isn't 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 what they have to follow. That's what I'm saying. And you know this how. 
How do you know this? Because F how many bad judging fights have we seen? How many bad stoppages have we seen? And how does that correlate with them not having to follow the ABC? Because exactly. then if they had to and there was some kind of repercussion for it, It'd be a, it wouldn't be such but a But didn't system. I show you that there was repercussion and gave there, you You three. said there's been a couple. If you, no, no, no way. But I went as Let's far as giving you one that is the biggest because there's it never happens, been there's never it, been it judges suspended happen. indefinitely, and I gave you that. So it how happens, was there repercussions, it, and you're saying that there is you none? Gave, you gave one instance. Overall, for the amount of bad judging, and if you compare that to the amount of repercussions, it's minuscule. That's my point. Cool, champ. Uh, you just got to choose better words when making your argument because you try to limit things to never happening. Then when we give, you're given facts, you switch things around. Okay, no, I don't mean never. Nothing's never in life. Well, that's the, your favorite word. Okay. <laughs> Brendan, though, I just wanted to give you a victory lap, man. I got other callers to get to. Let everybody know where they can find your channel so they can get those tidbits about who might be giving who issues, even if they don't know who that person is on the other side of the ring from their favorite fighter. For sure. Um, uh, subscribe to me on uh, True School Sports, the way it's spelled right here um, on YouTube. You know, we we cover everything. We cover the the, the big fighters and the fighters you guys don't know about. So if you if you guys were, were already subscribed, I was talking about Gustavo Lemos three years ago. So, yeah, Salute, man. Salute, man. Appreciate you. Right. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Brendan Teller, True School Sports. That's T-R-U, common spell school, common spell uh, sports. And uh, let's see. We got Malcolm on Twitter. Talk to me. Yo, yo, you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, shout out to Ness. Shout out to you, Marco. And then shout out to Brandon for uh, getting that right. Let me, get, let me say this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because uh, this dude sent the counterpunch like fucking 10 hours ago. Hey, uh, John Boy. Ooh, he's gone. Shit. All right, never mind. I owe you, John. Yeah, I appreciate you. Appreciate you for coming back, man. My bad. I was at the gym. Uh... Yo, that fight was crazy, man. Uh, shit, he just pulled it off. I had it uh, a little closer. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I had it more of a draw. Or you could have slightly gave it to Hitchens. Uh, he dealt with, um, you know, Argentinian, you could say a uh, lesser Matisse. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Lucas Matisse. That pressure, man. The, the pressure fighters are usually the kryptonite to somebody who's a boxer, you know? Uh, what was it? The eighth or the seventh round where he, like, clipped him and he had him hurt damn near the whole round. I think that was the eighth. It was. Yeah, it was that. And I'm like, uh, Hitchens needs to work on just not holding, you know, just find another strategy. Sometimes you have to fight back. You know what I'm saying? Or, or just move around and box a little better because uh, had he had a different referee and I was going into the point that you guys were talking about, he could have got a point. Uh, a referee like uh, Kenny Bayless, shout out to him and all the Floyd fights. Uh, Floyd used to hold a lot. And, you know, when he would hold, he would get off a couple of punches to the body and rip them off, you know. And some fighters will bitch about it, but that was his referee of choice, and he was okay with, you know, shit like that. So that was that. Uh, with Hitchens, um, I think a Montana love fight would be cool. You know, uh, I don't know if Montana would take it. Um, if, if I'm right, Hitchens had – you had a Hitchens interview over here before, and then he kept saying that Montana had the chance to fight him. You know what I'm saying? It just never yeah, felt true, you know? Yeah, fighters, but fighters need that sometimes, that vulnerability. And, like, he got hurt numerous occasions. Montana could be like, man, I'll knock out young boy if I land. You know, you never know how another fighter's yeah, looking at that performance last night. For sure. Uh, but, yeah, I, I think that'll be a cool fight. And, you know, with him fighting Regis, that'll be another entertaining one. Uh, you guys touched on it. Regis doesn't have as much pressure. He's still, a, you know, he, he still got power at the end of the day. And I think the problem is with all the shit that he talks about Devin, now you got to step into that fight and you got to watch him just as bad as Devin did, you yeah. know, or get him up out of there because then you're going to have to deal with that comparison, you know, and I don't know if I see that happening. But, uh, yeah, he just got to go back in the lab, work on a few things, and that's really it. Shout-outs to Lemos. He, he won a fan of me, man. I didn't fucking expect that at all, man. But, uh... Yeah, that's it, man. I don't think I have any more uh, points to touch up on. Shout out to you guys for putting in this work, man. I appreciate it. Peace.
appreciate you. Um, shout out to Joseph Hatfield sent his $15 to get the virtual raffle ticket for these Kenichi Beer Hibernation Fives I'm giving out. Actually, it's not a giveaway. You know what? I always use the wrong word. It's a raffle. This is the Black Set Hibernation C5. Has an attachable, detachable mic, so you're going to be talking way better than Marcos with his bodega store. So why don't you hook me up with these Kenichi uh, Bears? Marcos's bodega store headphones. <laughs> I, would, I would hook you up if you wasn't so thick-headed, you know, but you give <laughs> my man the ABC rules. He tells you that that don't exist. I'm thick-headed. Uh, you, my friend, are thick-headed. We got a counterpunch, two of them. I just want to speak it into the universe in case you're still listening. I know you're not there anymore on Twitter. Space is John Boy, but I see those very... Those are what? JBLs? Okay. Dollar store. Uh, You got... (laughs) (laughs) Fuck it with you. You got... John Boy, you got two counterpunches with the house. Um, We got Khaled also with a counterpunch. But where are you, bruh? Did I miss you when you had to go? Wait, Khaled is not Contrell. That's two different people. So Damn, I do see Contrell, who has a, f- a counterpunch as well, and Tim Boski. What up? Yo, you funny as fuck, Ness. <laughs> what happened? He's talking about his uh, headphones at a dollar store. A dollar general, excuse me. Yo, he got them Bodega. JBLs. You know JBL everywhere now. It used to be that hot shit, and now it's like dollar store. We ain't on front. He need better headphones, man. It and was- he need he need he needs some Jim Cobra, man, to get that mind working. Cause he don't he don't he don't do no research. He just say shit, and then when you present him the fact, he be like, and that ain't real. <laughs> that sounds like you, but okay. <laughs> he be like, that ain't gotcha, real. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, let me give my thoughts on four fighters, the co-main event and the main event. Um, I was very impressed with Sean McCollum, the guy we had on here that was acting. You acting a little weird, like all these people don't really care about me, blah blah blah. Outside, I'm like, dude, just be cool. Like, but he did really good last wait, night. He wait, 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 what? He talked. did that in a post fight? No, no, no. He came on the boxing voice, and he was. I felt like he was being a little like, uh, like be cool, my guy. But anyways, he did really good last night with Diego P- Pacheco. I want to say his name right. Pacheco, Pacheco. But, but how good? Cause I'm, I'm like, wait. I mean, I didn't have him winning, bro. I stopped scoring. I, I didn't have while. him. I, I, I didn't have him winning. But I mean, he was very difficult to deal with. Very tricky. Like, uh, there was a point where he was catching with like counter left hooks, and then Diego put, yeah. put Diego had to take it up a whole nother level. You know, he had to change his game plan up. And he he did good. I think he did good. He did way better than I thought he would do. I'm just going to put that out there. I see why he was undefeated up until last night. No, I bet on him. I bet on him. I, I mean, I'm a Diego fan, yeah. but I thought, you know, just in case yeah. I sprinkled on Callum, you know, I thought, you know, the awkwardness. But, yeah, nah, hey. man, he, he ain't win. He ain't win. Bruh, 20. Hold, hold on, hold on. What? You going to bet. I called you for a month and told you that Espinosa was going to win. You, you, gonna bet on, <laughs> you ain't bet on him. No, That's but, crazy. But, but remember, <laughs> I'm always biased with the dudes I interview. Like, I, I didn't pick uh, Israel Masvidal. I picked Kurbanov. Um, I picked Pacheco, but I, I'm rooting for McCallum, even though I know both, and I actually spent more time with Pacheco. It's just McCallum. And you know, I, you know how we weak for the underdog story. Oh, I for am. sure. I am. Always. At, at Angle, I was mad last night. I had put a little parlay together. It's like plus 2,700. And um, I, I thought to Kitchison out of my thing. I don't know if he did enough to win. I think maybe a draw would have been a good call. But <clears throat> but he was making Gustavo miss a whole lot. And on top of that, Gustavo don't really have a jab like yeah, that. Yeah, but that was part of he- Gustavo's plan. It, it was certainly throw one. Because he would throw to the body and miss to land that overhand right. Or he would miss an overhand right to land two body shots. Like, I don't know. Because he, yo, I, I don't know. I don't know. I get it. He definitely made a miss, I, but he did a lot of body work, bro. Why do you think all the clinches happen? Where them clinches come from? Oh, he, he slowed them he down. Hurt. 
he heard him multiple times. But you talking about when he had him on a rope? That's when he really like let his hands go. I'm talking about before he get there. He was like Andy Ruiz when he fought uh, AJ that first fight. He just kept on coming forward, coming forward, coming forward. His shooting when he couldn't move. That's when he kind of exploded a little bit. I think he did good. I mean, he did kind of what I expect from Argentine fighters. Argentine fighter, they can crack, man. Wow. If, they, if they can do nothing else, they can crack like nobody else. So. I don't know if he. I don't really know. I if, said that I think, too, bro. I said that before the fight in the, in the, in the, in the previews and predictions. Like, even the women is cracking. Like that girl knocked out Ramala, man. Like even the Argentine women could punch. So you gotta always consider Argentine a puncher until they show you that they not. Always. But I don't. I think maybe one fifteen, one thirteen, which is might crazy, man. You figure. You, I feel like, yo, they need to get some world-class trainers to relocate to Argentina, man, because there's so much raw talent. Imagine you get some world-class trainers like Robert uh, Garcia out there training these dudes at a younger age. Because look look at Lemos, man. He needs a good trainer to teach him how to use that jab. He would do more with that. I nobody brought up Sergio Martinez last night. They kept talking about all these great Argentinian fighters. They didn't bring up Sergio. Because it's different style, man. What the fuck? Disrespectful. No, they were talking about good Argentinian fighters in general, just from Argentina. Oh, because Sergio's not in that Gustavo Limon's box. Uh, Limon's, no, no, they were talking Limon's about, like, is oh, more, uh, Baldemir and, I'm like... Limon's is more a Marcos Maidana than he would ever be Sergio's. Yeah, yeah, but I'm just saying, he's, he's one of the best fighters out of Sergio, Argentina. Sergio's more... Fuck, man. I don't need, I can't even say Devin because he's not traditional. Sergio uh, hands but isn't down. Sergio showman. He was one of the best that. fighters out of Argentina. Uh, absolutely. I mean, I think before him is Carlos Monzon, no? Yeah. You, you ain't you the history guy, old man? Yeah. yeah Finally yeah. got somebody oh, older than me. Damn. Yeah, I get to call you old. You older than me, old man. That's true. That's true. And I look way older too. So you there we do. Go. You do. And you, mm-hmm. you, and you uh, digest information like old men. You refuse facts. Yeah, and that's I keep why, talking about that's it. That's why I associated oh, that's you. you I bet. That's why I, I associated bet. you to a white man sitting on a southern porch chewing a piece of straw. Damn. Just stuck in your ways. That's What's rude. that movie? What was that movie uh, with uh, Clint Eastwood? Racism? The racism? Racism. No. Clint Eastwood movie. Oh. The one set in Detroit? I don't know. Can't be Detroit. What the fuck? Does it Detroit? There's one, yeah, there's one set in Detroit. No, I think I'm, t- I'm talking about it, it, the Tamron. It was uh the Grand Tur- It was like a movie about a car. Yeah, that was set in Detroit. Gran Turismo. That's it. That was set in Detroit. Really? Pretty sure. I'm pretty fuck. sure. Fuck. That neighborhood ain't look Detroitish. Uh, Wait, hold on. I still got three minutes on my counter punch, and I got one more thing to say, and I'm done. Nah, you good. Take all the time, man. It's me and Marco's fault. <laughs> man, I just, I think, I think Carissa Shield on trying, trying to weight bully Alicia Bungard. I don't like that. Come up to 154, girl. You should go down the weight. You need to. And I'm, I'm not a fan of Alicia. Excuse me, Bungard. No, fuck. I'm not a fan of Carissa anymore. She just, she just won't shut up talking about she can beat up a man, you know? So, I hope, I don't know. I, I'd rather see Carissa come down for that fight than for Alicia to go up. So, I but, agree, man. I agree. I think more people need to have the energy in me and you. I think the biggest issue is that Clarissa's willing to fight a man at 47, willing to fight uh, an MMA person at 47, but not willing to fight an undisputed champ calling her out. At a catch weight of 47. I think that uh, that's not quote talk. That's not quote walking. And that more people need to uh, tell her the truth. You cannot call out Keith Thurman at 47. Call out Cyborg at 47. Where those two fights are very unrealistic. But then not accept the call out from a female at 47. Which is realistic. It's just my thoughts. Man. Uh, facts, man. But... You know, you're going to offend her if you tell her that. I can't, oof. Anyway, that's my call, man. I'll hit, hit y'all a little later, all right? All right. There's like two people talking about Benavidez drinking already. Another two. Yeah, nah. Uh, that, 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 that's what I was saying. That it's like you can't have a drink in this sport. 
We got Derek Lincoln, $2. We have 500 likes, Ness. If that was the goal today, it's not. The goal is 600, man. We put that in the bold numbers to say 600. Tim Bolsky, counter. Yo. Yo. Yo, well done, well done. Ooh, ooh. This is what I'm talking about, man. Uh, Ness, man, what, what, uh, you you spoke of Ramela, Ramela Ali, man. I like that, I like that. I just got a question for you, man. What, what did she? What did she cut? What did she do after that, man? What did she come back and do after that, Ness? Timboski, why are you taking this approach? Like I dissed your girl. No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Nothing to do with that. I'm just. I'm I gonna mean, make a but point. But her, just... her avenging the loss has nothing no, 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 to do it, with the it, conversation, it, no, though. No, 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 no. I'm just. I'm just using that. I'm just using that to bring back to the point of uh, what Richard Hitchens should do, in my opinion. Oh, he should give I'm that sorry. man a rematch. That's I'm what I'm sorry. saying. That's what I'm saying, man. I should have just let saying, you man. talk. Follow. You're right. Walk my me. bad. My bad. Yeah, walk with me, man. Walk with me, man. I didn't say that. I didn't... My mistake. I'm gonna start your time over, man. Yeah, man. I, yeah, man. Yeah. I, I didn't say. I didn't know. I didn't say that you were disrespectful. No, no, no. I was just saying that she came back and gave. Uh, she came back in the Argentinian gave her the rematch, and we saw a good fight. You know, what I'm saying to you, she came and avenged. You know, it's just. A, it's just a bit confusing to me why these guys don't want to uh, take these rematches. But it's not. It's not confusing in the long run because we know that Richard Hitchens. He doesn't want to go back in there with that man. He doesn't want to do that. His his team knows that that was a problem for him. We need to. Uh, I think we've watched enough boxing over the years now to understand that these South Americans they got bricks in both hands. For some reason, their lower half of their body they got strong backs. Pause. They got strong backs, the calf muscles, strong quads. They punching hard, man. When you see an Argentinian coming up and you see a uh, or uh, uh, Venezuelan, Colombian, all these guys they're hitting like brick walls, man. He hurt Richard Hitchens multiple times in that fight. We understand that. Listen, it's a new fighter that we've unlocked now. I'm, I'm, I'm glad he, he came out. People know about Gustavo Lemos now. We want to see him back. Yes, man. Like I said, man. Uh, uh, did you said hardcore? Did, did you watch? Um, and shout out to Russia, man. They got a new champion, a new IBF uh, champion there, uh, Mutuzaliev. He knocked out Kukle. Did you see that, Ness? Yeah, I seen that, man. I seen that. I seen that. I yes, was, that was actually it. shocked. Uh, cool Clay is usually pretty durable. He's been in there with a lot of decent names and never been stopped. And that was a real stoppage. 100%, 100%. And let me go back to Gustavo Lemos. I would like it, I would like you said, Ness, I would like he's at 140. Fair enough. You get me? I would like to see him move in there maybe against uh, Urgoshev. You know what I'm saying to you? That would be interesting, Urgoshev. And then you said that, obviously, top, he's on top rank. Uh, um, I don't think he deserves own. Urgoshev. I think he needs bigger than Urgoshev. Uh... I think that uh, he, I think that Salida, Salida just signed Michelle Rivera. I think he deserves a big name like that because so he could keep building. I think if he goes into a tough fight like Ergashev and gets the win, no one even knows. Okay, well, what, okay, okay. Well, what about Lindolfo? Can you give me a Del, Lindolfo uh, Delgado? That would be an interesting. Match. It's across the street. That's pretty tough. Delgado is is in a very high position within mm -hmm. the rankings. He's with top rank. I don't know that they're gonna do business unless unless Gustavo doesn't sign a match. Remember last night it sounded like Eddie wants him. Uh, back on the zone and match room was his words. So I don't know if that means a deal or just a working relationship. It's like rolling. It's like rolling the dice with those type of fighters, though. No one knew what they were gonna expect from Gustavo Lemos. You get me? Obviously, I've kept a nice eye on him. I've been, I've, I was, I've been watching him since what 2018, 19, when he knocked out uh, uh, Yulu Perez. You know about Yulu Perez from um, Saturday Boxeo. I've been watching Yulu Perez. You, you know who that is, right, Ness? Absolutely not, Timboski. Yuri Perez, man. You better give me a face. What the fuck is Yuri oh, Perez? Oh shit! Yuri Perez, big knockout, big knockout puncher from Mexico, man. Bombardero, Bombardero, Bom 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 big knockout puncher. Sounds like yeah, you're trying yeah, to say fireman. But listen, I got to go. That was the bell. Uh, Tommy in the building. Tommy, give me a minute. Let me catch up on these super chats. We got ES with the $5. Did y'all see David Benavides drunk on that The Zone interview last night? We all seen David uh, enjoying the fruits of his labor, you know, his five to six, you know, month camps that he puts in to win his millions, which is he uses to buy his drink of choice to enjoy his Saturday night with his 
wife. Won't cha live ya life. Worry about that man and how he looks during work hours. Why are you all in his personal hours? Do he not get a time to kick back and relax? Can he not just be there to support his mans in them? Damn. Only boxers got to be all stop, non-stop, 24 fucking 7 uh, perfect. They not, you know, you know, on a dean 24-7 like that shit just don't work. No individual is, man. But uh, Octo, $2. Was David Benavides drunk last night? Another one. Just fucking guys. Salvador, welcome to the prospect level. Tommy, Florida. What up, man? You got me? Yep. Shout out to TV. Yeah, y'all let that man live. He having fun. You drink, he drink, people smoke, whatever they do. He ain't got no fight in the next 30 days. Yeah, 60 days. He good. But, um, yeah, I, I, I always know, bro, and I learned this, uh, with, uh, Diego Chavez and, um, Marcus Madonna and all them, you know, when some Argentina come around, You there? Well, you got a call. In the meantime, I got a $5 super chat from you, Malcolm. Oh, you're back. Can you hear me? Now we Yeah, do. my father's. So, yeah, when you, when you, when those Argentinas come around, I always, you know, pay attention because they, they, you know, they don't be nothing to play with when they got good resumes. Um, you know, Lamon, you know, he gained a fan from me last night. I like watching it. I did. Uh, I'm all right with the win. You know, I know a lot of people feel like when fights are close, you know, if a twelve if a twelve round fight, every single round was competitive and close, if a guy edged out eight rounds to you, you know, somebody call it a robbery, it, it don't go that way. You know, somebody did something you like that edged out the round and he edged out more rounds than the other guy, that's what gave him the win. I'm fine with that. Um some some one of the callers said that Hitchinson's not ready for the top guys. I mean I would say Cruz, everybody going to have some type of issue with Cruz. Everybody going to have some issue with Matisse. But, you know, like Devin and, and T.O., they, they different type of styles than those guys. So that pressure fighter with power, and I don't think Lamont was a, was a one-trick pony. You know, I, people can disagree, but, you know, I like, I like how he was able to close the distance a little bit better than people thought he was. That's a trick to me. You know, his stamina, his gas tank, that's a trick to me. You know, his punch selection with the power, that's a big trick to me. I loved his punch selection last night. And, um, you know, he was a headhunt. He was going to the body. So, you know, this, that's just me. I don't feel like he was a one-trick pony. But, uh, you know, any any fighter, any any try to be slick, you know, counterpuncher or, you know, a guy without power fights anybody like Lamont, it's never gonna be pretty much be pretty like that, but um, but yeah, man, they they should bring him back, get him something good, shit, but shit, give him Regis, give him Regis, and then you know the win out of that can go on and do something bigger, uh, bigger and better, but uh, but yeah, like I said, I, I answered out the question and I like that, so but that'd be my call, man. Shout out to the. Shout out David Benavides. He was drunk as hell in that clip right there. Y'all just seen. Oh, I mean Canelo Alvarez. You know, Canelito. He was drunk right there. Nobody called in to say that. 
You know, what about that other clip that only I bring up? Maria! Only I bring that up. Y'all, y'all refuse to act like Canelo don't drink, too, and shit. It's fucking weird. Y'all fucking super duper 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 extra weird. Alan, I've requested you if you want to speak because uh, you've continuously called directly on Discord versus in the group. Alan83. Accept the invite if you're... Looking to speak. Aha. Hello. Hey, what's up, man? My bad. All I'm good, man. All at... good. You know, probably new at this. Yeah, I'm new and I'm at work, so I'm just listening at work and I didn't realize my pocket was probably hitting a button and stuff. But uh good morning to everybody, man. Oh, you good, uh, you good. But yeah, man, it was uh I didn't really catch too much of the hitch and since uh fight from what I did see, you know, um uh, I was kind of sleepy, but it looked like they was going back and forth, but dude was putting the pressure on. And uh, I don't know if you saw an earlier fight with uh, the kid named Navarro. Navarro? Did you uh, catch that Steven? one? Steven? Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, That kid is nice, man. For uh, that to be a first fight and go six rounds, they put him in pretty tough. And uh, I like the style, man. I don't think I've seen like somebody debut with a unique style and really – uh. You know, catch catch my eye since like Lomachenko, like that was a a really a uh, decent debut, man. I like how he was able to you know walk with his punches and just kept you know every time he would switch, he would come back and forth to the body. Um, but yeah, I really don't got much to say, man. It's just uh, I would say a lot of these fighters they need to uh, you know pay attention to the guy in front of them and quit looking past them. Like just because you haven't necessarily heard of a guy. Don't mean you shouldn't put respect on his name. Like, you don't know who he is until you know who he is. And I think that was kind of the situation last night. Like, just because he ain't, you know, getting, you know, big checks or or nothing yet or, or, uh, you know, he ain't famous, don't mean he can't fight. And, you know, you got that, I guess you could say, Olympic pedigree. And sometimes that doesn't necessarily translate when you get in there with somebody who wants to fight. Like, they're not trying to fight for points. Like, they're trying to go inside your head. Like, so I think that's uh, what Richardson and Shakur, you know, those guys got to, you know, start start not – stop relying on, like, strictly boxing. Like, every once in a while, you're going to have to stand in there and uh, and get busy. But, but yeah, that's all I got, man. I appreciate uh, the time, man, and y'all, y'all have a good one. You too, champ. Uh, right, enjoy the rest of your day at work and uh, as always thank you and anyone else that uses the show to get through their work day make sure to tell a friend cause you know podcasts they definitely help people get through them hours uh, in the shift man uh, drop us those five star reviews on iTunes that's free hit them thumbs up right here on youtube.com forward slash the boxing voice also free sharing the show also free. Uh, we going out to Drew Twitter. What up? I wonder when Twitter's really gonna become X. Hello, hello. Hear hello, me? we hear you. All right, all right. Shout out to Lance Marco. Man, that last night was atrocious. What's up? That ref saved. That ref saved Hitchens a <gasps> couple times. Um, having said that. I had uh, Lemos win in. I don't desire to see Hitchens at all in his career at all. It's atrocious. That's not that's not the sweet science of bruising. It's not hit and hold and yeah. Make but it at attractive. all, one bad performance, you done with him forever? At all? No, no. I have no. I have no. I, 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 have, no, I, have, no, I have no desire. What does he do for the sport? Nothing. I have no desire to see his career. Nothing. Damn. Everybody left after Pacheco. Did, did people leave after Pacheco's fight? It was empty. Damn near. We don't pay to see that. Um, having said that, I would like to see him run it back. Um, if he couldn't handle that pressure, he ain't ready for Matias. But uh, Matias, well, and let's just see him get beat and, and go back to the mid cars, bro. But do we no want people better, to fight Matias, um, or do we want people to avoid Matias? You know what I'm saying? At least he. No, I want him to fight. I want him to fight. I just said I want him to fight him so he can be sent back to the mid card because he ain't no main eventer. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all I'm, brutal, I'm, I'm man. Boxing fans, brutal. 
I'm brutal. Yeah, I'm, I'm paying for that. And as far as the Pacheco fight, he did what he had to do. That was a tough fight, good character development fight. Ness Marco. Damn. So wait, wait, noticing. wait. Why the fuck Hitchens fight can't be a good tough fight, character development fight? Which it it really damn it, well it, was. Is it, it, Pacheco is 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 Pacheco talking that cash stuff? Oh, he's running his mouth, cloud chasing. Oh yeah, 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 for sure. I ain't heard him the way he is. I mean, nah, but uh, wh- I what do you consider clout chasing? Um, just his whole attitude, this is how he talk, how he like sell himself. Like, bro, you was clinching and holding, bro. You wasn't in there trying to be. I the mean, dog, Pacheco bro. was clinching. He ain't had no. No, that was the other guy clinching. Game. No, but that's what I was gonna ask you about that. In terms of uh, the Jose Benavidez trained fighters, the Plant David fight, and now this Pacheco fight. What are they not? Are those guys not learning how to get out the clinch or fight out the? In your opinion, Marco Ness. I don't know. I want you to hear this. I think he's a dirty fighter. I think he, he really don't got that much skill. You know, I've seen him I've seen him get dropped in a few clips, you know, I feel like that chin is a little sus. So um I just feel like I'm levels ahead of him, you know. I feel like in a fight with me and him I'd I'd school him and make it look easy. So you Oh wow, just saying, fam. That was that that was that was just an honest assessment and then he ain't talking disrespectful. I mean it it, it could be considered as clout chasing. He didn't call him out of his name. I He's mean, not willingly bringing up Berlanga. That that's a, a reporter asking him about Berlanga, correct? Yeah, that was Danny the reporter. Rings. Yeah, that's, that's, ring that's, that's a downside. You, ringside. You, you giving you giving an honest assessment. He's not on Twitter. He's not Twitter fingers. He's not doing all that stuff that Hitchens and Shakur be doing. That's totally different. I mean, but it sounds like, like you're protecting one adjustment. person who was holding from another person that was holding. Was he holding or was he getting clinched? I was, I'm critical of him not knowing how to fight out the clinch. I mean, I feel like they both was holding. That shit was like a smother smell. No, one was excessive. One was excessive. Let's stop that. Gotta go, Drew. That was the if, bell, if we, but you need to be more equal with that smothering that was happening with Pacheco. He did the same shit. Khaled counter. Yo, Ness. What up, though? What up? Hey, uh, man, all right, I'm going to start with the Yaffa little, little flyweight fight. It was good. You know what I'm saying? Solid. He was clearly better than Buddy. Uh, I forgot my man's name, but my man that was Wato. in the red, he was clearly. Wato, yeah, he was clearly levels ahead of him. But, like, my man Yaffa only got, like, six fights. He was getting super, hit a lot. Eight super times levels, bro. But do he got yeah. power? Because he was hitting my man with, like, triple left hooks. All yeah, type of shit, and nothing was happening. Yeah, 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 you right. So, yeah, so I don't know if he got that thump, but I looked him up. He he, he in, like, the top 15 in all the section of bodies, so, and, and like, the flyweights, so they they probably going to keep moving him up. He got some work to do, because every time Guato did hit him, he would hit him. Like, Guato, he was just only throwing one punch, but, and then, like, Yafa was just landing four, five, six, seven on his ass, but, yeah. Uh, uh, Pacheco, based on that last clip, I ain't see that much of a difference uh, between him and Berlanga. Like, he not levels ahead of Berlanga to me. Like, he's solid. You know, he got a solid right hand, solid jab. But he, he still got some work <gasps> to do as well. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, me, I think that um, a Berlanga and Pacheco, well, I don't know. Do you think that if Berlanga fight um, a Pacheco, that's like moving back? Nah, think I think backwards? he I think he won that fight and I think he was told that that was what's next. I think he's already in camp. He also tweeted out last night, Pacheco is super ass. Um yeah, that's, yeah. I think that's where it's yeah. headed, man. I think he got a yeah, June yeah, return. That. I actually they, I guess it ain't, right? They ain't going to be able to do it cuz they both match room. They ain't going to do a June 15th Puerto Rico and a June 6th. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, New yeah, York. Right. Uh, unless, uh, unless they put him on that car, let's 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 they put him on that. Uh, he um, better hope. I would. I would. I hope. I hope. I hope yeah. he exceed. This where the other caller a couple shows ago was talking shit about David, and this is where I want Berlanga to be. David, take the undercar, mm. get on that co-main yeah. event. Make this shit yeah. a fucking event in Puerto Rico. Yeah. He need to do that. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, that's what you do. That's how you really build a name. Go to superstar. You go to your home country, Puerto Rico. We in the stadium. 
that's how you do that, bro. Niggas still gonna get paid and you still going the name, but the ego, but the ego sometimes won't allow that to happen. But yeah, that they're on the same level, so they should be fighting each other. I I, I didn't see nothing that impressed me. I just didn't think that uh the brother had the skill level to keep up with my man's. And then on to the last fight with uh Richardson Hitchens. Yeah, man, it was a tough fight. It was it was a tough man. I ain't I don't even have enough time, bro. But uh, yeah, yeah. shit. All right, cool. Uh. Yeah, it was a it, it was a tough fight for Hitches, man. But I mean, but that's why you got to keep you be like developing and all that, you know. Uh, he only got eighteen Clint fights, fans, man. Still time. Exactly, exactly. That's what I'm saying. You know, what I'm saying like, but I'm not in favor of a, like a clinch fest on like a main event in like Vegas. You know, what I'm saying <laughs> I understand that you're trying to break up like the uh, combinations, but you just you have to perform in these scenarios, man. And like Lamos came to fight. Sometimes you got to fight, bro. Like. You know, we we in a we in a tough one tonight, and I'm the headliner, bro. Like we already didn't didn't like sell it out, so we gotta let these hands go. Uh, Lamos came to fight. Lamos kept landing that right hand. You know what I'm saying? Pressure guy. He don't need to fight um a Sabril yet. We need do do need a little more warm up. And then that's why I'm always in favor of the pressure fighter over the boxer for me. Like if you gonna be the box, you gotta be like an elite, like elite, elite All like right, Devin Haney. All right, I'm thinking you had a little. <laughs> My man going into deep therapy, the deep deep diving on the on the, on the final thoughts, but uh, keeping it moving. Rich Dallas. Hey yo. Yo. Y'all can hear me. Yep. Y'all can hear me. Yep. So look, bro. I feel like there's too many niggas on this bitch caping for this nigga Richardson Hitchens, bro. That nigga look like shit. He lost the fight straight up. I don't like robberies at all. I think they robbed that dude. And like bro had said a couple calls ago, I kind of don't give a fuck to see what he want to do next because he already talking about he not trying to fight for the belt next and you just fought in the title eliminator. Who the fuck even does that? You feel me? I mean, he only so, saying um, that because the dude who got it, he got to fight. He already got to fight two months from now, more than two months from now. So it's like... Well, when, well, how I'm often not gonna, do Richardson hit his fight? But that's what I'm saying. They, they saying on the telecast they could give him one more before that fight. So why not take another paycheck and another developmental fight? You only 18 and 0. Yeah, bro. But that nigga talk a little too spicy. And I honestly don't think he should be in title run contention, bro. I think the nah, nigga lost. For sure. I thought and, it was obvious. All right. So then you saying I what they it was saying. super obvious, bro. You saying what they saying. I'm not taking th- for this nigga. All right. But you saying what they saying. Give him another fight before fighting Matias. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah, but I don't I don't see him wanting to fight Matias, bro. Nothing about what happened last night showed. First of all, I never thought he was going to be Matias. He already showed me that when he gets punched in his face, he don't like that shit at all. Nobody likes and being punched in the face. Nah, 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 nah. See, this is you almost caping. You're almost caping, bro. Richardson Hitchens, when he gets hit in his face, his eyes widens up and he instantly holds, bro. And he holds for dear life. I'm not giving I, – I, I like the slick boxer style. You feel me? That's how my favorite fighters fight, bro. But that's not what the fuck I seen last night, bro. That was some whole other shit. You feel what I'm saying? And I ain't going to say it like the nigga look like shit. The jab was pretty much money. But but that shit didn't keep the dude off him. I thought the nigga lost unanimously. When they say unanimous, I thought it was for sure the other dude. But then they said it was Richard. I'm like, I don't know, bro. I, I wasn't feeling that shit. Honest to God. All right, Rich, you the man. Hold on, the, the bell rang? Damn, nah, you went on to pause mode like I thought you was done. I invited you back. Rich, I invited you back. I thought you was done. You? We gonna have to keep it moving. Give me that daddy. We got... Rich bad. Okay, okay, okay. But um, damn, I, I I for sure have. But but then look, so this is what I be saying, bro. None of these niggas that be hating on Devin really you feel me. They they all starting to look a little fool, except for like Keyshawn. Keyshawn don't look like shit. Keyshawn really standing on shit, bro. But all that hating on Devin shit, I have 
I had commented on this shit because they he had had a whole little spill about Devin, even though he finna fight for Super Yo uh, title eliminator. I, I had to make this comment. I was like, bro, this dude is a hater, and that shit really not good for you because you're. I mean, it's not. It's not a hater though. Not it don't gotta be a you type shit. It don't gotta be a hater. Nah, like it, Styles make it's fights. It's a hater. He's never fought. Yeah, but Styles make fights. Lamont made him look bad. No, no, no. He... I, I know Styles make fights. I, I'm I'm not a casual boxing fan, bro. I know Styles make fights. You feel me? That's not the point, bro. The point is that dude is saying shit like Devin ain't never fought nobody. Meanwhile, Devin is the only fighter to have only fought champs in his last seven fights. Type shit. This dude has never fought a champion in his fucking life. Yeah, he but did. Always got Argenis Mendez. Argenis Mendez was a former champ, Dominican champ. Okay, okay. Okay, he's fought one champ. What was his name? Say it again. Argenis Mendez, one former champ, yes. Where was bro a champ at? My bad. Aha, here, bro. That's the dude that Rancy's fake knocked out. After the bell, remember? Nah, nah, nah. What, 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 what weight and what belt was this at? Probably 130. 130? Okay, okay. Well, I'll give him that. He fought one former world champ. You feel what I'm saying? And, and I give niggas credit for beating up world champs and shit like that. So I'll give him that type shit. But for you to always have Devin name in your fucking mouth, you feel me? And it's never on some respect shit. It's always on some slight shit. And then you get on here against a dude who you were saying you were going to destroy. And then you pretty much got destroyed. He didn't hurt that dude ever. He landed some good shots. I ain't gonna say he didn't land good shots, but he didn't hurt that dude at all. Richardson Hitchens was hurt damn near five times in that fight, bro. I didn't like what I seen from the nigga. I'm not hating on him type shit, bro. But um, these niggas need to like damn near worry about they self, bro, and stop saying goofy ass shit. Because then I'm expecting for you to look a certain way. You got Eddie saying he's in the class of these niggas, and that's just not what I seen, bro. Like, that's just not what I'm seeing. And I'm a fan of all black fighters, bro, but not when they talk a certain way and don't back the shit up. So I think he lost. Um, I, I, I wish they wouldn't have done the nigga limos like that. And, yeah, I do want to see him in there in good fights. And like you were saying, I want to see him in there with fights. Like you were saying, the Ergachev shit, nobody was Champ, fucking around. I got to let you go. That belt Ergachev. on Ben Rang. Yeah, I gotta, when I get you a little extra, it's, it's, it's so y'all can finish the thought, not going to eight different topics. So I double check. And Rancy certainly was a champ. He won the IBF uh, over Huang Salgado. Excuse me. He won the IBF versus Martin Honorio, then defended it successfully once. After that, Arsh Usmani got a draw with him. And after that, he got that. No contest, knockout in the second round by Rancis. Rancis hit him after the bell. Mendez got knocked out. So that was labeled a no contest because it was an, an, an illegal blow, and they did an immediate rematch where he lost the belt to Rancis. So he certainly was a former world champ, Marjanis Mendez. CYP. Yo, yo, happy weekend. <laughs> I don't even know uh, if I sound good. I'm on the road. But look, uh, I got to say, uh, what homeboy said was correct. I wish that some of these promoters and some of these boxers wouldn't do all this talking so early in their career so they could develop, develop their skills, develop their wins, and then jump on the scene and start talking that shit. So when we watch them with this critical eye, they, it won't catch no backlash. Because now we was watching them with a critical eye. When we should have been watching it for entertainment. Don't do it, fellas. If you ain't ready to have that critical eye on you, shut your ass up. It's just the truth. And tell your promoter, shut his ass up too. Um, but I'm gonna say, I seen Carissa and Cyborg talking a month ago in person, and Carissa was saying, I'm not fighting at 145, 147. I'm too big. I'm a big girl. And Cyborg was like, why not? Why not? She was like, nah, I'm too big for that. I'm too big for that. 154. 154. She was saying that right in her face. So when people keep using this, oh, she said she would fight Cyborg. Homie, the last time her and Cyborg talked in person, Carissa was like, no, no 147. Literally screaming it, no, 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 no. So people need to jump on that and listen to what Carissa has been saying for the past month, two months, however long it's been. She's never agreed to 147 in the past two, three months. Forget that old shit. Ask her today. Ask her yesterday. Ask her the next day. See what so if anybody wants to see 147, y'all going to have problems. Go ahead. Do you mind if I engage with you? 
Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Stand there. So you do understand that Alicia would have never spoken about Clarissa and a potential fight until Clarissa mentioned 47. So we can walk right. down your street and your, you, you know, the fact that she no longer wants to fight at 47, but that you still then you still then have to give Alicia the pass because that's the only reason she even spoke. I hear you. Okay. And if, every, cool. and, and, and if everybody has seen Cyborg and and uh, and Clarissa talk, because that's the point of reference people keep using. They keep using the point of reference of Cyborg, Cyborg, Cyborg. Well, if you talk to Cyborg today, she will say, "Nah, Clarissa's not fighting there at 147. She says she's too big for that." If you continue to use Cyborg as a reference, then you look stupid. Cyborg herself is saying, nah, 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 nah. She said, no 147. Can I, she told can me my I face, engage no again? No 147. Let's move on from that. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, cool. I look stupid because I'm referencing Cyborg, which makes the fight realistic, but Clarissa looks like right. a duck because she wants someone to move up 24 pounds, right? Nah, that's what you call it. Oh, that's shit. what you call All it. Right. You, you call it a duck. Because you're using Cyborg as the reference, right? If there was no Cyborg... No, I'm not. Alicia, I'm not using Cyborg nope. as the reference. I said, I look like a duck for using that. We moved... I mean, I look bad for using that. We moved on. What I'm saying now is we got one girl that fights at 30 being called uh -huh. out to fight at 54. Uh-huh. Yeah, because she wants to smoke with her. I, now, now, clear me if I'm wrong. What this, what, what Clarissa called calling out um, Alicia, but did she start that shit saying, I'll fight you, or was it the other way around? I don't know. You tell me. Again, we, we referenced that, and I told you this wouldn't be happening if Clarissa didn't say 47. <laughs> we we, hey, we got to move on, though. We ain't on the same I mean, you did, we, What Have you mean we not on the same level? We, we, we agreed we to that. No, you, you just mad I slept walk you. You agreed you, you to that. Her. It's over. Have but didn't you agree to that? Die. But didn't you agree? Didn't you agree when I said, CYP, you mind me interjecting? You said, nah, cool. I said, yo, can we agree that uh, Alicia never even talked about a potential fight with Clarissa until Clarissa said 47? And you agreed. You muted. He muted himself. Okay, so, okay. You don't want to engage. Have a good day. Uh, got him. We got Dominic. Y'all got to stop protecting the quote, man. She could still be great and, uh, you know, trying to avoid this fight. Like, think about this. Um, Oshaki Foster fights at 30. Raymond Ford fights at 30. Y'all saying Jamel Charlo calling out Raymond Ford to say, yo, fight me at 54. That's not some sort of fishy behavior? Raymond Ford, move up 24 pounds and fight me at 54. Versus Raymond Ford saying, nah, Charlo, I'll fight you at 47. Y'all just don't want to look at it realistically. Raymond Ford or Shockey Foster calling out Jermel Charlo at 47 and standing on it. But y'all running with Jamel saying, nah, fight me at my way to 54. Y'all some clowns. Y'all some clowns because any other time we want something like this, we do want to find a catchway. When we talking tank in a new way, we talking catchways. When we talking tank and, 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 and Devin, we talking catchways. But we want to protect the quote. I get y'all. Y'all can label me the hater because I tell the truth. It's all good. Nike Hendricks, what up? Hendricks. Yo, you got me? Yep. All right, man. Shouts out to Ness, the whole team coming to work on this blessed Sunday evening. You know, uh, Lamosa Richardson, Hitchison, however you say his damn name, he's irrelevant. Like everybody's saying, man, don't talk that shit and put on that type of performance. Nah, dog. Nah. 
It, it might be his one bad one, but hey, I ain't gonna lie. Even though it's bad, it's better than Shakur performance, so he had no words to say. He shouldn't have said nothing. Saying, train with me, you would have KO'd him. You didn't fucking even hurt De La Santos. And you talking about KO? Like, you didn't even hurt him. So I don't want to hear that from Shakur. Court needs to get his get that. Hitchison? Uh, oh, uh, I think they should do the rematch. At least let your hands go. I mean, I can see it either way, though. I can see it. I mean, I, I really give giving the most. I'm giving him a split, you know, not by too much because Hitchison wasn't active enough. But he did land some clean shots in that fight. So I can't sit here and say he wasn't landing no clean shots on him. But as far as, like, activity and, and having, having the man hurt, that was the most. And I feel like he brought him to fight. I feel like he should have won by split decision. Or if they don't get him to win, shit, give it a draw so they can run it back then, you know, because ain't no way Hitchison won that. And then one of them scorecard, won it like 117 to 108, some shit? 117, one fucking 11. That judge gave him, like, he gave him 9, 10, 11, 12. That's crazy. Man, the ninth round, that, I'm not going to lie, the ninth round. Lamont clearly won that. He came on strong in that ninth round. Came on strong in that ninth round. Lamont did. So I don't understand what what these judges like. They need to hold these judges and refs accountable. Like the ref, he should have told Hitchison, like, bro, point taken away, all this fucking holding. But they want to talk shit about Devin, right? Oh, Devin, all Devin do is hold. And Devin really don't hold. Devin just, you know, he might smother your punches. But he's not holding the way uh, Hitchison was holding, man. Hell no, man. So I don't understand that with the with the old, yeah, Devin Holes type shit. That man, Hitchison was holding for his life. Devin held for one round after he got rocked at the end of the round. And then after that, started back beating Lenares' ass. I don't get it. Then they talking about, oh, the Cambosis fight, Devin Hill, Hill, Hill. You really watch that fight? Cambosis initiated a lot of them clinches first. And, 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 and that, that's, that's what I look at, man. But, yeah, man, he's just a, he needs to get that. That's the bell, champ. That's the bell. If you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. Uh, it's going to help with the visibility of the show. Uh, listen, dude side texting me about this uh, Clarissa shit. Tell my yo, did you not watch her interview? She said she won't fight her at 47 because she might still be on drugs. While, while Clarissa's weight drain. Fam, fuck all that soft shit like Brona said, man. Shut all that soft shit up. Stop making... Am, am I face showing good? Stop making excuses for this woman, man. Like, I'm sorry. There's no Vada. We can't pay for Vada. It's a big fight. We ain't gonna have Vada. We just gonna speculate that she's on steroids while you weight drained. You not a super fighter. You don't demand Vada for your fights. We can't. We can't. We can't get Vada. Cause that excuse has already been settled with us agreeing to Vada. Let's cut the shit, man. Clarissa fans is out here wilding, bro. Like, yo, listen. I just want a good fight. Somebody tell me what's Clarissa next fight in boxing. Go ahead, Marcos. You my co-host. Tell me. Her next fight is, I don't know. No, what would you like to see her in boxing? Please tell me. Oh, who I'd like to see. Mm-hmm. I don't even know. I would say Fran Chan, but they already fought. Uh, I don't know. Okay. In the chat, please, for free, I'm going to announce what you said and who you are. Do me a favor. Go extra mile. Tell me where you're from. I want to I wanna know, what's your matchmate for Clarissa? Go ahead, because I'm giving her a pay-per-view fight. I know me and a few other motherfuckers is going to be willing to pay $50 to watch her and Alicia Bumgarner fight. Absolutely. fucking lootly Yeah, I would definitely love to see that fight. Alicia is you know, smaller, obviously, but it'd be a fun fight. At 47, I'm paying 50 bucks Now, um, someone else give me a, a, a Clarissa Shields pay-per-view. What you going to tell me? Marshall, watch that for free already. 
what, what you going to tell me? A rematch with Marshall? Because I watched it for free. So we ain't doing that on pay-per-view. We could watch it again. We ain't doing that on pay-per-view. But uh, what you going to tell me? A rematch with Franchon Cruz? Because I watched that for free. So we ain't, we ain't doing that on pay-per-view, right? So Birdman yeah, hands. Birdman hands. Where's your pay-per-view at? And, 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 and the only other pay-per-view that would have manifested itself had things played out the way I wanted them to would have been Shadeja Green because of the power. If she would have kept knocking girls out, if she would have knocked out Franchon, we would have paid to see her fight Clarissa because of the thought of her being able to knock out Clarissa. That didn't happen. So where's your pay-per-view fight? Oh, that's right. The one and only pay-per-view that Nesta Gibbs is giving you his motherfucking self. I'm alley-ooping it to you here. There goes Alicia Bumgarner in there. All you got to do is slam dunk it through the rim. And all you little Clarissa fans, stop the hating because that is not hating. I'm giving her her biggest fight. It's her biggest fight in America before she tries to tell me I don't know shit and she made X, Y, Z with Marshall. Cool, that was over there. You as the champion had to go over there. You as the champion had to relinquish one of your belts, let her gain it to go recapture it. So you you doing favors for Marshall, who's from another country. Won't you do a favor for Alicia, who's from your country? You from Michigan, she from Detroit, Ohio, whatever. Let's get it done. Like, what other super fight you got? What other super fight you got? What other super fight you got? Why am I the only one that sees this shit? The, the, the fact that I get labeled this weirdo for this whole shit, like, what other super fight you got? Because let me tell you something. If you give Alicia that fight, she got that fight. Alicia could still get the Katie Teller fight. Alicia could get the Serrano fight. There's fights for Alicia. What other super fight you got? I just don't get it. Like, how is this mad so hard? Like, James in Atlanta, $2. Canelo ain't slurred one word in that clip. People hear what they want to hear. Kerry G, $5. He should study his work in the 10th. He pulled fury like moves. That will be his way against pressure. Push back, fire, lean on him. He wait too much early on. Troll beta, $50. Do you think the zone are focusing too much on quantity rather than quality? They need to stack a few cards. Um, I mean, when you say the zone, remember that they're a network, and then there's promoters with individual cards, like the Red Owl card that I didn't watch all of it. I literally only watched um, Tito. Um, you know, I heard that other kid that's trained by Bones did well. I got to go back and watch him. But, yeah, I only watch Tito, man. Counterpunch, though. Facts. Yo. Yo. Yo, this this the Haney voice, right? Uh, this, the, this the Haney voice. The Bumgarner yeah, voice, too. Nah. Oh, oh, yeah, we know that. We know that. We know that already. But no, nah, this, this fight off too, topic. The Canelo voice. The Canelo voice. Yeah, I forgot about that, too. Furry voice. But I forgot about that one, too. Fury, Fury. But, um, um, what the fuck? No, nah, I know this completely off subject. Hey, Ness, are you of the mindset, right, that if Devin Haney becomes undisputed at 140, that he did it better than Terrence Crawford? Are you of that mindset, too? Um, Better in what sense? Like, what does that even mean? That's, that's what I was saying. Like, I mean, they saying I, I guess they were saying that uh Because the competition looks guess, tougher at forty. I'm not I, I I guess maybe. I just was like I, I was I was confused on that when they was trying to compare. They was like, well, I mean that's the only know, thing you could do. I mean the the, the 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 truth is that's the only thing you could do. You got a dude right now currently at forty that is a former undisputed and the two time champ. Then you got another dude that's arguably, right? Debatably undisputed, if not unified, and two-time in T.O. Then you got uh, allegedly, allegedly one of the most deadliest punchers 
at 140 because he caught a body in Matias. Um, yeah, man, nah, the, 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 the division is stacked. Now you got Isak Cruz, who, you know, uh, just became champion. It's, it's, a, it's certainly a better division than when Bud was there. Like, the names that when he was there was Victor Postal himself. Uh, but, see, hold on. Julius but see, but I guess, but I guess, Ed I guess the Rouse. argument, I guess their point was, uh, I guess Haney run at two-time undisputed would be considered better than Bud. So, so what now you, that you break it yeah, all down. Yeah, yeah, the run in I, the like terms the, by of the opponent, opponent. By the yeah, opponent, yeah, 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 by the yeah. opponent right? Right, so, I, I'm, so I'm like, damn. I say, well, how the hell are we going to sit here and say that's the case? Let's just say Haney does do it, right, even though we know Bud did it first. But let's just say he he does do it, right? How can we sit here and say that when Devin Haney beat Cambosis? They get undisputed. Like, like he beat Cambosis, who was a Cinderella fighter. Let's just, let's, just, let's just be real. Let's just just be real. It was Cinderella. He had one good night or whatever the case may be. Okay, cool. Then he beat Loma. But you would say Loma is is Devin's best win, right? For sure. He already had two losses before he fought him, so it's just like when you when you really when you really break this yeah, shit but, down, man. Yeah, but like, wait, 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 wait. But don't Kane. go, but don't go too far. He already had two losses before that. What that mean? Right, right. But but we comparing quality of opponents, right? Would you say who the better win, Spence or Loma? Loma. Over Spence. Absolutely. Spence was undefeated. Spence was undefeated. My dude, Spence was a one division champ, non medalist. Okay, he he got eliminated in, in like the oh, first round. Man, I don't give a fuck. That's just the truth. Uh, I mean, that's your opinion. That's your opinion. I, but the public, I'm telling you, if you do a poll on that right now, don't nobody see that shit that way. Poll, he already lost poll, twice. Poll, he lost poll, to a guy, Salido. My Come dude, on now. my dude. Polls indicate popularity. Spence is. 30-something years old, never got out of his division, only won belts in one division. What in the fuck are you talking about? Loma, Loma lost to listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. <laughs> Loma, Loma is older than Spence with less fights than Spence and has accomplished more than Spence. Plus got a gold medal multiple times where Spence got eliminated in the first round. Like, what are you even talking about? Bro, I don't give a fuck about twice. popularity. I don't he care. He lost twice. And, and he my lost. Thing is, Yo, my, thing my dude, this. check His this out. Was check this out. His check this out. Was check this out. No, 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 no. Tell the people the code. He lost twice. In his second fight, he lost for a title shot. I don't care. What was Earl doing in the second L. fight? It's an L, uh -huh. man. No, no, you're right. And 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 what is what is Earl done after his L? He's retired. Loma did not retire after his L. You know what Loma did? Become champion again. Is Earl gonna become he champion lost again? again? Is Earl gonna become champion in your eyes again? I think he could at 54. You think I mean, he I think could? It's a you think but he could? You think he could? You know what happened though? though? You think he could? Loma became multiple time champion. Mo Loma unified. Loma moved up. Like you sound real, 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 yeah, real, 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 real crazy. Yeah, this the Haney voice. No, this the Haney voice. Real, real, real crazy. You gotta go. You gotta go. Gotta go. Guy? Gotta go. That was the bell. You wilding right now. You wilding right now. This, 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 this is the thing. <laughs> this is the thing. This is the thing. Uh, they could call me the Haney voice, except I got a viral short. Ripping Earl's resume apart. Viral short. Ripping Earl's resume apart. Like, and anybody's resume could be ripped apart. So I'm not in any way trying to say that this man ain't good. But Danny moved up from 40. He didn't rematch Porter, who if doesn't get knocked down, wins the fight on most people's scorecard. Mikey started mm. at featherweight. Algeri started at 40. Like, stop me when I'm lying. Ugas, like, this man called in to tell me that Loma is better, uh, that Errol is better because he was undefeated and Loma had two losses. Well, Ugas had four when Earl beat him and got his shit knocked out his mouth and looked at weary. Stop me when I'm lying. Crawford started at 35 and jumped up and beat the brakes off you. Stop me when I'm lying. Like, shut the fuck up, man. No disrespect to nobody, but I watch fights, man. 
I don't know what y'all talking about. <laughs> the truth, what up? Uh, like, motherfuckers be out here just woo. I mean, you know, uh, good morning to you. It's not morning now, it's uh, afternoon, but uh, good afternoon to you. For me, that's Marco. Watch your breakdowns. It's crazy that you had True School Sports it. TV. Because um, I that's I actually have watched his breakdown about like two months ago, talking about Gustavo Lemos, and I actually want to go watch him content about him, and and I knew this was gonna be a tough fight for Richard Hitchens. You know, that's my boy, but I knew that I seen Gustavo uh, Lemos. He had good combination, good decent hand speed, and his footwork was underrated. The thing about and and the thing about them Argentinian fighters, they they're awkward with their punches and they throw them in combination, so it, it's a problem. You feel me? They always give somebody a problem, even if they're going to lose the fight. But I, I thought he had a, a decent chance of winning. Uh, I ain't going to lie. I was off the, I was off the Hardeen, so I didn't, ca- I didn't catch the whole card. You feel me? I was watching, Um, I don't know what's the boy name from England. He had the gold shorts on. What's his name? Um, Yafai? I think he was. Yafai, yeah. Yeah, I was, he was beating the shit out of boy, but I, I was falling asleep. I ain't going to lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you, but um, I, I I well I did watch the Cortez fight. He was in a tough little fight. But, uh, what's the boy name? That man could not get his head off the line. He was hitting with combinations. I, I actually thought he was gonna stop him earlier in the fight, but the guy he was fighting was pretty tough. I was surprised that he that they lasted all all rounds. What was it ten rounder or eight rounder? Which which fight? Cor- Cortez. Cortez. Cortez, oh well, he he fought early. He he suspended. After I started to see uh, Castro, Castro, Castro. Oh, oh, Mark Castro. Yeah. Yeah, that was a eight round, I believe. Yeah, I thought he was gonna stop him earlier, but hey, I'm um, shit. It was still a good experience fight. He, I, I, he's at thirty five. He got a long though, ten round though. Abraham ten Montoya. round. Yeah. I was I was talking about would he be a good fight against somebody like uh um what's his name Floyd Schofield? How do you how do you feel about that fight? Castro? Yeah, because yeah. I got to think about I I got to think about think people closest to that. his level. Nah, they, I I don't think they're doing that. I don't think they're doing mm. that. You think, think he he ain't ready for that smoke right now? Yeah, I, I mean, look at the way the matchroom has been moving Castro, bro. There's no way they put him in there with Schofield. Yeah, I thought after his last fight, I thought they was going to. I guess, I guess they he they trying to get him, you know, more experience. But uh, even if I go over the time, you feel me? I cash up. Uh, you know, when I watched the your five fight, that boy got some skills. That what 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 way does he fight at? That motherfucker got some skills, uh, bro. I think it in it flyway or some shit. Flyweight, okay. He look, he kind of look big, but um, nah. He had a good um, good accuracy on his punches. He had some good pop. He had good body work. You feel me? And and uh, he was beating up on boy, but then the like closer to like the end of the uh end of the fight that he started catching him with some sneaky hooks, timing him. I was like, oh shit! But then you know, feel me. That's when the, the pack kicked in. I started falling asleep. I woke up in the middle of the um, Pacheco fight. It was around round four. I seen I seen a lot of smothering going on. I said, what the fuck going on? I'm thinking, I'm like, okay, I see Pacheco cracking him with some shit, though. But um, it, it was like somewhat what Drew was saying, you feel me, that these uh, the Benavidez fighters, man, they, they can't fight out the clinch, you feel me? They throw a lot of punches, but y'all needed that inside work, you feel me? Just start ripping the motherfuckers, man. But uh, other than that, uh, oh, and, and the reason I also, people also thought he was going to stop Pacheco as, as far as the Pacheco fight. He thought people, a lot of people thought he was going to stop him. But, I, you know, I was speaking with, you know, because people were trying to place in some bets. So I was like, man, I don't think he's going to stop, boy. I had looked at the record as, you know, seeing a, seeing a fight or two. I was like, yeah, his style, he could, he's a decent little boxer. I was like, yeah, he's going to give him some problems. This probably going to go the distance. So I said, just bet money line. Even the money line was like a minus a thousand. I was like, man, put it in a parlay, man. Fuck it, because it was too risky. Um, just as far as the Hitchison fight, man, I, I knew it was going to be a tough fight for him. 
I was I was a little disappointed because you know East Coast shit. You feel me? Shout out uh, King Born Brooklyn shit, but he 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 ain't show up like he was supposed to. He, I feel like that the body work definitely bothered him. He around the six to seven round. I have fell asleep, but I rewatched it in the morning. Um, the six to uh eight rounds, he was getting his ass time. Like uh, Lemos was letting shit go just to. He was throwing punches out there to keep him distracted, and then he would, you know, as Marco said, he was timing him. He was timing him with like a hard counter over the top, the right hand. It was just that shit just kept clipping him. I was like, God damn, bro, you, you, you can't just see that man hit you with the same shit over and over again. Like, shit was crazy. But um, uh, you know, Rich, it showed me Richardson had some more dog. He had some great dog in him. You feel me? I still. Won't critique him as hard as Shakur because Shakur talked the same cash shit, but Shakur don't even fight back. So that's just me. You feel me? At least he showed that he fight back a little bit. He got a good chin. You feel me? I don't think you feel me. They be saying these boxers, they they afraid to get hit. But it was not that he was afraid to get hit. He just needed to know how to work his inside game more. And 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 catch on to that rhythm because it, it was them awkward punches that was throwing him off. But he definitely could have. Uh, he was doing the same thing. Just you feel me? Throwing like a uh, a hook to the body, maybe a a, a a a left hand straight, and then he would just come with the uh, the right hand over the top every time. I was like, shit, you feel me? Show that you know, as he's a level. I, I thought he he was uh, um on that Shakur Devin level, but I think he needs a little bit more experience. You know, he got the same type of pedigree, but it's just the skills is there. He just needs to be more experienced and 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 know. When to work on the inside a little bit more, and, and yeah. as somebody else said, you know, you going get your again? get your shit off and clip. Um, nah, I'm good. I'm good. Do I owe you five though? Yeah. Okay, man. Good. Hey, but it was a good. It was a good car, man. All you right. feel me? Shout out. All right, all right. Uh, Fats yeah. counter. Ness, Ness, you capping right now, and I'm ready to expose you. You huh. capping right? You you capping? Cause look, okay, cool, cool. You want you want to break down Crawford resume? Let's let's break your boy shit down. Was Loma a champion when Haney beat him and when Haney fought him? Yes or no? No. He didn't have a fucking belt. No. All right, so he didn't have a fucking belt, and he had two losses at the time that he fought him. Like, come on, bro. You not already sit here and make it seem like he was fighting the version that Tio fought, or that he was fighting the version that Salito beat. Like, like you, you, you like, bro. Like, come on, bro. You capping for this nigga? Loma like, and then, okay, cool. Loma wasn't coming off of a stoppage of Richard Coleman. Say that again. Was Loma not coming off of a stoppage of Richard Coleman? And I'm sure. When he, when and he I'm fought sure, Haney. Yeah. And I'm sure was he was he a coming champion? Up, and was I'm he, sure. Did he have a belt? My dude, he was come just on. getting in that division. I'm pretty sure. He lost to Tio trying to become undisputed there. I'm pretty sure. He ain't sure. just getting that division. He had he had the belts that he lost to Tio. So there you go, line again. You, 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 I just caught you again. Like you, you said and told a lie. But but uh, that's that's neither case here nor there. So Gamboa, Gamboa at uh when when he fought and beat Gamboa. Right. No, we don't gotta uh compare their resumes. All I did was tell you that Loma not I'm um, Loma having losses still made him good. You the one trying to say him having losses don't make him good. I think I'm saying at the time that different. Haney fought him compared to At the to time Spence. that Haney fought him, he was coming off of the uh Nakatani win, the Kome win, the Ortiz win, then he lost to Haney, bro. Like I don't know what you want. He didn't have a belt. Like that's and, that's the All right, whole so point. let me you ask you this. Let me, oh, cool, 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 cool. cool. When when Haney vacated the belt, right, and and Shakur right. was about to fight for it, and next in line was Loma, and Loma uh, said he wouldn't have fought. He didn't want to fight Shakur. Remember that? We you follow me so far? Yeah, but why are you doing all this? All right, why are you all right. doing all this? Because I want to ask you this: If that fight would have happened, is Loma not the biggest name on Shakur resume? By by name recognition, yeah. Okay. Yeah, of course. So losses don't matter, bro. Losses matter when a dude is on the back end and it's like, nah, look, he was already like 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 again, like I just said, if Regis lose to Hitchens, people might say he was on the back end because of the Zoria fight, the Devin fight, and then and I ain't say lose to Hitchens, I may I strike that. The caller said stopped by Hitchens. So I said, if Hitchens stops Regis, 
there might there might be a debate that he so, was on the back. So Lom Loma not on the back end right now? How you on the back if you beat three names in the 135? Ness, that was you, top 10. Ness, you you moving you moving the goal post. No, man. You no, keep, no, like come no, on, bro. No, like no, when no, no. come on, man. No, listen, listen. I'm gonna ask you again. I'm gonna ask you again so that you can keep take the name out of it. How can you be on the back end if you beat three top ten names in the division? Uh, what are champs? You keep again. It's about fucking championships, okay. man. Okay, Richard Cormier was, was a former champ. Richard Cormier was a former champ. What else you want? Did he have a Did he have a belt when 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 Loma beat him? No, no. Did right, Delo, did Delo right, Santos then. have a belt when Shakur beat him? No, we, we, so, we so really going to sit here so and say, do, come so on, So do man. that make it any less of a win for anybody because there wasn't no belt? I'm, I'm just trying to figure you out. Because no, what I'm about trying when, to figure Tank, out your argument. when Tank beats, never... when, when Tank, if Tank beats Frank, do he not get credit because he didn't have a belt? I'm, I'm just trying to figure what you're trying to, like, what's your if argument? If Frank Tank here? best win, would Tank beat, would Tank, would Frank be Tank best win? No, I no, don't it think would so. not be. I don't All think right, so. then. So that's that's what we're comparing. But, but, then, so but, stop. But, you moving the Loma, goalposts, trying to. But Loma to... would be Shakur's biggest win, and Loma is Devin's biggest win. So I'm not understanding what you're okay, saying. Okay, and guess what? I'm, and I'm talking and guess about what? And guess what? Sense. And guess what? And guess what? Loma would be Tank's biggest win. No, he wouldn't. Okay, who's a bigger win than Loma for Tank? If Tank, if Tank was to fight Eastside Cruz right now, that's his biggest win. <laughs> that's better than Loma right now. So how do you figure? At the moment. Hold at on. the moment. No, 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 no. Because I, I'm, I'm so glad you keep falling in this dumbass logic, right? So somehow Eastside Cruz with two losses is Tank's best win, and you're okay. But Isak is a one division. Tank champ. beat him first. Let me, let Tank me beat him first. My, my brother, let me explain. Isak had two losses when Tank fought him. And 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 Isak is a one division champ. And you're saying he would be Tank's biggest name, but Loma is a three division champ. Loma's a first ballot Hall of Famer because he's got less than 18 fights and he's fought in three divisions and he's unified multiple divisions. Like, fast, I got to go, man. It's cool. You don't watch boxing. You know what I'm saying? You watch only the big names. Like, I get you. It's all good. But you shouldn't discredit, man. Like, I don't dis I try not to discredit First Ballot Hall of Famer. Shout out to B-Hop. All my First Ballots out there. You know what I'm saying? But uh, who we got? Dom, we going to try you again. If not, we gonna go to somebody else. Yeah, I gotta chill. Dom, you you ain't figure it out, huh? All right, we going out to my man C Dub. Okay, I never got to this. Malcolm said five dollars. It's Mick. Calman, not McCallum. Please say his name correctly. Sorry, brother. Didn't mean to didn't mean to offend you, you know what I'm saying? Didn't mean to get you get you all mad, man. Who we got here? We can try and see dub. We know you could talk. These guys with don't know how to handle this Twitter. Yo, yo, how the audio? You good? Straight, that's what's up, man. Shout out TBV, smash that like button. It's free. Do something with yourself. Shout out Ness, working hard. You know, you saw you saw Lodolo Dolo today. Scarface, no Manolo. Right, right there, man. Yo, it was a it was a good night of boxing, man. Good day, I mean, yeah, good day of boxing. Wow, they said that uh, they said Eddie Hearn said that Richard Hitchens was on Shakur level, was on Devin level. You know what I'm saying? The elite of the, the elite of the elite. Man, Hitchens is a, is elite, but he's not. You know, as we saw, as we saw, man. Uh, he he was the he was the Devin of the 135 Devin, the Cambosa one Devin. A lot of a lot of grabbing. There's a lot of <laughs> it was <laughs> it was a lot of clinching, man. You know, after about the tenth clinch, 
I'm not going to lie, I was scoring the fight. And, um, you know, first I saw, yeah, I saw Pacheco. I really think Pacheco and Belanga, Belanga would be a good, a good fight, 50-50. It's 50-50, man. I don't know where people see levels above. I don't see which one is uh, levels above. I see it being a 50-50 fight. I'm not sure who will win. I think I got, I think I, uh, it's tight. It's tight. I want to go over longer, but I'm not sure. You know, it's a 50-50 fight, man. But yeah, on to Hitchens in the, in the UFC fight I watched last night. It was a lot of, a lot of clinching, a lot of grabbing. And then I think after like the 10th clinch or like the 20th, I think I fell asleep. I couldn't, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't make it, you know, it was, uh, you know, it was like, it was, it was three, three to me or like a three, three, two Hitchens way. And then, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't make it, you know, I, at least in, in the UFC when they're clinching and grabbing, you know, somebody could go for the finish, you know, you can get a chokehold, you know, somebody could throw an elbow, it could be a knee in bet- or something like that. But, you know, it's just a, the referee's going to break it up. You know, it's uh, I guess you know this gentleman's boxing. I don't know that that swim without getting wet. You know, I don't know. Um, it's it's when you don't want to when you want to do the pretty boxing. You know, you're going to clinch and grab on the inside because it's it, it's it's real. It's nasty in the in the kitchen. So you want you want to get get on the outside and be um and do the the jab and work the jab. But I don't know what was what was going on. Why the jab wasn't working too good for Hitchens that uh, last night, but it was it was okay, it was okay. I mean, I, I think now people don't laugh at me or shouldn't laugh at me when I say Ryan to beat him. You know, I, I said this before the fight that uh, Ryan, when they always said who can Ryan beat at the top, Hitchens was on. Hitchens was one of the names that I would name. Hitchens, Love, Montana Love, these names Ryan can beat, and now everybody see it. The high level lie, you know, I've I been had it. I mean, I, I have it, man. You know, Hitchens and uh, Ryan should be would be a great fight. You know, Hitchens versus Rowley would be a great would be would be a great fight. We don't think he could could touch the Devons. We don't think he could t- hang with the Tos or or Sabril. You know, so but he 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 he's still an elite boxer though. Shout out, shout out Hitchens. You know, continue to work on the game. Continue to work on the inside. And, you know, and uh, could just continue to or or continue to work. He could. It is an upside for him. He could just continue to work and not clean. That's the bell, champ. Good job trying you for the fourth, fifth, maybe 30th time. What up? Good job, Discord. Good job. We're going out to Trey in Omaha. Trey, Trey, to this day, Dan, look, they done made my man. Benavidez apologized, but it's the bullshit. Benavidez done put out a, a, a post here saying, I want to apologize. Oh, this is the, the B to the S right here, bro. I don't even understand this right here. Let me see, could we get this right on the first shot? Oh, of course not. Of course not. Should be right now. This is what he posted on his story. Uh, let me see. I got to bring it down some. Sorry for the dead air. Shit happens. Now you see that it's his story. And he put, I just want to take this time to apologize to all my fans and to the people that seen me last night drunk. I had one too many drinks and made a complete fool of myself, shaking my head. This will never happen ever again. Uh, I think that's going too far, saying it's never happened shit. And I think it, you didn't even need to apologize. It's like, man, fuck them motherfuckers, man. You feel me? Uh, everybody was entitled to have a drink if you want. Um... No one is in there taking the punches for Benavidez. No one is running his mouths. And if he drinks, he will lose. Um, I ain't seen nobody making uh, Ricardo Mayorga apologize for smoking on his way to the ring. Like, 
No commission fined them for smoking cigarettes at press conferences or in the corner of the ring. Like, knock it the fuck off. And David, cut it the fuck out, man. Tell these motherfuckers to kick fucking rocks. Like, what the fuck, bro? You don't got to be nobody's role model. And I get it. Oh, you a role model. You forced to be. Okay, name a fucking role model that don't drink. LeBron don't drink. Michael Jordan didn't drink. Mike Tyson didn't drink. What fucking celebrity don't fucking drink? Like, man, fuck them. Fuck them all. David, F them all. Dom, what up? Web TBV. It's my bad about earlier. Uh, couldn't connect, but uh, going through the fights here, it was a good night of fights. Um, I thought Pacheco, uh, he didn't impress me too much. He got touched a lot, but he did get the dub. He uh, did what he had to do. That was a tricky fighter he was up against. Um, I thought that guy had the fight uh, through the first four rounds and sort of just lost it. Um, uh, not not too different from uh, the next fight. Uh, I thought Lemos was winning early on. I had him winning the first, second. I had Hitchison getting the third. Uh, Lem Lemos comes back for the fourth. Fifth goes to Hitchens. Uh, that was really the first competitive round, and I gave it to uh, Hitchens. Then sixth goes to Hitchens. Uh, he used his jab great. He found it in that sixth round. Seven, I give to Hitchens. Uh, he evaded Lemos the whole round. He couldn't really touch him. And eight, uh, I give that to Lemos. That was his best round, maybe the best round of the fight. Um, he was had killer instinct that round, but I guess sort of lost it the rest of the fight, punched himself out because uh, I give nine, 10, 11, 12 all to Hitchens. Uh, have it seven, four. Um, I, I get it was a close. <laughs> Wild. Hey, I, Wild. I, I get it was a close. No, it no, was no, a no, close no, no, fight. No, 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 no. How do you give twelve to Hitchens? Like, what is it that you like? Saw I said, Lemos punched himself out. Count all the punches thrown and how many didn't connect in that twelfth round. Hitchens was was precise throughout the whole fight. Um, he he edged it out um, on, on the scores for me. Um, with his jab, especially, like I said, he found that halfway through the fight. Um, but ev even if you give that to Lemos, that 12th round, um, it, it wouldn't have mattered. He was it down. Do the matter. It do point. matter because you also didn't give him the ninth. That's wild. You need to rewatch the ninth. Remember, the Hitchens was out on his feet in no, the No, eighth. no, 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 for sure. I got it. I got it in my notes. The ninth was a close round. Um, like, I can't even had believe better moments Listen, to don't... me, but Lemos. Don't feel Lemos bad. Lemos was real creative that round. Don't he feel bad. He was real bad. creative that round, but again, he missed a lot. Nah, and don't feel bad. It, None of the judges gave him the ninth, which I find to be insane. But to hear you also didn't give him the ninth is crazy. I just I, I, thought I don't that was see how they didn't get the ninth, bro. I, I, I'm not mad at somebody giving Lemos the ninth there. Um, I thought he was a lot more creative than Hitchens. But again, he just wasn't connecting with a lot of those uh, punches. But... He did get him a few good times during that match. So I, bruh, I told you. How is he not connecting, right? Like, how y'all keep saying he, this? Listen, just hear me out. Just hear me out. Just hear me out. Consistent. How are you not connecting, but you're not the fighter looking at the clock round after round? How are you not connecting, but you're not the fighter that continuously got hurt? How are you not connecting, but you're not the fighter that consistently clinched? No, what, I, I hear you. you. He, I'm not about? saying like, he didn't connect at all. If you ain't hitting me, I'm not me, saying he didn't connect at all. If Ness, you ain't he hitting me, I'm not lot. going out as a hugger. If you ain't hitting me, I'm not clinching more than Look, Kel Brook. I didn't like Kitchen's performance at all, but I think he edged it on the points. He was uh, more precise. That jab scored a lot, especially on the back half of the fight. Um, but uh, uh, regardless, I want to touch on a couple things. I didn't like how the announcers tried to play Franchon Cruz and then throw Carissa under the bus. Oh, did you you remember when she lost her head? Yep, head yep. I brought that, that up on my live. Itself. And I like, I, and, and you see, because they only labeled me a Clarissa hater. I bigged up. I love what she did. Shout out to her. Yeah, said, they was like, said, yo, no, you remember, remember that? It. And she said, no, I don't remember that. She class stood act. on that. She a class act for that. I mean, um, she, she stood up for her girl for sure. 
And, and yeah, maybe if, you know those judges seem to think that the whole fight was a robbery, but I, I don't think they're really watching it since they're talking about that shit. But uh, yeah, it was a good night of fights, and uh, maybe I'll go back to rewatching it. Yeah, go rewatch that me, but... round nine, man. Come on, man. And All right, y'all. It's eight fucking twelve, man. I'll, I'll watch it back. Next. Jesus. Peace. And I'm not saying Hitchens lost. Never once did I say he lost, but I got my rounds. And the rounds I scored, he lost. And the rounds he won, I scored. Calls, what up? Yo, what's up, Ness? Uh, yeah, man, I, I actually thought Lemos won, won last night, definitely. He he was giving me, you know, Brian Castaño vibes, you know, like Maidana vibes. Um, Yeah, he fights nothing like Sergio Martinez. Though. Sergio Martinez was mostly like a boxer, but he definitely, like, Gave me Castaño and Maidana vibes. I thought he edged a 7-5. 117-111, that was that was too wide. Like, I mean, I'm I mean, I'm not gonna like I'm not gonna just like talk so much shit about Richard Hitchison because I'll probably spend like a hundred dollars on counter punches just and we'll probably take the whole day if I do that. But but um but for Richard Hitchison, like the only thing I like about him is his jab. He does have a sharp jab. But, like, yeah, man, I think he, like, kind of messed up, like, overlooking Lemos a bit because he was pretty much, like, saying he was going to F him up and this and that. Like, pretty much he was, like, trying to call him a bum. But, like, I think that's what he messed up. He should have focused more on Lemos instead of, you know, like, trashing Devin or or other fighters. But this was uh, Lem- um, Hitchison. He's not the mandatory, right, for Subriel, right? He's the man, though, right? That was an IBF eliminator. Yes. So yeah, I think I think Matias would do bad things to Hitchison's, but I'm still curious how Matias would do against Leon Pardo, though, because that's gonna be a really good fight. And for Pacheco and Sean, like I thought, I gave Sean the first four rounds, but then from from the fifth and and to the tenth, I gave them all to Pacheco. Like Pacheco, he looked. He was winning, like, you know, the exchanges, but but he was getting kind of frustrated, and I'm not going to lie. But I hope, like, Senior, like, helps them, like, to teach them how to get get off the clinches and shit. Because I think that's one thing they, um, Pacheco and also David need to work on a little bit. But, but overall, Pacheco, he he, did, he, looked, he looked good. He looked pretty good. Hopefully we get the Edgar fight pretty soon. I still lean Pacheco a bit, but hopefully we get the Edgar fight. And for Sky, man, like no offense, bro, but I think Amanda would would do her pretty bad, bro. I think Amanda will like will cl- will clap Sky pretty pretty bad, but but yeah, it wasn't that bad. The card wasn't that bad. I actually liked the fights, but yeah, and that's I uh, that's all I have. Uh, but yeah, I'm uh, actually gonna rewatch the Lemos and Riches and Hitchison fight again. But I thought Lemos edged that shit seven five one seventeen one eleven. That's that was pretty pretty disgusting in my opinion. All right, champ. Right on cue, Adrian. Adrian, Adrian. Adrian, Adrian. Adrian, Adrian. KQKC. Got to unmute, my friend. All right, all right. Can you hear me? Loud. Can you hear me, my man? Yes, sir. How are you? Okay. Look here. I think um, Hitchison, I think that was good for him, that fight last night. Because you got to remember, Hitchison, you know, he wasted a lot of time over there at Floyd Mayweather Promotions. All right? He sat around for a long time. And that time, he could have been doing fights like he did last night. Now, he fights long and rangy, something like uh, a Devin Haney or, uh, or, or a Bud Crawford. They got that long body and that long stick, you know, and he was working last night. But he didn't know Limo was a pressure fighter. No, no style, no jabbing. All he wanted to do is come in there and take your head off. But, again, he needed that type of fight. Now, of course, because his was hit him with some, with some stuff, man. He was, but now, okay, he's down at 140. 
Now, it's a lot of fighters in 140. It's real deep right now. And we all know who all got carried the belts up there. Now, who's the weakest link? Now, some people say, who got the born style? Who got the exciting style? So you got to look at those things, too. Now, of course, the Haney's, you know, and I know you found on the Haney's, you know, whatever, but, you know, they was going for a Matisse. But now they changing their mind. They going for who? Pitbull Cruz. That's what I'm hearing. Now, of course, Matias, yes. Now, if uh, 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 hit, hit him with something or Devin hit him with something, Matias is, is a tough dude. You're going to have to hit him with something hard to stop him. So he's going to eat it and keep coming and coming and coming. Now, one thing I always tell my subscribers, one thing I always say, listen, you can fight, you can get in, you can box. But one thing about it, you're going to have to fight sooner or later. Because you're going to run out of real estate, you're going to run out and stop clenching, and you're going to have to sit there and fight. And that's what Hitchison did last night. He sat there and fought. He didn't do. He didn't get on that uh, uh, hopping down that bunny trail like Peter Cottontail. He stayed right there in the pocket, and, and of course he made a mistake a couple of times. He got not caught. In, with not that in round fight. twelve. Oh no 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 not in round twelve no, no not in round twelve round eight. I say seven and eight. I think it was. Uh, uh, uh Lima was him with some overhand rights, and he got caught with him. Now round twelve. Uh uh uh. It is, he was on point right then. You know, I mean, it's nothing. I keep telling everybody, boxing one-on-one, -on -one, everything comes behind the jab. Everything comes behind the jab, and it works. That's the only thing about it. You know, that's the thing with Pacheco. Pacheco should have stayed on the outside and tried to fight. But this is another learning lesson. You got to learn how to fight in the inside. Okay. Okay, that's for me to stop. That is the bell, that champ. Is. Do appreciate you. Uh, Got to get to the next okay. caller. What's the name of your YouTube channel for those listening? Okay, KQKC Boxing Network. All right, champ. Appreciate you. All right. Yes, uh, sir. I had... Davidian, talk to me. Yo, what's good, Ness? What up, you hear me? You? Okay? Uh, Not much. I thought that was KQKC. I, that's dope. Shout out to KQKC. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, nah, the fights was pretty good. Um, I did feel like Lemos might've edged that out truthfully, if we going to be honest, but when they was reading the cards, I'm like, they, it was close, but they probably was going to give it to Hitchinson. He just got to work on some things. He's still young. So, but I don't know. I don't think he expected that dude to be as tough as he is. So, you know, he got to be careful, especially if he going to go up and maybe fight a Shakur or a Devin or a Mat Matisse probably going to stop him unless he improved. But, you know, that's here nor there. Um, who else was on the car? Uh, Nicholson, she looked good. She did what she was supposed to do. But if she fight Amanda Serrano, ooh, man, she better, she going to. She gonna be on her uh, bicycle all night trying to jab her, but she can box. But I think Amanda gonna do her dirty. But I would love to see that fight if they make it. Um, uh, Pacheco, you know, I was hoping he could possibly get a stoppage, but that dude Sean was, I like, he was pretty tough. So he got a he got an interesting style, and. Yeah, the fights was good overall. You know, some of them young ones, they got to tighten up, you know, if they're going to fight other champions. But it was a good night of fights. Um, shout out to you, Ness. Shout out to the Bat Call brothers. And, uh, yeah, I'm out. God bless y'all. All right. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Uh, shout out to... Derek Lincoln sent his $15 for now his fourth virtual raffle ticket for our Kenichi Bear headphones that we are raffling off. This is uh, Hibernation 5C. C means you get the black set with the attachable detachable mic. Uh, remember, if you don't want to join in on our raffle, we're doing one per month. You can always head on over to Kenichi Bear. 
dot com dot w w w dot k e n i c h i b e a r dot com. Use the code TBV, get fifteen percent off. And once you buy this set, call in using it, so that people can see how good they are. So that you know this is not just a phony baloney promo. These actually are great. My co-host uses these every single day without the attachable mic because he lost it. That's how great the microphone are on the old set. Imagine this new five set with new drivers and all updated stuff. We're going to move on to this super chat here from Jonathan Sims. $5. Long ass super chat. Uh, We're about to start doing character counts. We got good afternoon, OG. Now, I'll let you decide if you want to read this as a super chat. You are wrong about David. Celebrities, Hall of Famers who didn't drink. Floyd Mayweather, Andre Ward, Roy Jones Jr., Vasily Lomachenko, Dmitry Bivu, just to name a few. Riddle me this. Is David not a role model to his son and daughter or family? So it's F them too, huh? It's not only about him being a saint. It's about the perception he wants to portray as a man. He wants that perception. So don't come for the people who are holding him accountable. Canelo is the prize. You keep forgetting that. It doesn't matter if he drinks, does PEDs, etc. They want to fight him. It's not the other way around. Hashtag double standards. No, I think the double standards are with you. I think you're telling uh, David Benavidez to act a certain way in order to get a fight. You made it clear there by ending your statement and Canelo is the prize. You keep forgetting that, period. It doesn't matter if he drinks, if he does PDs, etc. Which means your, your, your box is as small as boxing. But for David, your box is as big as the world, and you want David to be a role model, but Canelo doesn't have to be a role model because he's the cash cow. Thanks for the $5 so we could laugh at that super chat. Ha, ha, ha. What else we got? And I think we got Adrian. Nestor, ¿se escucha? Loud and clear. Qué bien, qué bien. ¿Cómo estás, querido? Un placer escucharte. Chilling, ¿cómo estás? Muy bien, muy bien. I just want to give a, a big shout out to, to Lemos, bro. Um, he's definitely a tough guy. I think a lot of people don't know, but he, I don't think he never fought outside of Argentina. He still has a part-time job, you know, in construction and all that. And he comes from the bottom, like from the bottom, bottom. He got like nine brothers, you know. Uh, a very tough life, and um, you know, looking at the fight, you know, from the from the from the build up, I thought it was gonna be an easy fight for Hitchens because, you know, Lemos is a is a pressure fighter that you can control with the jab. If you have like a nice reach, and you can stay out the on the outside and use the jab, you can even walk him into a counter. You know, when he when he launches. He throws punches and he launches and he lifts the back foot. He's always off balance, you know. And I thought it was going to be an easy fight for for Hitchens. But, uh, yeah, that's, that wasn't what happened, you know. Lemos shows he has a lot of balls and, you know, he was pressing the, the action the whole fight. Actually, I scored the fight. I thought it was a draw. I can see 115, 113 either way. But 117, 111, what the fuck is that? Like, uh, for real, what the fuck is that? Like, not even Hitchin's family scored that 117, 111. I think that's that's pretty crazy. And, you know, boxing needs to do something with this type of judges. You know, they, they fucking have my man's blessings, you know? Luckily for him, he did a, a very good performance, and I think we're going to see him bad. But... You know, what happens is he didn't perform that great and you, you stole a few rounds from him. You know, I don't like that shit. But hey, I don't think, you know, Hitchens is going to be, like, out of the picture. I think he's going to stay around. But I don't think he beats, you know, any of the top guys. I think he gets killed with Matias. 
And yeah, we're gonna have to wait and see what happens in the future with him. But yeah, I think it was it was a bad performance uh, for uh, Hitchens. But yeah, that's pretty much all I got, Ness. Shout out to you. Shout out to the boxing community. All right. We got James Benitez with the fat $10. Defending David. Salute. He says, uh, Jonathan Sims. Hold on. What the fuck? Jonathan Sims. AC Green was a virgin his whole NBA career. So we should just... Judge every celebrity who has a kid out of wedlock too. David ain't do nothing wrong. That's what I'm saying, bro. I don't get this. Uh, you can't have a drink. And the whole thing about oh, role model to your son. So, so, so my son watches me have a drink, and now I've ruined his career. Or my son. Let's let's take it. Let's not take it out of context. My son watches me, quote unquote, drunk. Now I ruined his life. Now I'm not a good role model? Like, y'all be trying to put people on these standards that don't exist, and then you let down when they can't live up to your false standards, bro. Like, kick rocks with that whack shit. Uh, KC, man, the way it works is you want another call, you got to send that counter punch, but I'm actually not accepting... Remember, I got my daughter this week. I am out. Malik, I ain't going to do you like that. You is the last caller, but you mad late, man. You've been listening all morning. You're going to jump on at the last minute. Whoa. What up, man? What up? I was, I was in and out of the show, man, so I don't, I don't really know what's going on with the alcohol thing that y'all talking about. They, 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 they trying to shame uh, David because he had a little drinky drink. Like they don't drink. Oh man, everybody, man, come on, man. LeBron, LeBron drink wine, man. I mean, you know, it's just, it's just what it is, bro. You know, I, I mean, don't be drunk, but you know, you could, you could get you a drink, man. You know, ain't nothing wrong with that. That you gonna, that shit gonna be out so system. I mean, anyway. he was a little, he was a little <laughs> tipsy, nothing crazy. <laughs> I mean, hey, yeah, that's a man, bro. Men gonna drink, man. We gonna do, we gotta get something. I mean, you don't want the man to smoke, you gotta get a little drink and something, bro. But. Man, it's, it's funny, bro, because I was going to call in last night on Discord and, and ask you, man, what you think about Hitchens getting a, a, a finish? But, I mean, shit. Shit. A finish. Did he win? <laughs> did, did he win this? Did he? Honestly, watching that fight, did he actually just, did he win? Like, I really need to know if, like, like, do people really feel like he won that fight? Because I, I ain't gonna lie, I was high on Hitchison, man. Like, on Hitchens. I actually thought, I actually thought, man, he could m mess around and maybe get a finish. But I didn't think it was gonna be close. But, damn. Damn. I mean, we. I wanna see him fight Regis, man. I wanna see him fight Regis, man. Now, now I gotta see. I think Regis the perfect step up for him, bro. That, that, that might be it. We don't need to see Roly Regis. Let's see him and Regis. I think that's a better, I think that might be the better fight. But I might get an edge to Regis. We going to keep it a buck. I might got to give the edge to Regis, man. Because I did not like what I seen out of Hitchens last night, bro. Like, I was watching it with my girl. My girl thought he lost. She thought he lost. And I'm like, that's a casual just watching, just watching. And she, she was like, wow, they actually gave him the win? Then it was 111 to 117? <laughs> Man, they got to stop, bro. They got to stop that shit, bro. You make it, you, they, they got to stop, man. You can't rob people like that, man. You robbing them, man. You robbing them, bro. That's, that's fucked up, man. That's fucked up. And we already knew it was he was gonna get robbed, but damn. 117 to 111 robbery? You gonna do him like that? We go, we gonna just smack him in his face. We're gonna just give him that. <laughs> we gonna say you wasn't even in the fight. I mean, like, I mean what, it was only we, one judge. Two two judges said 115, 113. But I mean, 
I mean, I, all right, I can say in the middle of the fight, Hitchens was winning. Like, I, I see he won, he was winning some rounds in the middle. But towards the end, I thought Lemos was slowing down, but uh, but he didn't. He actually didn't slow down, man. Like, I felt like the last round, I thought it was going to come down to the last round, in my opinion. And I thought Lemos won the last round. Like, I, I thought Hitchens was just trying to get out of that. Like, at, some, like at, at, at one Burn. point, I was like, man, he just trying to get out of here. He like, looking at the, the clock and I don't want to be knocked that's, out. That's the bell. But that's what I said about only one dude was looking at the clock. One dude was not worried about the clock. One dude worried about the clock. Uh, I got Isaiah sends the $5. He says, counterpunch for Jonathan Sims to elaborate on David Benavidez. Uh, yeah, he ain't going to call in. I mean, he do be calling in, but he ain't on the line from what I see. So that might not happen today. Matt Bent, one hundo, two dollars daily dose of Tanquil. Hitchens, one Tanquil summer nonetheless. Matt Bent back with five more. He's actually our winner for last month's set of Kenichi Bear headphones. Shout out to Matt Ben. He's won twice now. We He won a white set, and now this will be the second black set. I mean, the first black set that he wins, second pair. Uh, but he said, $5 super chat, second dose of Tank Will. Because you don't know Gustavo. He not any good. Tank Will summon nonetheless. Basically, sarcasm letting you know because you don't know a fighter don't mean he not good. Michael with the $2. Benavidez. Don't got to apologize for nothing. That's what I said, man. He shouldn't have. I don't know who are these people that are giving him advice, uh, but the fuck is wrong with having a drink and what's wrong with... So what? You drunk. He was, His wife was not drunk. His wife was okay. So she driving him home. Like, what in the fuck is everybody else living everybody else's life for? A bunch of nosies. Like this man. Jonathan... <laughs> Jonathan, crucify him, Sims, Mr. Cast a Bunch of Stones. The hell of an intro. Let me counter that by saying verse of the day. So first and foremost, uh, thank you, Ness, for another show. We always appreciate the entertainment and opportunity to join your platform and fellowship. And I hope everyone's having a great day and enjoyed their weekend and strong, strong week. I hope you get everything you're looking for. So today we're coming out of Ephesians 6, 18 and pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. And I wish the best for everybody. And that's how, uh, if I go over past my call counterpunch, you know, just keep the car running. So first to the fight, uh, you know, it was ebbs and flows of that fight. Um, listening in because I was in and out. There was a lot of clinching, listening to the commentators from the backyard uh, uh, buddies. You know, it did sound like Hitchison was losing the fight, but, you know, I, I've learned that most people don't know how to score fights, so I figured uh, Hitchison was slightly winning based on the commentary I was hearing. So I'm not surprised that he won. I went back and watched it. I think it could go either way, but the A-side are going to get the nod. That being said, let's let's go to why I'm here. So, Ness, on ground zero, just starting at a leaving level playing field, you are right, right? Like, no fighter owes any person anything, only truth to himself. So I'm with you there. And I also agree that we should hold each fighter accountable, such as Canelo, being that he is uh, as great as he is, has accomplished the great things he has accomplished. But then where I get out the car with you is the perception right is something that david is pushing this is what the way david wants us to look at him this is the way david wants people to think his reality is so we're only holding him accountable to the standard that he has set for himself and for the people to judge him on if he didn't come out and apologize if he didn't say these things about him being a role model or him doing the right things then we have no right to say anything because like you said he's a human yo, being yo yo let me ask you man who 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 whose career is 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 better? Is it Andre Ward's or Hector Macho Camacho? 
I mean, I think it's all opinion, but I would go. Oh, heck. Uh, oh. You know, strike War. that, strike that, because that brings in resumes and things that we ain't, yeah. we ain't interested in. We we talking we talking popularity, man. We talking people caring about you and watching your fights, and that's all. And 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 there are a dozen cases of Mayorgas in this sport. Absolutely. I just don't see why why David has to be your child's role model. Okay, let me now let we having a conversation. So first of all, we're talking about David, not my organ. My organ is not David. We're talking about David. Yeah, I'm just giving you me. another boxer, a uh, high I'm level saying. boxer, high popularity within the Absolutely. sport, memorable boxer within the sport that you know uh, acted the same, bro. It's like I understand that, but 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 we're moving the goalposts when we answer somebody else. If Jonathan jumps off the bridge, I don't expect Ness to too because you're my friend. Nah, so but, just, but but this this scenario don't include jumping off the bridge. This scenario includes boxers and what they do while being a boxer. You bringing up a bridge has nothing to do with the conversation. Me bringing and up you a bring yoga. Up, no, me bringing up a yoga has everything to do with the conversation. It's a boxer doing something that's perceived not. Remember perception? Your word is perceived not to be right in the sport. And he's okay. done it on a high level, consistently, Absolutely. in his ring walk. Yes. In his ring walk. Yep. So he's promoting yes. So he's promoting to all the Nicaraguan little kids out there that never made it to his level, that want to get to his level, that it's okay to smoke on your way to the HBO big stage. So knock it the fuck off higher than you. Again. We all know who Myogre is. Myogre never portrayed himself to be a And neither a does David. David. Yo, yes, bro, David bro, does. bro, bro, bro. David yes, is yes, Tony Montana. Yes, yes. I know I know you want to talk, but David showed us he's Tony Montana from day one. In the yeah, ring. Yeah, no, no. In life, all around life. Like, his, his brother got shot. They popped off in the gym versus Caleb Plant. He got he lost his belt for snorting coke. Like he got Lambos. He got the big chains. He's fucking Tony Montana. You want him to be Mickey Mouse and 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 Chuck E. Cheese and Donald Duck. That's not him. He wears Versace with big fucking gold gazelle glasses. He's a gangster. He braids his hair. Like, what the fuck do you want? Does Masvidal give you uh, Jehovah Witness vibes with his braids? No, he don't. Like, what? Well, like, y'all want motherfuckers to be what y'all want him to be? No, no, I want him to be who he said he's being. That's why he came he out and apologized. He said he's a fucking Mexican monster. His other, okay. his other mo is red flag. Absolutely. That sounds like so, a gangbanger to me, man. Get the fuck out of here. So, so why is the gang beggar coming out and apologizing? Because it's the perception. Because the because perception. of people like you that want to crucify him. Because of people like you. Because I ain't never heard. I ain't never heard the gang banger and Snoop come out and apologize, or the gang banger and Game come out and apologize. You see what I'm saying? It's your perception. It's your perception of them. Because Game is a gang banger, but he ain't never said he was out shooting nobody. He's a gangbanger that raps, and so is Snoop. It's your perception of that word, your perception of what you seeing. David had a drink. David was slurring his words. You think he can't be your son's role model. Well, guess what? Don't turn the fucking TV on for your son when he's fighting. I ain't say that. I ain't say that. David is, I love, I love David as a fighter. And David, if you listening, I don't care that you are out drinking. I applaud you for either saying what you did uh, bro, and coming you out you do care me. you do care you super chatted to show you to make sure that we talked about it no i super chatted because you are moving the goalpost and pushing the narrative that's why my I brother chatted. my brother it's sad that you it's sad that you trying to say i'm pushing the goalpost and changing the narrative i played i played canelo drunker than a skunk you super chatted that David, that audio that audio triggered you. You super chatted and said Canelo's entitled to do what he want because he's the prize. He is the prize. Now, 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 let me ask you something. If David realistically on his end signed to fight for five million, is he not making less money than everybody that fought Canelo before him? So how is it the know. prize? I, 
know that to be true. Well, I don't you, know that. You know that you know that he said it out of his mouth and you don't know him to be a liar. And as Absolutely. a man of faith, I would assume you're gonna take him for his fucking good faith word of value, whatever the fuck you want to give him, benefit of the doubt, he deserves something. Yes, yes. We trying to go, we trying to go commercial. Cut back, brother. I cut mean, because you 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 setting these unrealistic standards for human beings, man. Shit. With all without all the negative words. Come on, we can dude, You setting unrealistic standards for human beings. No, no, I'm Judah the Judah got baby. to see Jesus firsthand and still crossed him. He did. Right, he did. So, 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 stop setting unrealistic standards I'm for not human beings. I'm, I'm not. And just you like are, Judas, you are. Man. You, 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 you mad that finish. David had some cognac, and he was no, chilling. No, he was I'm chilling not. with Bring his, me. with his wife, David. with his David. wife that could drive they car home. Live your life, David. If you want to do cocaine, do cocaine, bro. All I'm simply saying is, you know, don't try to portray your one person, right? Nobody then, said he was doing coke. See how you doing? He, he did coke. I said in the past, in the past, okay. the man and admitted we, to being drunk. We, you wanna we, you wanna we, interpret that as 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 coked up? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. You, David, well, why we, you bring up coke? David, we forgive you for doing coke. We just won't forget. Okay. <laughs> and and, the, and see the thing since we talk about Christians, the thing that Christians struggle with is free will. Free will. Right, so David Lee free willingly snorted that line. He free willingly went out and drunk. You can't be mad at the consequences that fall behind. There it. is no consequences. You see, you keep trying to mix two different things so that you could paint them in a certain light. You could paint them as this this human who is doing illegal acts, which is what cocaine is. No, drinking is he, not illegal. Drinking exa is not exact, illegal. Exactly, but it's you not keep, illegal. exactly, but you somehow keep associating it and and referencing cocaine at the same time, right? Somehow, it, 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 somehow, it, 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 subconsciously, it, sometimes it, subconsciously, it, it, you keep telling people he snorted coke and then he went out and had drinks. And, like, stop and, trying and, to make it seem like this was all 2024, bro. Like, dude had a drink yesterday. He ain't snorted he no coke. It's been seven years since the cocaine incident. It's been seven years since the cocaine incident. Sure. At least David, five. I'm, at David, least five. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But if your, I whole call, your whole call is based There's off cocaine somehow. <laughs> don't, don't do that, man. I Look mean, at you trying to weasel your way out of this. The reality is the man came out and apologized. So I am right. His He wants his perception to be of a role model. No. Either him or his team. That's yeah. just the fact. Yeah, maybe he his team, maybe his team, maybe his team feel that way. He obviously okay. didn't feel that way. He was feeling like because a G. He feeling that, way. He feeling that way because if your wife feel a certain way, his wife ain't feeling feel no certain way. She to grab them by the, wife, she to grab them by the hand and said, "Let's go home, honey, because you sounding drunk." No, they are a team. Man, they are you. Y'all just oh, yo. I hope I hope this no, how y'all treat no, your own no. family members is all I'm saying. No, 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 y'all got no, these no. unrealistic standards. I hope y'all living your own life by these guidelines. No, but listen. That was like a hundred minutes. I gotta go. My food getting cold. Catch me on the next one. Nine AM Eastern. And uh Man. yo. Don't do me like that. I'm paying for another calendar. Stop. Bro, we so, wanna I'm trying to be out, bro. It's too and, and I'm 30. trying to get this out. Bro, I'm trying you, to get this you out. ain't saying much. All yeah. you're saying is that you are gonna chastise one man while it's oh. okay for Canelo because somehow he's a prize. He is the prize. It's Canelo, not the prize. Do everybody not want to fight Canelo? I mean, according to, David, yes, according to David, yes, according to David, yes, according no. to David, his father and promoter, they accepted five million dollars. So no, Canelo's okay, not a prize. Yes. So that's a yes. No, yes, that's no, a yes. It's when not we, a prize. It's not a prize. It's wanna, not a prize. It's not a prize. When we want to call you on the clock, clock, man, I can't do this. We got to put you on the clock. We got to go. I got to go. We'll restart it with another five. What I gotta go, about? man. Nah, man, this is no. your last call. I gotta go. I'm hungry as hell. So let me make this one good. All you're doing is hating on David. When we call into the boxing voice, there are rules we have to follow in order to participate. 
That's just how it goes. If we want to be a part of TVV and call in, there are rules we have to follow. If you want to follow Canelo, you have to understand he's the God. He's the A. What the fuck, bro? You you realize how crazy you sounding right now? Like you asking one dude to walk morally correct for the for all no for all no see see how the other dude don't gotta be morally correct because he's a prize. No, like, because stop, if they, man, if, then you hashtag if, double standards. Like, if that's not, not a double standard, oh, he's a I prize. You, he gets no. to do what he wants. Can I finish? If Dave, if Canelo wanted to fight David, I would be saying the same thing. Bruh. If Earl wanted to fight Yo, Bud, but, but, but champ, you mixing you mixing morality with business is what I'm saying. Oh, I am mixing the morals that David and his team. Or allowing us I'm to done. Break. I'm done, bro. You're tripping. This game is telling us who he is. This game is This like, the boxing gods cutting your call. They know. No, 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 that's you cutting my call because you don't want me to say what I'm saying and then it get misconstrued as if that's what you're saying. And I understand you don't stand behind what I'm saying, but the truth is David is a great guy, a great fighter. He's made mistakes in the past. And all I'm simply saying is if you want to portray yourself as this good guy who does the right thing but will F you up in the ring, then, yes, you need it to come out and apologize Champ, because it Champ, wasn't just a just tell good us. Look. Just tell us. Just tell us. Tell us what you're really trying to say. What I'm really trying to say is I want David and Canelo in the ring, and I don't want David to hinder himself from getting the fight. So whatever we got to do to make that happen, let's do that. So basically, Canelo, Canelo, you saying Canelo, David can't get the fight because he had a drink. No, I didn't say that. That's what you said. That's what, what I'm you're saying. saying. You know, what you're I'm saying, saying if, is if, they, you don't, if you don't put on perception of a, this clean life living Mexican, he can't get the fight? No, what I'm saying is I, he Because last I checked, Fernando Vargas was a bad boy, right? And he got the fight. Yeah, but good thing David ain't Fernando. David is David. Last, so I, David check, has last I checked, Broner has openly said he deals with alcoholism and he's going into a pay-per-view with Blair. I got to go. I can't just yeah, keep giving you... Canelo? I just is can't keep Canelo? giving you instances is, is Broner, where alcohol don't matter. Was Jamal no, not fighting Canelo? Was Jamal not about to fight Canelo? Was Jamal... Was Jamal they, not they, about to fight Canelo? He ain't, did he fight him? But was he, he not? But was he not? Was he not? No. Was Canelo not fight. asking for Jamal? Like, motherfucker, didn't you put him on a contract? That's who I want to fight. I want to okay. fight Rum Punch Charlo. He's not, he not David. How much I owe you? Hey, hey, so so, so all you saying is, all you saying is Rum Punch Charlo could drink and still get a fight, and, and Canelo demands it. Canelo demands it. No, 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 no. Canelo, Canelo said, Canelo said, you put him on a contract, you put him on a contract, that's who I got to fight, that's who I got to fight, but David has a few, David has a few Captain Morgans and it's a problem, I got to go, man, I got to go, I got to go, ladies and gentlemen, you just seen a grown man get cooked, uh, you know, but that's what happens when you want to do the moral shit, I ain't with all that shit, you know what I'm saying, if I'm David, I'm wearing Tony Montana shirts, man. He already wearing the Versace shirts with the fucking, fucking hamburger meat. You know what I'm saying? He got the hamburger meat out with the gold fucking chain. You seen him last night with the diamond crusted chain with the fucking big lion. He out here on some, I'm a gangster. He just moved to Miami. He wear gazelles. His hair always looks wet. He reminds me of Racer. Ramon, anybody my age, you know who I'm talking about, man. Fuck all that soft shit, man. Fuck all that soft shit. Broner got all the fights. Broner still getting fights. He was just getting the fucking Devin fight, man. Like, what is we talking about? I wanted Broner name on a shirt. I only fight champions. Right at the Regis, Broner name on a shirt, man. Not Ryan name. Ryan ain't no fucking champ. You feel me? Like, what is we talking about? Stop drinking and all this role model weird shit. Like, Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan wasn't known for, like, being a fucking gambleholic? Like, I mean, look, I know I don't watch sports, but I'm pretty sure there's some heavy rumors of even darker gambling stories pertaining to, you know, Jordan and uh, certain family members, all right? Because I'm a casual, but I, you know, shit. Knock it the fuck off, man. Widows, bye.